Hi, everyone. Hello. Welcome to A, a Podcast, podcast Will Save, save this, this Relationship. I'm Sarah, she, her. I'm Josh, she, him. And on today's podcast, we talked about... <laughs> Josh, let me do my pronouns first. Yeah. He said, I will let you do your pronouns first if you don't curse in the first minute. You think you run the show? <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> And on today's podcast, we talked about our Spotify wrapped. We did. We talked about the fan fiction we're reading and we did our red yeah. stories. I think it's about it, actually. Yep. The same old, same old, guys. Pretty simple shit this Familiarity week. Familiarity is what we're striving for this year. Yeah. But anyway, thank you all for watching. If thank you're watching you. right now. And don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, hit the gosh on bell. Hit mm-hmm. us five stars on Apple Spotify podcast. Mm-hmm. Leave a nice comment. Hell yeah. Do it. And raise five stars. Uh, fucking enjoy the rest of the show. All the links are down in the description for all the stuff we do. Just in case you're like, uh, yo, I don't want to hear you guys talk stuff. about shit. I just want to write you stories. guys. I don't want to hear you guys uh, thank the fans for being big fans during the Spotify raps. <laughs> yeah. I mean, yeah. <laughs> if you're to, like, oh, I'm tired of this Spotify rap bullshit. Yeah. You then can time stamps are down yeah. in the description for all the different segments. There you go. Enjoy the rest of the show. Have a good one, guys. Bye bye. Bye. How you doing, Sarah? I'm doing good. How are you doing? I'm doing good, too. Happy Saturday. That's what today is? Yep. I forgot what day it is. I know, right? I, days are just a fucking blur, man. You know what I, you know it me? It is a fucking blur. You know me? I know you. Cool. You exist. Yeah. Yeah. I'm tired, so I don't know how to no, do this show. No, me too. I'm extremely fucking. tired. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, no, I'm feeling good. <sighs> fucking. We've already recorded today. We've done Unhinged. Which Unhinged was really funny. Yeah. It was really good. Very sexy. Very sexual. Very lots of sex. Uh, Kissinger's there. dead. Kissinger's fucking dead. <laughs> Round of applause. God bless. <laughs> Seeing Hassan bring out the crab rave is always good. <laughs> I think everybody has. Yeah, I think yeah. Hassan doing that for Rush Limbaugh that one time has caused everyone to start. Yeah, everyone loves the crab rave. So good. God, yeah. fucking Anthony Bourdain is fucking he's, beating the they're, shit. They're, <laughs> he's f- they're he's fucking. fighting that motherfucker. <laughs> yeah. Oh man. <laughs> God, seeing those clips resurfaced, I did not realize how based Anthony Bourdain was in some. Oh, yeah. I never, I, I think it was too late for Anthony Bourdain, and that's sad. Same. I think so, too. But, God, um, I, gotta, I gotta watch him now. Yeah. His old stuff. You gotta catch up on the Bourdain <laughs> catch up train. Catch up on the Bourdain train, yeah. yeah. But, yeah, it's been, a, it's been a wild week, and mm-hmm. part of that was uh, Spotify Wrapped happening. Yeah, Spotify Wrapped uh, dropped on Wednesday. And before we do our Spotify Wrapped, because I think it's I think it's always good to focus on the artists that do shit, you know? Like, the artists yeah. that we like, and the yeah. songs we like, and why we like them. Yeah. I think that's great. That's the best part about Spotify Wrapped. I think it's I a great idea. Ab- I want to talk about how shitty, though, yeah. Spotify is. <laughs> yeah, and I fucking hate Spotify. <laughs> Spotify fucking sucks. And I will say the rap this year, as much as I enjoyed doing it... I didn't really listen that much this year i gotta be honest i feel that also i hate how spotify rap was this year oh my god it's the, so long now. yeah and i felt it with uh because we have the podcasters as well yeah and like every single thing being its own page i don't remember that from last year if it happened last year that was stupid then and it's stupid now it, it is stupid i'm like come on just get to the fucking point. speaking of being a top here's your top oh episode god. like you know th- there's a little level, level of cringe to it but yeah, i don't yeah I don't want to focus on that. I want to talk about real quick a shitty. I, I want to say shitty thing that Spotify's doing with uh, streaming royalties. Oh, another one. <laughs> yeah, I, yeah, another yeah. one. Yeah, because I, I think it's important to bring this up. Uh, one of the funny things is that a uh, weird owl made fun of Spotify in his Spotify rap. He said, "Oh yes, I saw that." He, he was like, oh, "I got eighty million streams, which means I can get twelve dollars." Yeah, twelve dollars sandwich. And yeah, that, I fucking that was great. That's great. But uh, fucking apparently, Spotify starting next year. Mm-hmm. In a year, if you don't get a thousand streams, you're not going to get any money. Okay, you fuck them. All right, I'm going somewhere else now. I feel I'm like probably yeah. going to like title or something. And I've, I, I've heard one person being like, "Ah, oh, it's great," because then the fucking bots won't be able to. Because I know, it's like, uh, Spotify, uh, they can fucking money tell laundering. It's bots. They can tell it's bots. A, they can B, tell it's bots. All that means is that bots are gonna go a thousand and one streams now, as opposed yeah. to like five hundred or whatever the fuck None it was of this before. Will help anyone? It's, it's the same thing where it's like if you build an eight foot wall, nine foot ladders are gonna be sold next day. I fucking I just so basically any indie artist that doesn't hit a thousand streams uh, <laughs> won't get paid. Me, I won't get paid. I'm not gonna get paid yeah, for any of my for tracks. Pesaya. Yeah. So go listen to it and get me to a thousand streams, please. Or, yeah. So I can get. 
maybe five cents. I don't, I just, I feel like I'm, I'm, as I continue into my growth into an old, old man that makes everything myself. Yeah, like... I think I'm just gonna go analog, dog. <laughs> just start like, selling CDs and shit, yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna get back into vinyl, that's how I'm gonna listen, I'm gonna get, like, a little CD player. I used to do that. I don't blame you, honestly. Yeah. Because even, like, the ones that are supposed to be good, like Tidal, like, where they tried to even do a cent to stream, yeah. they've had troubles apparently paying out people. Like, God it takes some it. months, yeah. It's Jay-Z! Yeah, apparently doesn't fucking matter. You got money. I think they... I, apparently not for the title. That's insane. He still gotta... Listen, he still gotta pay off the mansion, man. You know what I'm saying? I, you know, I straight up might go... You know what? Fine. I'm going analog then. Fuck it. I honestly don't blame you. And also, like, trying to do, like, band camp and stuff, you know? Like, when band camp, you know, has... Tr- is it's also having trouble, yeah, which is not... It's not necessarily, like, Bank... I mean, I don't, I don't know. I Bandcamp is over, but I know Epic Games bought it, and then they're gonna try and sell it off for profit, oh, which yeah. involves... You That's know. what happened. Isn't isn't the music industry fun? <laughs> it's. I mean, it's always been trash. Like, it used to be, like, you buy a CD, and how much of that CD goes, like, you know, profit goes to the actual artist rather than the studios. Yeah, because uh, the way that contracts work where it's like you get a bunch of money up front as an artist, but you have to make it all back or else you owe the record company money. It's not great. It's not, not it's I'm never been good. I'm so pissed. I mean, I'm already fucking fired up, you know, about politics, but I'm so pissed off at uh, people putting everything on individuals. You know what I mean? Yeah. And I mean, I'd say people. I'm not... Corporations. Corporations. And, and politicians putting it up on... Systems politicians that are just serving the systems and putting it individually as like now we have all these individual moral obligations to um do these things and making it nearly impossible to be um I, it's just to be ethical you know yeah like no. there's no ethical consumption under capitalism i think that's i think it is that's true but it's fucked that, i think that's yeah. how it you is you should still at least attempt a little bit to be ethical. Well, no, uh, be I'm the not least even, ethical. I'm not even judging at that point. I'm not because I'm saying I'm judging the system rather than the oh, individual. I, I get you, That's what yeah. I'm choosing to Sorry, do. Sorry, okay, I understand what you mean. Yeah. No, yeah, it's like I'm not. I'm not even getting into the argument. The idea of two people arguing there's no ethical consumption under capitalism. Yeah, but that phrase doesn't mean you can just go and do ethical. You know, can just overconsume unethical, yeah. unethically, like. I don't care about that conversation. Honestly, I think we should be taking this argument and putting it towards systems like in corporations like Spotify, like our governments. Yeah. And I'm just, it's like everything is connected now in my brain that I can't stop being like, oh. yeah, no, I totally get it. Yeah. Uh, fuck. Well, yeah. we listened to Spotify at some point in the car for 30 minutes this year. <laughs> Yeah, and I, I, it's really funny because I can see when I got off a of title. The only reason why I'm on Spotify and I actually have a rap now is because um, uh, my family had a playlist that 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 they oh, wanted yeah, to make a family playlist, and I wanted to listen to it, and then I listened to it three times, and then I just forgot to go back to time. <laughs> so yeah. I'm here now, and uh, yeah, I forgot that is what happened, wasn't it? Yeah, the family. Yeah, and I was like, ah. I guess I want to be a part of the family playlist because I want to be a part of my family. Yeah. Weird. <laughs> What the fuck? What the fuck? Lame. Uh, but no, so yeah, that's why I'm on Spotify and actually have a rap this year. Yeah. And I will say, uh, it's I do like Spotify raps. Uh, I, I like Spotify rapped. Mm. And again, it's only because I like the artists. Yeah. I don't... I, I, when I say rapped, I definitely want to take it away from Spotify. I don't want to yeah. mention... No, absolutely. I want to talk more about the artists that I like. I and think also, like, you know, they were criticizing because uh, Spotify took down a Palestinian man's song. And then a bunch of people were criticizing that. And also Spotify released the rap on the day of Palestinian liberation, which they were claiming was intentional. But really, Spotify has been releasing their the rap on the Wednesday the prior. before uh, December every yeah. year. And it just happened to fall on that one. But I do. I mean, I don't know. Maybe you should have gone. Maybe wait one extra day. <laughs> wait a I damn think day. That should have been. Yeah, I agree with that. Wait a second. Wait one know? little second. Maybe it maybe push early. it to the first. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. Um, Who gives a shit? I, yeah. I will criticize Spotify for that. We can talk about our rap. I didn't really post it pub- publicly. I posted it in the Discord. And our, yeah, I put it on the Patreon Discord yeah. as well. I'm going to probably post it around the time. And also, it's the same for me every year now. Every time we do this, it's the damn same. Not for me. Really? Well, well yeah. For actually, one yeah. person. <laughs> we'll get to that. Um, it's... 
But yeah, mine is it's always the top three are White Stripes, Phoebe Bridgers, Bill Withers. It's always that. That was that was still the same. It's the same. Interesting. Yeah. I don't I do know last year, uh, because I couldn't I didn't get a full like actual because title doesn't really do wrapped. Yeah. Uh I do know that Phoebe was probably my number one and probably White Stripes were second. Yeah. Uh and I don't remember the rest right now. Yeah. Uh my rap is fucked this year. Oh. Uh when it comes to artists mm. and it's because of this podcast, because I listen to music when I edit the oh, podcast. Yeah. I have a podcast playlist that I have and I'm probably gonna put it in the Discord so everyone can see it. Hell yeah. And that that'll also explain my top hundred songs. Oh yeah. Um, but no, yeah, I, uh, I, I do, my tastes are very much the same, mm. but different, I guess is the best way to put it. I definitely found like new songs this, I think the, yeah. the whole reason I used to use Spotify, um, for so long was that it would give me new artists to listen to. That is true. Yeah. And I will say that I, I don't really see new songs from Spotify anymore. It's usually external. Like it's Fantano, like it's Twitter, you know, it's whatever. Yeah. Like, yeah, Spotify definitely is not. Cause now I also don't trust Spotify sometimes to suggest songs mm. uh, ever since I know they've done. No, I know Apple is the one that put, no, Spotify did do something. It was Drake, right? Didn't they do like a huge push for um Oh yeah, Drake's album at some it was like years ago. I'm sure they do it similarly a lot now yeah. for multiple artists, but it was like really obvious. Like I've never Yeah, I just don't want it, I don't want it, I don't want the it advertising. Put a, I Yeah, it put a fucking bad taste in my goddamn mouth. Especially if I'm paying fucking premium. Also I fucking hate that guy. He's a goddamn yeah. he's a he's a fucking kid groomer. Yeah. Piece of shit. I hate his rap. I hate it. I'm not. A, yeah, I'm it, not Drake fan either. I think he. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. If I'm gonna listen to rap, he's gonna listen to some guy crying. I hate how misogynistic <laughs> he is. I hate that he gives fucking money to people in crowds. I'm sorry to go on a rant. I'm just mad. Um, <laughs> I'm just mad at people. I hate Drake so much. That's fair. I get it. Yeah. I just don't like him as an artist. I don't like every man that I've ever met that thinks Drake is the best guy ever. <laughs> They're all yeah. red flag motherfuckers. The red, yeah, the biggest red flag is in your Spotify <laughs> rap seeing Drake at number one and then five Drake songs back to back to back to back. Yeah. He continues to do stupid weird shit. He has an obsession with Rihanna. He fucking, uh, he dissed Meg, uh, Megan the Stallion for like no, no reason. No reason, yeah. Just absolute insanity, that guy. No, I feel that. Yeah, so that's why I don't really... Yeah, fuck him. Yeah, fuck that guy. <laughs> yeah, but Drake isn't on my rap. No, but you're right that yeah. that one album that he came out with, Spotify was like, the new Drake song is number one, like artificially. Yeah, artificial bullshit. Yeah, yeah. and it's I hate Spotify so much. <laughs> I do. I Yeah, I think I'm straight up, I'm going to get a ham radio. I'm going to tune in to a radio station. And just fucking Illegally. <laughs> and that will be how fuck I find... Yeah new shit i'm gonna get into like pirate radio and i'm gonna listen to everything on vinyl that's what's gonna happen i think that's what yeah i think that's what's up honestly i'm gonna buy directly from artists and it's like uh, okay yeah whatever i might be crazy but yeah like it's what else are you, if you have the ability to do it fuck it you yeah know? i mean luckily I mean, you're already getting like the third man records like shit anyway and i'm going to bet true. that's more helpful than if you were to stream yeah. Uh, well, Sid Barrett was the one. Sid Barrett. That yeah. You got recently. Yeah. The most recent one was Sid Barrett. It was like a collection of Sid Barrett albums, which was like it's really fantastic. Like it comes in a nice. Uh, the good thing about them is they do fucking fantastic art. Yeah, I'll, I'll agree with that. And that's the thing that you miss out with Spotify, especially now that they're doing like, you know how Spotify would do those little videos. Yeah, and they still kind of do it. Yeah. Well, now they're using AI. To, some artists are using AI to make those videos. <sighs> Jesus, I don't. Fucking, Fuck I want to see real things that people make. Yeah, I want to know That's what people... That's why I watch and listen to music. <laughs> 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 I want to listen to the shit you make. Yeah, please. And I want to support I want to be, you. I want to be human, please. Thank Just, you. God damn it, you know? Jesus, yeah. Anyway, what's your top ten? <laughs> uh, okay, so I need to explain myself. Okay. Do I do? Do I go first or no? Uh, I can I can go first. I have it pulled up here. I believe I I, have I to scroll through the stupid bullshit of it. Yeah, I I saved all mine and I put it in the Discord, so I have mine here. So I do have. Real quick, what's your minutes? My minutes are uh, twenty one thousand four hundred seventy. Mine was seventeen thousand six hundred. That's not bad. That's not bad. I will say, yeah, fucking, it does feel. I feel like that number is lower because I technically only joined Spotify in March, but. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. Like fucking. I will say it definitely. Most of that was definitely because of the podcast. Like oh, just yeah. uh, listening to it. 
I can pull up. I have my artist right here, and I need to explain myself. <laughs> okay. Uh, number one's Phoebe Bridgers for this year. Okay. So, no shock. No shock. Um, right. I will say Phoebe for us. I think some people have criticized her about not speaking out about Palestine, and I think she hasn't. Um, which is pretty crazy. That's pretty wild. She, yeah, she should fucking speak out. I think Lucy Dacus has though. Okay, but but she hasn't. I don't think she has. And I will say, Phoebe for us is more of a nostalgic twenty twenty. Like I feel like when she dropped Punisher, she yeah, she hasn't pushed any. She put out like one new song like last year, right? I don't even know. But I know she's put out a few songs for like film, but yeah. But I mean, like in twenty twenty, when she dropped uh, Punisher. That was such a spiritual. That was like a, a spiritual, spiritual journey of like, especially during COVID. During like, cause that was like, um, yeah, that was like I think the first time I ever watched uh, Fantano's uh, New Music Friday. Yeah, we listened to it together le- in yeah. its entirety together. So it's it's Fantano. definitely left a mark, you know. It's important to us, and I think I kind of am drifting away from her if she continues to not speak out about Palestine. Yeah, that's fair. Just want to put that disclaimer on. I think I that's fair. Yeah. Uh, number two probably also hasn't spoken about Palestine, but oh, we're just gonna have to we're just gonna have to push through it somehow. Sadly, I wonder if Jack White has. He will usually talk about politics on Instagram, yeah. but I don't. Right. I don't know what he. Uh, posts. Carly Rae Jepsen, number two. I don't know what she said actually. Three. Joe hmm. Para talks with you. Hilarious. Four. Also because of Joe Para talks with you, Holland Patton Public Library. Who oh, made yeah. the music for Joe Para, so yeah. I think that's tied. Mm. Uh, I'm gonna also no joke. None of the, their music is in my top ten. That's crazy. I think it's just because they have a bunch of different songs that are all like under a minute. Oh yeah. So I think that's why. But yeah. So okay. And then also number five, White Stripes. Nice. Those are my top five artists. Hell yeah. Okay. Let me let me get mine. Number one, the White Stripes. Okay. Number two, Phoebe Bridgers. Yeah. Number three, Bill Withers, because I'm always kicking that motherfucker. Yeah, you're always yeah, yeah. you're always playing that. I fucking love him so much. <laughs> God damn. That's just some some general feel good music, you know? No, I get you. I yeah. Think also in general, in terms of my stylistic like things that I've been going forward with more, I feel like on like if I'm listening to a male artist, it's not rock and roll anymore. It's usually uh gospel. Mm, okay. Or like soul music. Okay. Because I'm just old. Like yeah, yeah, you're <laughs> old. Just inside, old. I'm old. Inside, I'm old. <laughs> Oldie. <laughs> and if it's women, it's punk music where they're screaming at me. <laughs> Bottom. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe I just caught a stray. <laughs> I cannot believe you just fucking called yeah, me a bottom. Yeah, gotcha. That's ridiculous. Gotcha. <laughs> I mean, technically, yes. In this relationship. Yeah, you're the butt. Yeah. Yes. Sorry. I mean, there's... <laughs> yeah. Sorry to tell you. <laughs> unless um, hate to unless you're news. getting yeah. pegged. Yeah, I guess I'm a bottom. You're a bottom, yeah. Um, <laughs> but okay, four, Josh come doesn't on. know what he's talking about. Uh, I know exactly what I'm talking about, and I think it's fucking outrageous. <laughs> uh, cake. That's good. Yeah, that's good. Actually, good for you. I, I'm yeah. proud of you for that one. There are like specific male rock bands that I will listen to now, and some that like sometimes I'll listen to, and I'm like, "Has Cake pretty much been there for forever?" Much. Cake has always been there. Yeah. And Third Eye Blind, <laughs> which is also nostalgic because in 2019 we went to two Third Eye Eye Blind in the same year. Uh, yeah. Concerts. We in followed the same them year. actually. Yeah. We we we, we did technically the, did. We followed them from uh like we uh, like they were fish. <laughs> How many uh, how many concerts do you have to go to before you can publicly say that you followed a band? Does it have to be consecutive? I, I say consecutive. It has to be consecutive and like it has three to be consecutive like maybe ones? three. Yeah. So if we if we did the Creed thing next year, hashtag get APWSDR free Creed yes. tickets, please okay, and so, thank you. So Creed is coming down to Florida. They have three different shows in Florida. And I want to, my goal for next year, my New Year's resolution is to get tickets. Is to become so famous that, that Creed invites us. To, to all their three con- to the all shows. three concerts yes. as VIP tickets, yeah. yeah. And if we don't, that's fine. I will still buy all three tickets to hashtag go to Creed get, three times. Hashtag get APWSCR Creed <laughs> VIP tickets. Tweet it or exit, you fucking freaks. <laughs> <laughs> exit. Post it. I don't know. Post it and repost it. On repost. Blue sky it. Fuck it. I don't know. I don't know. 
Hashtag get APWSTR to Creed. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, hashtag you're a creed APWSTR you're a creed AP APWST creed a podcast will save this creed there's something there I'll yeah, get there I'll get there alright don't fucking look at me like I'm some asshole I'm not I'm just looking <laughs> Um, so that was cake and yeah, and then third eye blind. Those third eye blind, top. yeah. I think it's funny because third eye blind, I got you on, and that's, yeah. Yeah, that's your. I was not and a then, third eye blind listener before you. And then uh, <laughs> uh, Jack White, third uh, mm. uh, uh, what's it called? White stripes. You got me on. And it's yeah. both our number five. That's interesting. That is interesting. Yeah. Okay. Top ten songs. Okay. Uh, Scott Street by Phoebe Bridgers. Nice. Uh, everybody wants to rule the world. Tears for fears. Yeah, this is because uh, and fuck Disney, but it's because when my sister was in town, we went on the the Guardians of the Galaxy ride and uh, we got it, and it got stuck in my head ever since then. Yeah, because they have multiple songs on that. Yeah, ride. And we got super lucky. Yeah, because all the other songs I don't think would work as well. Maybe September no. would work. September. Yeah. Yeah, but okay. So, No Drug Like Me by Carly Rae Jepsen. That's a good one. Ventura Highway by America. Fuck yeah, dude! I love I, the, that song there, this. dude. I think every year I have usually I have like the I have the best uh, also the best Spotify rap songs, and you can you can quote me on that. Oh my I god! Think everyone like else better than me. Well, we'll see. We'll see. I don't I don't know what all your top tens are, so we'll see. Uh, five is Take Me Home by Phil Collins. The best Spotify wrapped with the best song from the best TV of show. Mr. Robot. From goddamn Mr. Robot. You're goddamn right. <laughs> we have a Mr. Robot hater in the studio right now, and I'm not going to say who I it is. I don't hate the I show. Do. The show is great. It's that they can't frame anything for shit. That's great. It's gr- Okay, now we're not doing this now. No, they we're can't not frame doing it this for here. Shit, we're dude. not doing this here. Why am I looking at a fucking chain link fence? Why am I looking at the goddamn ceiling? Why am I looking at the top half of Rami Malik's? <laughs> hairline why why what's the point of it i need i need some people in the comments to really fucking like take my side on this <laughs> i really i'm just like i can't i can't <laughs> handle it i need other people to also not critically think about their media <laughs> jesus i feel like how mike saclasa felt when uh he got bullied by william shatner i think, right uh, I think you're calling me william shatner the one criticizing <laughs> too much headroom in a fucking TV show and you Mike Stiklasa. I can't, I can't handle being bullied for being right. I'm not bullying you. I'm saying my opinion. I know, I know, but I am being bullied. Number six is... I'm just saying, if you notice it when you start watching the show that there's so much goddamn headroom, it ruins the show for you. There's too much. God, like okay. I understand you want to be stylized or whatever. You want to make your stylized, you know, fucking whatever. And everyone's like, "Oh my god, it looks so good." Do that for literally any other show. No one will. But it works for Mr. Robot, okay? It does. Well, yeah, work because for Mr. he's Robot. in his head. I understand what yeah. they're trying to say. I understand <laughs> the show. You can't. You can't. You can't tell me that I I'm, don't understand. No, that's insane. I know he's in his fucking head. I get it. I get I love, it. I love you pushing give this someone button. headroom when you're like, oh, what's going on in their fucking brain? Do you do it every second of every goddamn day? No, you don't fucking do that shit. That's ridiculous. This is a third personality talking from. <laughs> Wait ten years and people will start saying this shit. <laughs> All right, number six. Punisher. Also, if you DM me about that, I'm not responding to you. <laughs> <laughs> DM, DM right now. DM, DM me, Josh. You're so right. And you know what? Actually, you're getting blocked. <laughs> if you DM me and you say you're wrong about Mr. Robot, you're getting fucking blocked. I'm not even arguing with you because I know I'm right. Yeah, you know, guys, make a get a hashtag get get cinema wins to uh, cinema <laughs> wins to, to, to do Mr. Robot. <laughs> Hashtag cinema sins cinema wins Mr. Robot. It's fine to like something because it looks cool. It does look cool. <laughs> but when I want to think about my media, it doesn't work for. Okay, okay, I understand. I understand. Jesus. <sighs> Speaking of being punished, number six is Punisher by Phoebe Bridger. Nice by Phoebe uh, Bridger. By Phoebe Bridgers. Okay. All right. Mm-hmm. By Harvey Keitel. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, number seven is Iris by the Goo Goo Dolls. Hell yeah, because we saw them uh, this year. This year, right? yeah, that was a great time. I think that, about was, that, all a, the that time. was an amazing concert. Those concerts too were fucking awesome. Yeah, the Three Doors Down concert wasn't that bad. We only saw like thirty minutes of it. But it like, was it was funny as shit because right at the end they played that uh, that uh, 
the like U.S. troops and the American flag. Oh yeah, flag. that was out of left field. It was fucking hilarious. But yeah, and then they went to not my time. Damn. Yeah, I'm not going. Go it is on my on my 100. Oh, I I know it is. Don't worry. Uh, Doomsday by MF Doom. Nice. Uh, Give me more by Britney Spears. Oh, and Run Away with Me by Carly Rae Jepsen. Those are my top ten. Oh, cool. I believe Britney Spears is wild. Yeah, it's not. It's not wild. She's great. I think what spurred that up, if I'm being honest here, a it's in Grand Theft Auto Five, and I know Fine. it's not related to it's not her related. release. <laughs> no, but it's not. Yeah, it's so. What happened was, uh, what's her Moth Cub? Right, that's uh, Big Joel's uh, partner. Yeah. I, I'm subscribed to her, uh, and she put a video about apparently Peter Coffin made a a gimme more cover that like a punk guy? rock yeah or do uh, them right them yeah yeah I them, them yeah. yeah they uh they made uh yeah thank you for catching me on that yeah they made a fucking um a cover of gimme more by Britney Spears yeah uh <laughs> and it sucks so much I gotta see it that I started listening to the original song God. because I was like that's not that can't be this bad right remember his ex-wife their ex-wife yeah oh sorry their ex-wife yeah I miss her <laughs> I miss her so much she got run off the internet man yeah I liked their show uh back when she was on it yeah I only ever really liked it for her uh Peter was always talking about shit and I was like I I think I mean I think it's just another guy or person sorry saying stuff that they don't really understand you know yeah I, yeah I, I totally and, feel that. I used to have a Peter yeah. Coffin like time for like maybe a month. I feel like everyone did if you're a leftist. At yeah, that time. and then I was like, uh, I'm not really into the style anymore, and I just went and I got the harder shit. Yeah, like yeah. I, I need that harder drug. You yeah, know what I mean? Please. But yeah, I don't know if there's any other like weird oddities in my 2023. Mm. There's a lot more. I will say, I feel like there's a lot more female artists and a lot more female led songs like Carly Rae Jepsen Phoebe Bridges of course yeah the inclusion of Britney Spears is pretty interesting to me yeah uh fucking the, I mean she slaps she makes great music yeah but it's really it's it's everywhere like no death grips though sadly whoa no death grips in my top that's 100 that's new uh, a lot of Hot Dad, two Hot Dad songs. Mm. I think like four Tessa Violet songs we got on my thing. Nice. We love Tessa. Oh, Taylor Swift's on my top 100 too, technically. Yeah, because you like um, the Taylor version of... Um, uh, love Story, yeah. Yeah. Uh, Bo Burnham's on my list. Yeah. Fucking Parky Quartz, of course. Yeah. Concerned Ape. I have, I think, both songs that I like. <laughs> no, wait, no, I have three songs by Concerned Ape on here. Did you say like Parakeet Quartz? Parky chords? How's it sound? I think it's parquet. Parquet chords. Yeah. Parkour chords. Parkwet. Parkwet chords. <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't know. I think I have a very. I feel like I have a more normal, like poppy kind of playlist this year. I feel like yeah, you do. And I don't think it's a bad thing. It's just interesting to me because I definitely. I think I have a lot. I have a very decent mix of new and old. Yeah, I think so. Too. And I think that's what I I enjoy about my list. Mm -hmm. All right, how's parkeet sound pronounced? Pronounced in English. Parquet courts. Parquet courts. Parquet courts. I don't know how to say it. <laughs> we gotta look it up, or else that'll be the only thing that people comment on in the. Well, it's, yeah, it's called engagement. That's why I say things wrong. It's not because I'm a That's fucking true. moron. Yeah. Um. <laughs> let's say a bunch of other things wrong. Um. <laughs> praline. Um. What, what's a uh um, hyperbole? <laughs> epitome. Gabagol. <laughs> Mispronunciation of Gabagool. Gabagol. Gabagol. Um, soccer. <laughs> soccer instead of football. <laughs> um, football instead of football. Instead of football. Um, what the fuck else? Good day, governor. <laughs> Just Why, a, hello there, governor. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I think we got it. Yeah, I think okay. we, yeah. Now that that'll that'll bump the, the that'll engagement. Bump the up. engagement yeah. I think. Yeah. Okay, so I think that's about it. I think that's yeah. Those are my top ten. Hell yeah. Just a nice little glimpse before we go into the podcast uh, yeah. things. Um, Despite the fact that we still have a whole other month of the year to get through for the podcast, but truth. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, okay, so my my top ten. Uh, one that got away by Muna. I do. I, I know you've played this for me, but I can't think of it right now. It's because straight up of a TikTok of this one guy that was like when they were recording One That Got Away by Muna, and I had never heard of the song. And 
it, they started the song and it gets to they were like when it gets to that one point and he was holding two baking sheets and hitting them together <laughs> because the drums in there are so fucking loud oh, at hell one point. Yeah. And I was like, this sounds like awesome. They should make a drumless version of it. No, they shouldn't. But uh <laughs> yeah yeah josh yeah josh no let's visit let's visit the daft punk situation again no okay yeah, no, let's, no 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 you brought no. it up let's visit it again let's go ahead <laughs> let's go ahead and revisit when i said that i liked the drumless version of daft punk's uh random access memory yeah what i was actually saying was i love all drumless tracks <laughs> That's a really cool conclusion to make. Something that I never fucking said. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I just, I just, I. No, sometimes it's cool. Yeah, it's cool. I just, I'm just, I'm totally, all, I'm totally all right with having a partner that is willfully <laughs> misunderstanding me. That's really the best. That's the best feeling I could have. <laughs> This is a joke, guys. We're all joking. I'm not mad at him at all. That would be a stupid thing. I just to like get pushing buttons. I don't know why. <laughs> if you, if there's a button, big bright red button in front of me, I'm gonna push it. I know it. you're gonna push it, but I also am going to pounce on you like a tiger. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. Okay. Spicy. The like that. that. Let's keep going. Keep yeah, talking about that. Yeah. <laughs> the one that got away. It was just a really good beat, and I just played it on loop a lot. I feel that, yeah. A lot of my yeah, that's why Joe Pair is on my thing, because I played yeah. it on loop a bunch during the editing podcast. Yeah. Yeah. Fair um enough. second one, Scott Street, Phoebe Bridgers. Fucking yeah. Base. Is your number one, so nice. we love that one this year. That's a good one. I don't know. It's just it's good. It is good. I'm getting old. Yeah. That's yeah. I think that's the vibe. <laughs> yeah. Definitely. <laughs> I'm twenty four. <laughs> I'm old. I'm gonna die tomorrow. I think also the line about um uh, how's the band and they're all getting married to me is really personal. Yeah, very personal to you. <laughs> my old band, they all uh, they got married, married last year, right? Was it yeah. last year or fucking last year? It might have been last year, yeah. So it definitely, yeah, it's very personal in that sense, yeah. It, it's not in, like I'm mad at them. For, I, you know, that's awesome that they're married. I think it's more of a, it's a, that line to me means like, you know, I guess having a passion and, and kind of giving up on it, which is something that I did. Like, I loved music, and then I'd stop doing it. Yeah. And so I think I've, over the past couple of years since I stopped doing it, but, I've been wanting to get back into it. And there's this longing. I get it. I get yeah. what you mean. And that's the feeling. Yeah. Um, and then it's Bad Idea, right? By Olivia Rodrigo. Yeah, you had an Olivia Rodrigo kick this year. I, and I have I, since she come out. She's great. Yeah. I never, I guess I'm not really into Olivia Rodrigo. Chad Face, Yes. Chad face. <laughs> I'm right about Olivia Rodrigo. No, she's I, no, the best. I get, yeah, no, I get it. Yeah, but I, I guess I don't know. I don't know why for me it doesn't work as well as the other music. Maybe it's because I'm getting fucking stubborn. I just like one thing with my music and I'm not going to go out. Maybe. Yeah. I Olivia Rodrigo for me. And it's weird because I think I think I, I don't know. I think I've seen a meme where it's like adults that listen to Olivia Rodrigo or like cringe or whatever. Hmm. I don't, I mean, I'm not listening to, I understand that she's singing from the point of like a teenager, you know what I yeah, mean? Yeah, no, I get you. Even though I think she's an adult now. I think she's an adult now, yeah. <sighs> I don't know. Quote unquote, but she's younger than me, so she's a kid, but. Yeah, no, I get you. Fucking, uh, I think that what she's doing with her music is fantastic mm. in that it's going towards like a punk rock genre. Mm. You know what I mean? I get what you mean, yeah. Like, Damn. and I think to me also, uh, I listen to a lot of female artists and I, in the rock, you know, the classic misogynistic, toxic masculinity rock community, people have believed that women are not really into rock, but this thing is women are. Yeah, they are. Yeah. Very much the backbone of rock. Mm. And, uh, they just, you know, it's just anytime a woman artist is even moderately rock, they kind of label them as pop. Yeah, yeah, that's stupid. It's dumb. Yeah. And this song specifically has a fucking great guitar solo that I have not, I haven't heard a guitar solo in a new song in so long, in like years. Yeah. And now having a, having a pop song that has such a great guitar solo in it is like. It's great. No, I, I, I agree with that. Like just thinking about like teenage girls that listen to this and go, oh my God, how do I do that? Is yeah, they'll so figure it nice. out. Yeah, Isn't that they can awesome? Get into the guitar, yeah. That's fucking great. I think nice. more women should get into rock guitar. Yeah. Um, and then Supermarket by Wet Leg, just because that, that song is so fucking good. 
I fucking love Wet Leg, man. Wet Leg is good, yeah. I think only uh, Wet Leg got onto my top 100, though. I think it's like the only song I really listen to on repeat from them. That's my... Oh, uh, Wet Dreams? Wet Dream, yeah. Did I say Wet Leg? Mm-hmm. That's the only Wet Leg song I say. We, listen, we don't say the right thing all the time. All it's, right, listen, I know. You know yeah. We're not perfect. <laughs> well, you can call me out by Paul Simon. You play this every time we leave Universal. It's a tradition. And I guess we've left Universal enough times That's to my get shit. it on your top five. That's pretty wild. And I think because I associate that song. Because we went song, there four times this year. Like, we didn't even yeah, go like, there that often. No. But uh, I think because I associate it with leaving Universal, I associate it with good memories. So when it comes mm. up on my shit, I play it every time. That's fair. I, you know? Yeah. That's fair. I think it's a good song. It's also yeah. a dope ass song. Oh, for sure. Has a great uh bass, bass line. Yeah. It's the best. Yeah. It's, it's the great. best yeah. ever. It's everyone should listen to it. Um Get Gone by Charlie Patton's War. Good song. Yeah. That one I don't even know. I I don't listen to Charlie Patton's War other than this song. It's just one of those things where Spotify would recommend me a random thing. Yeah, now you I just really like it. Just have it forever, yeah. So that was number six. And then Sexy Villain by Remy Wolf, Good also song. from TikTok. Yeah. Yeah. A lot of TikTok songs, I think, got on my list this year. Yeah. Or songs I learned because of TikTok, yeah. But big into Remy Wolf now. Remy Wolf's great. Yeah. Uh, Sweatpants, Childish Gambino. You got me into this one? I don't know. It was really stuck in my head for a long time. I don't oh, know I remember why. that one now. Yeah, okay. I have not listened to that one. I don't think I listened to a lot of Childish Gambino this year. Yeah, I don't think I'm so. I'm getting old. I'm getting old. I'm yeah. moving on from Childish Gambino. Uh, so that was six, seven, eight. Okay, Motorcycle Drive By by Third Eye Blind. Awesome. That's my favorite Third Eye Blind song. That's your favorite one? I think so, yeah. Ah, is it my favorite too? I, I, I don't think know. Yeah, you've said this many times, I think. That you, it's not. I don't think I it's my, say it's favorite. my favorite song. I think it's it's up there though. I don't know what my favorite Third Eye Blind song is. Hmm. No, it's Narcolepsy. I know. Okay, I remember now. Yeah. yeah. So I just have to remind you. <laughs> I just gotta remind you that my favorite song is Narcolepsy. It's not the by, same as my yeah, favorite yeah, song. It's different. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know why. I, I mean, it's just really good. It's, yeah, that, that first album. Yeah. It's fucking bangers. It is. It's, it's all Almost bangers. Almost all bangers, I think. Yeah. Yeah. Pretty much. Yeah. Fucking <laughs> my phone. Can we talk about, wait, real quick? Yeah. Because uh, everyone had videos. My Carly Rae, I had Carly Rae Jepsen as my, like, Stephen Jenkins. Win ring. Yeah, you're just singing with Jenkins, and he didn't look like he gave a single fuck about Spotify. He was holding a little coffee cup. Which is so funny because Third Eye Blind was like my fifth one. So that means that Jack White didn't do one. Yeah, of course not. Phoebe Bridgers didn't do one. Crazy because also, yeah. Bill I Withers didn't. is dead. So let's not. <laughs> he's, he's... From the gra- this is Gravestone. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Someone... Or like his family. I don't know. I guess but, his family you know, could They're yeah. not tasked to do that. I understand that one. Cake, the guy from Cake didn't do anything. I don't think yeah. they're... Are they even together anymore? Probably not. I don't know. I have no idea. I don't know. And honestly, I don't care. They put out enough music that I couldn't listen to they're it good. forever. They can go... They can go... You can do whatever for, you they want. They can retire. Yeah. yeah. They should be able to retire off their music. Yeah. And then I got Dylan Thomas by Better Oblivion Community Center. That's a good one. That's a... I think I got you on that one, technically. Because I think yeah, I... Yeah, did. Yeah. Nine, ten. Yep, and that's ten. Yeah. And that one I do like because it's a... Uh, I feel like it's very easy to play. And... Yeah, uh, I'd actually I, like play yeah. along on the guitar. I get what you mean. And I feel like we could both sing that too because it's mostly yelling. Yeah. You know? Yeah, yell yell singing is good. <laughs> yeah, I love yell singing, yeah. God. But that's yeah, it. no. Spotify wrapped for music. Yeah. Any, any interesting things show up on your top 100? Uh, I guess I already said a little bit of it. Yeah, just like uh, no death grips. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, I guess I already said all mine. What about your like? What's what came up on your top hundred? Um, I of course it was fucking giving you up by Cat Ridgeway, which is a local Orlando yeah, band. Yeah, that's someone I got you on because I filmed for them at they're great Valencia like years ago, and that song still is catchy. I think it's catchy technically style. their second most popular song, but it's their best song. It, yeah, it's their best. Yeah. Song. Um, how you remind me by Nickelback. Yeah, okay, you had a Nickelback kick this year, too. I still am. I'm still in it. <laughs> what the fuck are you talking about? A kick. It's a lifetime fandom. Commitment. Yeah. I think, yeah, you're really, I think ever since, like, okay, I got you on Third Eye Blind, but now you've taken it to a whole nother level of, like, 90s alt-rock, <laughs> like, somehow. As if I wasn't there before. Nah, you weren't. That That's was, that crazy. Was... It's just specific bands. I did that... it, dude. I fucking. We both grew up listening to 90s rock. 
and even for me even further back than that yeah but i think we just missed each other like i never listened to pearl jam i never listened to third eye blind i listened to nickelback i listened to daughtry i listened to fucking uh, nirvana and yeah, that's it that's yeah i definitely missed all yeah three of those but i got pearl you didn't jam, listen though. to nirvana no i didn't that's crazy i never i never really gave a shit wow i don't know why i think i, I like the one song everyone likes but I, I can't get into them. I can't. You can't get into any other Nirvana songs? Not really. Whoa. I don't know what's wrong with me. I know I look exactly like the fucking guy, but. <laughs> Just because you're white and you're blonde? Yeah. I've gotten, I got a lot of people, people in high school used to say, oh yeah, you look like Kurt Cobain. Yeah, I remember. I, I think that might have turned me off. I was like, I don't fucking shut up. <laughs> people at the airport used to call you Kurt Cobain. Yeah. Because I fucking, yeah, I don't know why. Because you're white and you have blonde hair. All right, Here, man. But yeah, I don't know if there's any other like crazy things from my top hundred. I penis am... tip and uh, penis from tip my hot tip. dad. <coughs> Great song. I love penis tip. It's I think it's, it's like one the, of the catchy. It's a, a catchy ass song. I really can't recommend hot dad enough. Hot He's dad deserves so much more recognition than he gets. Oh man. I think I don't think I really like this image god on my thing though. Damn shame. This image god. I really like this image. It didn't get on my top 100, though. Oh, I, okay. Yeah. I really, really, really like this image. Yeah. Get it right. <laughs> um, Beautiful Soul by Justin McCartney is in my top 100. And I, I don't think... I think it's because we went to Creator Clash and one of the guys came out to it. That might be why. Because I remember listening to it and being like, this no, is a fucking you, band. You got it confused with another song. I think I remember so. that. Because that, you thought it was that song, but, but you wanted to listen to that song. This song right here, yeah, that you have, but I don't remember what it was. I don't know either. But this know. was the one that I like, so I I'm fine with that. That's why it's on here. Yeah, because I like it. Fair enough. Um, yeah. Let me see. Mandolin Rain. <laughs> I actually got the actual "What a Fool Believes" by the Doobie Brothers, not the, the yeah good. other version. Good, not the shit version. Uh, the awful cover that you torture with me with every single time. Yeah, another Olivia Rodrigo song, Deja Vu, is in there. Nice. Which I think is good. That's a good one. I, I think that's a good Olivia Rodrigo song. The Seed 2.0. Oh, by The Roots? Yeah, by The Roots. Yeah, that's a good song, too. That's yeah. a really fantastic... Oh, I Think I'm Normal by Carter Ace, which is also a TikTok song I found a couple years ago. It's fucking fantastic. Yeah, okay, I remember that one now, yeah. Oh! Nobody by Barry Manilow. It was released a couple years ago as well. Like these are not recent songs, but it's fucking fantastic. Like yeah, I know everybody on TikTok. They were doing the Coba Cabana meme about like making. Uh, I think it's cool that kids are getting a Barry Manilow. I think yeah. it's great. Yeah, Barry Manilow is the best. Yeah. I don't. People like talk shit other songs about than Coca Cabana. Yeah, I get what Coba you mean. Cabana. Coca Coca Cola Coca Cabana. Coca Cabana. <laughs> Mandy, go listen to Mandy. Mandy, yeah, I love Mandy. Um, there's some snail mail in here. I like snail mail. Uh, Taj Mahal leaving trunk, which is a uh blues band from the seventies. Oh a really yeah, fantastic true. Song. Yeah. Uh. Oh, Backstreet Boys. I want it that way. Good. Yeah. Same. I think they're also in my top hundred. Yeah. Yeah. And it's not my time by three Bo- three doors down, which is the best three doors down song ever. Yeah. Fair enough. Nice. It makes no damn sense. What the fuck are they talking not about? My time. I'm not going. There's a feeling in me. It's not showing. But I will say, yeah, going to see them in concert and just seeing everyone fucking a bunch of Everything white cracker motherfuckers. I know. Ooh, I I wanna wanna know. Know. Yeah. Like, what are you fucking talking about? I have no clue, but it, it works. Who, who cares about lyricism when you I'm can like, just say stuff? It's not your time for, like, the thing I don't get about it. Okay. Thing I don't Is get it about, about war? It. I assume it's about war. I okay, war, death, it's all the same, right? It's not my time. I won't go to to death. Like I won't go. Like yeah, I'm I not, won't go into the I light. I say no to death, like into the light, you I know. I won't go into the light, yeah. There's a fear in me of death. But it's not showing of death. This could be the end of me and everything I know. Death, yeah. But ooh, I won't go. It's got to be about death, right? I assume it's about. It's probably about death. But it's just so complicated. Let me go on songsmeetings.net <laughs> and we'll figure out for sure. It'll be like this is a song for our troops. See, that's why I don't want to. Yeah, <laughs> see, that's why I don't want to go on like Genius, you know, where it's actually probably correct. I want to go to. I want to go yeah. to the shittier website. Okay, if you're gonna listen to this song, I challenge you 
because this is something deep from my childhood. Listen to the kids' bop version of "Not My Time" by Three Don't, Doors why Down. Why do you want to torture our fucking fans because like that? It's not torture. It's funny as fuck. <laughs> it's fun. Okay, read me. Read me. The, I can read you the lyrics and I can sing it, and I'll tell you what happens in the kids' bop version. Well, hold on, because I'm looking at songfacts.net right now. Sorry, so I, I, because I, there was originally something I was gonna do. So well, look up the goddamn lyrics. Then. Well, c- no, because I want, I want, I don't want to go on Genius, because then it's fucking, it's gonna be actually correct. And apparently this is also going to be correct, so I don't... Well, yeah. I want to hear what the common folk think about fucking... I'm surprised common people by William Shatner. Yeah, I'm surprised it's not on there either. Pulse. Yeah, you you tortured me with that one a lot. It's great! What are you talking about? I don't, it's the only good song William Shatner's ever done. Alright, here's a general comment from 2009. <laughs> Fuck yeah, let's go. <laughs> this song is great. Hell yeah, it is. You're <laughs> so in. right. It's also the perfect time to love that song. Is two thousand nine. I think it's about how you feel when it seems like the world is against you, and you feel like the world is coming down on you. Sometimes when you feel like shit, you just wish you could die. But this talks about getting through it because you always can. That's actually probably it. That's probably it. That's actually that makes total sense. It used to confuse the shit out of me because it was like a double negative. Yeah, but they're totally right. Uh, fucking. Here's here's what someone thinks. Can't wait for the new CD. <laughs> that from 1997. That was, <laughs> from March 6, 2008. Hell yeah. <laughs> uh, perhaps I'm oversimplifying this, but I do not see this about a romantic relationship directly. To me, I see it from the perspective of the singer going through something life threatening. Yes, maybe something like, like a, a cancer death. diagnosis, etc. He is saying this to his love interest and or family. He is saying the news is grim and I know you see the future as being bleak for me, but while I am scared, I have too, I had too good of a life and I'll be damned if I'm going out like this. A truly fantastic theme for the human spirit. <laughs> <laughs> April a truly 13th. fantastic <laughs> theme for the human spirit. Something about 2008 yeah. internet, man. They were so happy. So they had the new iPhone. Oh, I think the song is pretty much related to his near-death experience in his car accident oh. with his wife. Oh. Also, apparently the song was written for a movie. Oh. Like all good songs are fucking Iris was. Yeah. <laughs> fucking, I, oh, Iris was? Yeah. I didn't know that. Iris was made for made for that uh Nick Cage movie, uh City of Angels, I think. I thought you were gonna say National Treasure. <laughs> yeah, dude. <laughs> oh my god, Iris. I just want you to know who I am. As he kidnaps as he runs away from the with the president. Yeah. With the whole president, yeah, this yeah. Is insulting the president. Yeah, I remember that scene in the movie. Uh, so for the, it was made for the remake of the movie The Poseidon Adventure. <laughs> hell yeah, dude! Pretty good, pretty good. Okay, oh, hell yeah. yeah okay, dude. go listen to the Kids Bob version. Whatever. Fuck no, it. let me let me tell you what happens in the Kids Bob version so I can sell it. Let me bring up the lyrics. <laughs> all right, you can bring it up. All right, and then I I want to do the podcast wrapped as well. I want to oh, celebrate yeah. the podcast. This is more important. Gee, thanks. I want to thank our fans, but no, you want to do fucking three doors down. I want to fucking... give them a gift. Yeah. That okay. Is... Okay. Okay. I'm, gonna, I'm just going to do the first line. So the so the song goes, looking back at the beginning of this and how life was. <laughs> yeah. Just you and me and loving all of our friends. Living life like an ocean. What the fuck does that mean? Like, that what does that mean? What is living life like an ocean? Like mean? fluid, you know, baby. Like fucking, like baby. Like water. But, yeah. Like, like water. what are you fucking talking? Like, how does that <laughs> like, even make any like damn tears sense? Tears in rain, Sarah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, I challenge you. Next time that someone asks you how you're doing, be like, oh, you know, living life like an ocean. Living life what like are an you ocean. What are talking about? <laughs> So, okay, what's the kids' pop version then? Okay, I'm getting there. You said the, only the first line. We're on line no, two. The first, the first stanza. Okay, that's a different thing than what you said. No, or I said something else. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> God damn it. Okay. But now the current's slowly pulling me down. It's getting harder to breathe. And then the kids go, I can't breathe. The children. The children singing the song all in chorus where they were they were paid to sing all together that they can't breathe. <laughs> That's fucking hilarious. That's pretty fucking funny. Holy shit. <laughs> Are you still on the first stanza? I don't remember what the rest of the shit, but I remember that one specifically every time I listen to it, because in I my brain breathe. Yeah. 
if I, even if I listen to the regular one in my brain, I go, I can't breathe. <laughs> I can't breathe. Yeah, that's fair. Because I listened to it on whatever Kids Bop CD when I was a kid every day on the way to school in my dad's car. Hell yeah. And it was my favorite fucking song because it was so dramatic and stupid. And I was going through my Warrior Cats phase. Hell yeah. And I was just thinking about Warrior Cats killing each other. <laughs> To the <laughs> not going, yeah, fuck yeah, it. dude, yeah, dude. Thinking about Firestar, dude. Thinking about Firestar. How about Star and Star? his bravery? Yeah, he's fucking. <laughs> Think about Star Kit and her bravery, <laughs> dude. Yeah, fair enough. Okay, All she right. can't breathe. <laughs> she can't breathe, dude. <laughs> God, I forgot about that one. Jesus fuck, I forgot about that fan. God damn. Okay. Yeah, you All gotta right. make a compilation for that. Right? Okay. Before you give anyone any ideas, tell Josh to make a compilation. Shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. Okay, go ahead. I'm sorry. So, okay, we also have a podcast wrap that I want to talk about because I want to thank you guys. Do you guys see what I have to fucking deal with? (laughs) We're talking about this in the car later. Oh, okay. Sounds On good. the way to our actual <laughs> On house. On the way to a different house. Yeah, 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 random house, yeah. Okay. So, okay, we have a podcast wrapped as well. Yes. This was this year's podcast wrapped, I don't think it was as good as last year's wrapped, because everything is on a separate page, and it's annoying. But oh, you mean like the UI? The UI sucks this year. Okay. I'm not yeah. going to lie. Because, like, everything is, it's like, I have to do, like, five-second waiting of every uh, single thing. Yeah, that's, but, I did not like that this Yeah. Year. Uh, in 2023, people were really, really feeling what you do. It's really funny to see the same, like, uh, the same podcast start I made in 2018. <laughs> oh, yeah. For this thing. It's really funny. We got to update our shit at some at point. At some point. Nah. Ready? Let's take it from the top. Wait in five seconds. Okay. Speaking of top, your top episode was 165. Don't do the math. That's it crazy. Was, to it me. was streamed 292% more than your average episode. Jesus Christ. That was only, what, 14 episodes ago? So it was back half of the year. Yeah, we really got into our own, I think, once we stopped working. Yeah, and I think, yeah, very fortunate that, yeah. like, I think that was around the time that we were having that very conflicting, like, love hate relationship with people stealing our content. Now it's yeah. just hate, but. <laughs> it's mostly hate. Mostly yeah. hate. But yeah, I think now that we have a very sizable audience, like, it's mm-hmm. definitely, now we can actually do this full time. Yeah. But I think that was definitely around the time where it started kickstarting into gear of mm. like, ooh, this is a thing we can actually do. So let's hear it for the new fans. Oh my gosh, the new fans. 88% of our listeners discovered us this year. When you said this the first time, you were saying this, like, isn't that awesome? And I was like, what happened to the old ones? Did we offend them? <laughs> no, I think it's just we've. Yeah. We've grown. A We've lot. grown a bunch. Yeah, no, I, agree, I think we yeah. went from like yeah, probably a thousand to ten thousand listens every episode. That's crazy. Yeah, town. like it's it's wild. You guys are wild. And apparently, one fifty nine friend zoning your fiance really brought them in. Five percent of your new listeners started right there. Wow. Which that's interesting because that means it's probably pretty average across the board. If five percent's the biggest number of new listeners from an episode. Yeah, that's pretty cool. I think that's kind of cool that like it's oh yeah, consistent. I'm very happy. Yeah. How does it feel to have gone global? There's a, uh, We've always been kind of international, though. We have. Last Even year, when we were just on Spotify, we were in other countries mostly as yeah. well. Yeah, and I will say last year, I think it was like 65 countries or something like that. Yeah. I know, I looked at it recently, but we were uh, uh, fucking 85 countries, and the United States was the top country of 73% streams. Nice. Pretty wild. I feel like fucking the most new listeners came from the US, Canada, United Kingdom, Australia and Germany. Yeah. And that that makes sense. Germany is kind of weird, but I think it's just like, you know, at some yeah. point they just start listening to all the countries. I think I remember Australia last year was like second or third. Oh, it's because of the Abby Chatfield. Yeah, she shouted us out. Yeah. Really early on. Like We're I think super early. Yeah. I think it was after the first Reddit one went out and Yeah, I it was a couple of Reddit ones in, I think. And she was like these guys are so and funny. I got a, we got the weird thing. I was like, "Oh my god." We, we had gotta... to go to a lake and look into a lake and be like, "What the what is happening yeah the host that was of a very of the australian <laughs> love like, island yeah I think. yeah or too hot to handle one of those some something like that yeah wild man yeah it was wild i'll for, forever forever be grateful I, yeah same Abby. here yeah every single time we see like someone shout us out it's always like it's so nice i will say one of the cool things this year was uh, i think last year we still got people on our raft and we still had like i think we had like 
three thousand top ten, like a mm-hmm. thousand top five, and then like five hundred top one. Mm-hmm. Those numbers have all increased, but waking up that Wednesday morning was really crazy. It was insane. Yeah. And seeing a lot of new people follow because of it, because I think a lot of people didn't necessarily maybe realize how much they listened to us. Because I know, like with yeah. the podcast, like having it be weekly and part of your routine, you know, very normal. Yeah, I mean, it, it's good. You know, I, we don't make content where we're really begging for views. Oh, no, of course Thank not. God. Yeah. <laughs> not nah, clickbait. Wow. Like, I understand that people, more people listen to us than really is recorded because they're just watching us on TikTok or yeah. they're just, you know, whatever. And a lot of people doing. also said, like, that they, we probably would have been in the number one if it weren't for YouTube, which I totally kind of get. Which, no, that's fine. Yeah, I'm that's not, totally fine to what, watch on I'm, YouTube. Yeah. I'm going to go into your, like, top podcasts and be like, why aren't we number one? No, that's fine. Yeah. It's a, it's totally okay. Yeah, watch however you listen however you want. I don't give a Honestly, shit. Honestly, yeah. Yeah. I, yeah. Listen wherever. So, yeah, we also got shared a bunch. And I always feel weird about, like, the shares. Because it definitely feels like... <laughs> no, and that's why I'm like, it's hard for me. Because my brain is always like, what's the negative side? What's the negative yeah, side? Are they making fun of us or not? They're making fun of me, yeah. So 55% direct links to the podcast at some That's point. Crazy. 24% text. Wow. 9% other, 7% WhatsApp, and 5% mm. Instagram. That's wild, dude. It's interesting. I don't know. I feel yeah. it's... I, I I never think about, like, sometimes the... Yeah, the, like, word of mouth of, of like, the podcast. Because I always feel mm. like... I always think about TikTok as the main one. Yeah. But no, it's it's word of mouth is also a crazy oh, yeah. thing, you know? For sure. I'm definitely grateful. Me too. That's what this, I'm trying to be grateful right now is what I'm, I'm definitely like. I don't want to no, come I'm off like No, I'm extremely grateful. And I'm definitely going to come off. People are going to be like, what the hell? Because yeah. I'm not, you know. No, but this is. No, I'm extremely grateful. I definitely want to talk about the community. Yeah. We were rated at 4.7 on uh, Spotify. Yep. We had 33 Q&As with 100 responses. Nice. Cool. Yeah. Pop quiz. This is what I have to deal with on the thing. Yeah. Uh, the most audience engagement, if I'm not mistaken, was Wife Smart Equals Wife Bad, which was only six or five episodes ago. That's awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Fucking <laughs> Wife Smart. Uh, the titles this year were Pretty on good. point. That yeah. was one that you just did it yourself because I wasn't mm-hmm. I wasn't around. Yeah. I just, yeah. <laughs> that was fully you. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I got to I got to do the the jokey Spotify things. I also uh, apparently people listen to indie POV indie and rock. Those are our the top fuck genres. Is POV indie. I don't know. I don't know what that is. It's fucking whatever. You know? Also, apparently, we're both moving to Burlington. Yeah, Vermont. we're both Burlington. Yeah, Burlington was our city. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Are you a gardener? Because your podcast saw some nice growth this year. <laughs> Spotify, war criminal. Uh, okay. So, <laughs> uh, 173% increase in listeners, 288% increase in streams. Mm. 199% followers yeah. and plus 23% minutes created. Wow. Last year we made 5,000 minutes of content, so we made about 6,000 minutes of content this year. Okay. Pretty wild. But about, you know, yeah. yeah, about average. It's definitely funny this year, like the fact that last year all the things were like in like 999% of growth. Yeah. That's and this the year thing. it's like 200. <laughs> it's, but 200% but still, is still crazy. crazy. Yeah. yeah. It's absolutely wild. Yeah. So, okay, I already said earlier, like, it was, like, mm. 3,000 top 10, 1,000 top yeah. 5, and 401. Okay. So, this is where it gets crazy for me. Okay. Top 10 podcast for 10,722 people. That's a lot of people. What's even wild is that the top 5 doesn't go down in half. It's top 5 podcast for 7,386 yeah. fans. That's so many people, man. And number one podcast... After it does this drum roll animation. Oh my god. Drum roll, please. Jesus, just, shim, just give me the numbers. And Number an one podcast for 1,790 fans. God bless. Thank y'all. <laughs> fucking wild. Thank you all for that. And getting those messages of like, whoa, fucking seeing yeah, it on I there. It was, them. They're really nice. And seeing a lot of like the same podcasts, like obviously like there was like Judgy's Two Hot Takes. Uh, oh yeah. Okay, OP, sure. stuff like that. But like seeing like Spotify exclusive podcasts mm-hmm. like on that list and being like we're around that level now I yeah, guess for some crazy. people and like yeah. I know there's like a two I think two idiot girls was one I saw a lot of and I uh, like uh, I don't I don't know that one I know uh, Sarah Shower's new podcast is uh, that is that how you say her name Yeah Sarah Shower yeah yeah uh, <laughs> she's her, great yeah her podcast was shown a bunch mm-hmm. it was interesting seeing like the what we're in like categoried with you know it's crazy because it, it just feels like we make a podcast from our house. 
Yeah, just in our in our small little office because that's what it is. That's what it is. But somehow we're getting this level. Yeah, and um, I think it's so funny. A lot of people are like, they don't have as that many subscribers on the YouTubes, and I'm like, yeah, I don't really need them. Yeah, I think you we're I think we're okay <laughs> where we're at. Yeah, it's not like I dis. I'm not saying you know I please dislike. Subscribe, please subscribe. Please subscribe. Please, please. I do love please. subscriber. It's just I feel like with TikTok, share with five people and then okay. they'll share with All five right. people. No, just cut me off. <laughs> <Bye>. Um. <laughs> I, don't listen to okay. Sarah. Consume, well, consume, right. consume. I guess consume. I can't fucking talk. <laughs> no, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> it's, with our TikTok blowing up too, I think it's interesting to me as we've evolved because it used to be like, numbers, the numbers are big. And yeah. now I think as we've, like, we talk about our numbers on TikTok and on everything like, oh yeah, you know, it'll probably get to a mill. You know, and we've kind of gotten accustomed to that. Yeah, it's, it's, yeah. I don't want to seem like we're taking advantage of it or that we're entitled to those numbers. Oh, no. We're not at all. Yeah. But, like, yeah. I get what you mean. Yeah, it's very, it's fascinating that it's become more normalized of, like... Yeah. I will say, there was one TikTok that got, like, six million recently, and I was like, holy shit, really? Yeah, six million's a lot. Six million's a lot, sure. yeah. No, that was, that was, that was nice. Is <laughs> yeah, that was nice, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> but, no, yeah, that was, that was interesting. It was a very... Yeah. Yeah. Uh, top fans listen to you 4.6 more times than any other li- than other listeners. Wow! I saw someone had us at like 40,000 minutes. Apparently, holy shit! I don't think we have that much. That's crazy. What the fuck? Yeah, I, you I re listening to episodes? What yeah, the hell? for sure. Because we only made like I think there's only like maybe a couple, maybe 15, 20,000 minutes total of the podcast. Say, yeah. yeah, and 82 percent joined you for the first time this year. Mm. And let's zoom out. We're zooming out. Oh my god. <laughs> Ow. We're zooming. Uh, and it's just showing me the top five again. And I think that's about everything. I don't think oh, there's wow. any other stats they showed. Because I don't think we ever charted on like the Spotify podcast. And I know some people, like if you chart on the podcast, they actually show you that. But uh, we didn't. Okay. We're underground, baby. Yeah, you know, I like being an underground podcaster. I will say it's cool that like, uh, I know we've, we're on the charts very frequently for like Apple podcasts. So that's kind of cool. That is nice. Yeah. yeah. But also that's definitely cheating because... Uh, <laughs> It's in the improv category. Oh, yeah, true. Yeah, but no one else is in there, so. Very excited about, yeah, if you're a Reddit podcast person and you're watching this for notes. um, Yeah. (laughs) Joking. Just put it in the. Just put it in improv and you'll see your shit boosted for sure. Exactly. But yeah, nice. That's our Spotify very nice. I'm very happy. Thank you all. Thank you all for being fans. Thank you so much. And let's get us to a hundred thousand top ten. Get APWSTR to Creed. Creed. I want to be in Creed, yeah, not in the band Creed. I want to go to the band. Sarah wants to be the next guitarist for Creed. I think yes. that's what you're trying to say. Yeah, 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 sure. Speaking of wrapped, let's wrap up this fan fiction finally. Is it the end? I don't think so. I wish. Okay. There is no end to my suffering. No, we will find another one. Yeah. Just, going on we just end the show. Okay. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget See, to like, uh, comment, subscribe. What if this was just a whole ploy to, to stop podcasting? Dude, hell yeah. Nah, there's not enough zeros in my bank account. <laughs> Yo, so, you know, this whole, um, the government, the U.S. government with the bill that claims that anti-Zionism equals anti-Semitism. Yeah. And, uh, <laughs> the penalties are like a huge ass fine or 20 years in jail. And I was straight up like... <laughs> What if that's the way I get out of podcasting? Is I go to jail for twenty years? That's your that's your get for out being of, anti-Zionist. Get out of podcasting card <laughs> is going to jail for being anti-Zionist. Jesus and God. Uh, anti-genocide ethnic cleansing. Damn. So chapter seven, Jules POV. She ran away. Yeah, remember? she ran away. Yeah, now she's free, and that's why it should end now. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. <laughs> then she's gonna be like, oh, but I want to be with One Direction. I love One Direction now, even though they treated they me like shit. For yeah, like a well, long so what time. happened? Yeah, they were at Simon Cowell's office, and she ran away by uh, asking to go out to pee. Yeah, and okay, and so. Simon Cowell was. Uh, they said that they were being. <laughs> they found out that they were kidnappers. Yeah, yeah, because it was on yeah. all the magazines, and they were like, "Oh, it's lies, lies!" Holding the werewolf in their hand. Yes. Uh, Jules POV. I continued to run, everything a blur. My legs burned and lungs ached, and I knew I had ran twice as far as I could have as a human. But I ignored it. (coughs) My heart (laughs) kept hammering faster and faster as I pushed myself to go faster and faster. The settings around me changed from city to countryside to forest. The sun was beginning to set. My mouth was as dry as a desert, my breath coming in short gasps. Finally, I stopped collapsing onto the ground. 
I felt sore and out of it, unable to think clearly. A little ways away, I heard the sound of rushing water. Forcing myself to stand, I paddled towards the sound. <laughs> what a little doggy. Yeah, a little dog. So wait, hold He's on. He's a doggy. Where, where is this taking place? We're in the forest now? Yes. Okay. Uh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. Forcing myself to stand, I paddled towards the sound, my heart leaping with joy at the sight of a stream. I lapped up the water uh, greedily before looking around for a place to den for the night. I spotted a hollow bush a little ways up and quickly walked up to it. Crouching, I wiggled my way inside, the branches scratching my skin and tearing my fur. Finally, in the center of the bush, I laid down, falling asleep quickly. And there's a dream. The dream sequence. Oh, a dream sequence. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, dream. Dream. That's what the mask is! I'm joking. I'm joking. <laughs> I'm joking. It's a joke. <laughs> it's a joke because the guy's name is Dream and he made that shitty song about what the keep mask explaining. is. Keep explaining, please. Thank you. <sighs> Throw away your normal pills, babies. Don't do that. <laughs> keep, your, keep your pills. Take your pills. Daddy, mommy, why won't daddy wake up? Oh my fuck. What? Can I, we didn't, I didn't need this today. <laughs> yeah, I don't need this right now. What the fuck? <laughs> Why? Why won't daddy wake up is... Every single one of these motherfuckers... It's not parents. safe to read fan we fiction a, when you a, have We need a fan parents. fiction button, big red button, and then and I, just, I hit, hit it, it and it goes, confetti goes out. It's like, dead parents. parents. Wee, 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 wee. Okay. Someone a long time ago sent us a bingo card for fan fiction, I think. And, um... I should find that again. Yeah. We never used it, and we, we should. We apologize. Sorry. Yeah. Sorry. 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 Uh, Droffy. <laughs> Droffy. We love Droffy. Uh, yeah. I looked up at my mom, f my four-year-old mind whirring, whirling with confusion. My mother was sitting by my father's bed, crying. H He's gone, sweetheart. She sniffled, looking down at me. Gone where? Can we go with him, I asked. Oh, baby girl. My mom stroked my hair and hugged me tightly. Honey, this is Carl. He's your new father. Yikes. My mom said, it is a few years later, and I'm now ten. What? He can't replace Dad? He's never going to, I shouted. Looking between them, my mother's face twisted in anger. He and I love each other very much, so if you don't like it, then you'll simply have to deal, she said before- this is a dream or a flashback? I'm confused now. I have no I idea. I feel like- um, All of this I is guess, crazy. Is this the Five Nights at Freddy's, like, trying to figure out what happened to your- Five Nights at Freddy's. Okay. She's, okay, then you'll simply have to deal, she said before stomping away. Carl gave me a sorrowful glance before following her. I huffed, flopping back down on the carpet in my bedroom. Mom, I screeched as the truck came barreling towards us. We collided head on with it, the jolt flinging me forward, causing the airbags to deploy. I was screaming as a piece of glass flew from the windshield and scratched my forehead. My mother remained motionless in the front seat. Okay. Uh, I don't like the subject matter, but I will give you credit. You gotta put trigger warnings on your shit, man. You gotta do this. Yeah. Listen, yeah. I'm talking about me. I'm talking about me. <laughs> like, if you're making media and you're just gonna drop some shit in the middle of it, you gotta put a trigger warning on it for nah, Sarah O'Hearn. You, you, you gotta pull a little surprise. <laughs> gotta make a little surprise. It's called a mystery box, Sarah. Shut Liberals. <laughs> Snowflake. <laughs> Snowflake. Okay. Guys, it's just a mystery box. <laughs> MAGA hat that like JJ Abrams. <laughs> God damn it. Okay. <laughs> Whatever that was, Josh said it. So get mad at him about it. No, Sarah condoned it. So no, you I shouldn't didn't. get mad at her. Um, no, I hated that. Sarah whispered nope, it to me right before. There was that actually a secret cut there. That that fucking happened. There was so, a secret cut that nope. Sarah said that. And he's then lying, she said, he's I don't want to say that's what that. They and do. I said, I'll take the bullet for this one. Uh, <laughs> oh, this is my cross to carry, Sarah. It's a bear. Speaking of bears. Wolves. My mother remained motionless in the front seat as we were pushed away from the truck's forest. Pain shot through my wrist as it slammed on the door. <laughs> After what felt like hours, the paramedics had come, along with the firefighters and policemen. Uh, they quickly rushed me away from the scene and into an ambulance. A few days later, a nurse came into my room. Hi, Jewel. How are you feeling? She asked. Okay, I replied. The hospital bed was lumpy and uncomfortable. The sheets hardly warm. Well, today you get to go home, although I do have some pretty bad news. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, hold on. <laughs> sorry. I'm sorry. Hold on. 
I'm sorry. Hold on. That's terrible bedside manner. That's yeah. Well, listen, you get to go home. <laughs> listen, I this... gotta tell you a big stinker. <laughs> uh, this next thing you might want to prep yourself for. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's me. Are you sitting down? <laughs> this one. Your parents are dead. <laughs> like, okay. Your dead parents are right behind me, aren't they? <laughs> <laughs> Awkward. Awkward. Oh my god. Okay. She sat down in the chair across the room. What? I asked. Your mom. She's dead. What? No! I'm sorry. Your stepfather now has full custody of you. The nurse stood and walked out of the room. Get down here now, Carl shouted. I ran down the stairs quickly. This was when I was 13. Yes, sir, I asked. Clean up this mess. Okay, are you through with this? I held up a half-empty beer bottle. I never said to ask questions, brat. Carl reached over, snatching the bottle from my hand. He lifted it and then smashed it down on my head? Um. Pieces of glass flew, flew everywhere. My brown hair became wet with both blood and beer. <laughs> my green eyes uh, filled up quickly with tears. Now clean up this mess. I ran upstairs, darting into my room and slamming the door shut, locking it. Grabbing a backpack from my closet doorknob, I threw as many pairs of clothes as possible in it, from jeans to shirts to socks to undergarments. Get out here, Carl screamed, banging on the door. I zipped up the bag with shaky hands, slinging it over one shoulder, taking a glance. <sighs> taking a last glance at the door, I opened my window and took the two-story jump. Jesus. Time seemed to freeze in as I flew through the air. A l the loud crash of the door being broke came from above, and a few pieces of wood came falling out of the window. My feet hit the ground, and I allowed my knees to bend, ducking and rolling. Smart. That's Always smart. duck and roll. Yeah, duck and roll. Always duck and roll if you're going to do that shit. It's all sun school, yeah. <laughs> sun school? Stunt school. I thought you said sun school. They also teach you that in the military. My dad, when he was old as shit, speaking of dead dad, my dad, <laughs> when he was old as shit, and he would fall all the time because he was old, this is what old people do. Yeah. He would turn into, he would, it was so funny because he would tactical roll everywhere. Hell yeah. It was really funny. That is kind of cool, actually. Just it's like having dope. that innate sense of like, like, yeah, rolling. But he was a fat old man. <laughs> so it was funny as fuck to see because he was wearing denim up past, you know. Oh, yeah, to his up past, you, yeah. You know, and he's wearing that blue flannel shirt that all the fucking mm. Northeaster guys yeah. are even though he wasn't northeaster but you know he might as well be yeah he fucking he just he would trip over like a tiny he would fall like a couple of feet maybe two two feet yeah and he would immediately go like <laughs> <laughs> landed yeah like fucking so funny he would uh, for sure pencil roll log roll whatever oh yeah for sure yeah uh, my feet hit the ground and I allowed my knees to bend ducking and rolling i'll find you someday carl shouted as i ran why he obviously doesn't like you. Yeah, so why... Why is he going to find you? Weird, yeah. I guess, I don't know. Who knows what goes through the minds of weird, abusers. We're still in a... We're still in a <coughs> this is still a dream, right? Yeah, this is all a dream. Okay. Because it seems like... Uh, okay, whatever. This yeah. is a crazy-ass dream. Yeah. It was a few months after I ran away. My clothes were ripped, my face dirty, and I had a cut on my arm from a stray cat. Sat down next to a cardboard box in an alley. Why isn't there any food that people will spare? I wondered aloud. Suddenly a pain shot up my spine. I felt as if a fire had started on my back while somebody was stabbing me everywhere. The pain spread throughout my body, causing to yell out in pain in the dark night. Uh, I closed. That's a great movie. I closed my eyes, writhing on the ground. It seemed as if it lasted hours before the pain went away. I sat up, panting. Looking around, I noticed my hands weren't hands. They were midnight black paws. Suddenly, I realized I could see in the dark. I looked at the rest of my body to see the body of a sleek, agile wolf padding over to a puddle. I looked down, seeing a wolf face with electric blue eyes. Hell yeah. This is weird, yet awesome, I thought, <laughs> curled up next to the cardboard box and slept. Uh, I could get used to this. <laughs> so she, the whole time she didn't know he was, she was a werewolf? And I guess, yeah, I got the powers randomly and at, at their lowest moment. Is it genetic? I don't, I, it's not really explained, is it? Does it matter if it's genetic? Uh, you know, maybe none of this matters. Yeah, you know. Maybe nothing matters, actually. Keep going. Yeah. When keep I was awake the next morning, I was human again. <laughs> my looks had changed, though. I was smaller, tanner, and my hair was longer. I walked over to the same puddle and saw the same electric blue eyes staring back as night. My hair was jet black with blue streaks in it. Wow, I breathed. Wow. 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 Wowie zowie. Wowie zowie. I bolted upright. This is the best sleep I had in ages, but the worst dream. Why had I had that dream? I s stood and wiggled my way out of the bush, lapping up more water from the stream. I looked around. It I was in a beautiful forest with birds twittering in the branches above. Pray. 
The prey, I'm the bushes around me. Prey in the bushes around me, and a gentle oh. breeze stirring the leaves. My stomach growled, pulling me out of my thoughts. I grimaced. I'll have to kill if I am to survive, I thought. I sniffed the air quickly, <laughs> sending a rabbit. Learning, learning the, to becoming the predator, you know, fucking. Yeah, this is in the same uh, universe as One Direction and Simon Cowell. Yeah, very interesting that, That's like. It's fucking epic to put these two together. Yeah, man. worlds colliding, you know. Yeah. Uh, I'll have to kill if I am to survive, I thought. I sniffed the air quickly, sending a rabbit not far away. I trotted, following the scent, until I spotted the rodent. It was scuffing around, scuffling around, chewing on a piece of grass. I charged it, not giving it a chance. Quickly, I broke its neck, ignoring its squealing. After I had killed it, I sat down and ate. Author's note. Ba-bam! Extra long one. Dances. Y'all have a surprise in the next one, so be prepared. Thank you so much for one point... Surprise in the next one. Yeah. Ooh. Uh, thank you so much for 1.02 thousand reads. I was flipping out. So 1,020? <laughs> that's how they... That's how they did it. Yeah. It's, it's like... <laughs> Nice. Okay. Well, good for them getting a lot of views. Yeah. Good for That's them. That's nice. I hope Fucking, so. I wonder what the views. surprise is, you know? What do you think? It's going to be that she loves One Direction and wants to be with them forever. <laughs> it's going to be that. Um, it's going to be. It's going to be that Zane is also a werewolf or something. Yeah. You know, maybe it is one of the One Direction guys are a werewolf. I wish. That I feel like that's more satisfying. Yeah. I guess in the grand scheme of things. Because how else Simon do Cowell's they know? Simon a werewolf, dude, this whole time. What if they're all werewolves? I don't know. I, <laughs> that I, don't, I don't really like that. I don't know why. Because how else do they all know about it? Like, how else do they all know about werewolves? I thought they were confused in the beginning. Like, oh shit, she's a werewolf. But they know about werewolves. Yeah, I mean, I assume there's werewolf media. But it you seems think, like... like Fright Night never existed? Well, no, okay, I'm trying to think... I feel like they know more about I feel werewolves. Like there would be more Are werewolves. Are werewolves a common I thing like in this world? If, rare, if werewolves, where's were, the world building? So I think if werewolves were real, and this is just thinking logically with common sense, I think if werewolves existed in real life, and people saw them, they saw a man turn into wolf and back into man again and back into wolf again. I think there would be more, more stories about werewolves. Actually, okay. So I don't think it's so crazy. This is the only werewolf, is what I'm hearing. Is that that's no? What you... I'm saying that there are other werewolves, but like okay. say, like in a fucking tiny Slavic town, there was a guy who was a werewolf, and he, you know, went out and hunted and came back to town. And an old woman saw him do it. She would write down in scripture that okay. werewolves existed, and then we would make media. You know, Quentin Tarantino would be waking, making werewolf mo movies movies all day every yeah. day yeah okay i get what you mean all right fine that's fair yeah that is fair but i'm willing to bet that one of them's at least a werewolf i bet you i'm willing to bet that's the surprise i hope it's simon i hope it's simon too king <laughs> werewolf king werewolf what if everyone in the world's a werewolf but they just don't know it yet i mean maybe <laughs> if that's how you if you just randomly get it then maybe all right jules pov chapter eight oi what are you doing on my territory? I heard from behind me. I, I licked my any leftover meat from my muzzle and turned, seeing a light brown wolf with lime green streaks in his fur. His green eyes shined with hostility, and he was at least three times larger than me. I apologize. I was running from kidnappers, I replied, dipping my head, my head to him. Huh, kidnappers. You think I'm stupid? The wolf <laughs> snarled. There's no such thing as kidnappers. We're both werewolves. Get out of here. The wolf snarled his fur bristling. No, I'm serious. They kidnapped me. I woofed. Backing oh, and away were a they bit. one oh, I'm direction. sorry. Let me redo that again. Bark, 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 <laughs> bark, bark. No, I'm serious. They kidnapped me. I woofed, backing away a bit. Woof, and woof, I, woof. And I'm the Easter bunny, he retorted. Bark, bark, bark. I see you're a werewolf. I nodded. You are too? Yes. Shift. You first. He gave an exasperated sigh, then his eyes began glowing. There was a bright flash, and suddenly a boy was standing before me. He was around 17, his hair the same color as his wolf's fur was. He was tall with tan skin. Your turn. I allowed the tingling to take over my body, my eyes glowing for only a short second before I shifted back to my human form. My naturally curling, curling hair flowed down my back, reaching the middle of it. The boy's eyes widened, his jaw almost dropped, but he shook it off. How old are you? <laughs> yeah. Like, jaw floor, the, the whistle comes out. Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. 
How old are you? He asked, his tone back to hostile. Fifteen? You? My tone was more confident as I looked at him. Although he still towered over me, I could tell you he was a bit off his game. Eighteen. Tell me again. Why are you here? Truth this time. I told you I was kidnapped and I was running from them. Don't believe me? I said, my eyes glowing with fury. How about we go to the nearest store and I'll show you? Huh. How about no? What's your name? He crossed his arms and stared at me. Jewel, and you are... Shane. Jewel's a weird name. And that's supposed to offend me? I asked sarcastically. <laughs> Shane growled. And his human form? <laughs> <laughs> Still still barking when you're a human, like you forget that you have the ability to form words. Yeah. Uh, you're in my territory. You will respect me or I will take you prisoner, he said. And that would be different from my current situation. How? <laughs> I like that. That's, that's great. That's that was little, good. That's, that's a little, good that's still a little Joss whedon a little, I'm not gonna lie. The, like, and I give a shit for why? I shot back. Without warning, he shifted, leaping towards my throat. I ducked down and shifted, fur bristling as I pre- prepared for battle. Oh. Louis POV. We've been looking for Jewel for hours, but we haven't found her. Niles- oh, so it's going to be One Direction saves her from another werewolf? What? To kidnap her again? That's so crazy. That's uh, so we're, Well, we're really going to get into like some Stockholm Syndrome. Yeah, for sure. Really, really... See, this is actually a mental, psych- like a psychological piece now. Mm. We've been looking for Jewel for hours, but we haven't found her. Niall's been crying his eyes out. Harry seems angry. Liam and Zane determined. I'm worried that if we don't find her, she'll reveal us as kidnappers. We were driving down a country road, uh, we have calling to ki- we have out. To, we have to kill her once we find her. Yeah. Yeah. Don't take prisoners, dude. Jewel, come here, girl. I shouted. Suddenly, I heard a loud yelp and a howl. The others turned, and I took meaning... They heard it too. They Liam, running. Stop the car! Harry yelled. Liam pulled over, and everybody piled out. Another yelp came from the forest across the road. Without a second look, I crossed. The others following behind me. We followed the yelps and growls that echoed throughout the forest until we came upon a small clearing with two wolves in it. <laughs> two wolves inside of you. There's two wolves inside of you. Both of them are fighting. <laughs> and one, they, one was kidnapped by one. Direction. Yeah, one was kidnapped by one direction. The other one, if you piss on their territory, they'll fucking kill you. <laughs> they'll fucking kill you. Um, clearing with two wolves. One of them was Jewel. They were wrestling. The brown wolf pinning Jewel down, his slobbery fangs inches from her neck. Stop! Said One Direction. That's <laughs> so funny. Like, can we take a moment? Is the is the next thing gonna be that wolf looking up and going, that fucking, that fucking one, one, one Direction? direction. <laughs> yeah. Wait. What the hell? And then Jules goes in for the kill. Like, yeah. fucking God. And then they murder a boy. What if they teamed up against One Direction? Whoa. Actually, yeah, I want that. Yeah. Stop, Niall yelled, ste- stepping out into the clearing. I followed, as did Harry, Liam, and Zane. The bigger wolf's eyes grew wide. He looked down at Jewel, who hadn't, I told you so, look on her face. Wait, is it like One Direction are known kidnappers now? So he looks yeah, and he's like, so- oh shit, it's One Direction. She really was kidnapped. Ah, yeah. That's so funny. Um, egg on my face. <laughs> the wolf. The wolf. Under closer observation, I saw each wolf was covered in bites and scratches, obviously caused by the other one. Get off her now, and get away now, Liam said. The wolf nodded, bo- uh, backing off Jewel and taking off into the forest, not looking back. You, Missy, have some explaining to do, I told Jewel before she could run. What? Explaining? She was kidnapped and ran away. Yeah, like, why, why are you talking to her like you're her parent? <laughs> yeah, you could, uh, what's happening here, guys? Break it up. <laughs> She gave me a glare, but shifted, sitting on the forest floor. Well, Niall asked, and she began. Author's note. So, so, so sorry. I was super busy working on the new house, and yeah, don't kill meh, M-E-H, from L. So, was the twist that there's another werewolf? Is that really a twist, though? Like, I don't know. You know, I have no idea. I don't, yeah, it seems like it doesn't really make any fucking sense, but whatever. Yeah, it doesn't, for sure. Uh, I don't know how to feel about that. I don't know where this is going, I guess. Which I guess is a good thing, but also, like... Yeah, I have no idea what the fuck is there's happening. A, it seems like there's a lot of bullshit going. I mean, I don't know. I think it's kind of well-written. You think it's well? Okay, all right. In terms of structure? Yeah. I guess, yeah, comparatively to other fan fiction, It doesn't feel too long. It doesn't feel too short. It's go- But I will say, though, if it, if it, I wonder if it is going to end abruptly. It feels like it, it might. does seem like it's getting to that point. It doesn't where it's feel like, like it's wrapping up yet, and we're yeah, running out of Yeah, because it seems chapter. like we're doing a bunch of. Bu- that's why I think it feels like we're doing a bunch of bullshit. Oh, I see. Where it's like, uh, okay, now we're gonna kit. We're gonna let her run away. Now there's another werewolf. Yeah, 
and we're gonna do this dream sequence where her dead parents and you're right you have dead parents and then there's gonna be another werewolf and then we're gonna immediately resolve it and bring one direction back into it yeah so it seems like we're trying to separate them and then immediately like a chapter later they're already back together right so then it seems like this is like the second time that's happened to where it's like the first time it was in public i, I don't okay, know okay, so okay 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 not to bring up another zionist of neil Druckmann, but if this were last of us and Ellie had run away from Joel, mm. and then Joel saved Ellie. I will say, though, it feels earned in that. It feels earned because it actually... Okay, don't fucking... Don't look... Yeah, okay, mm-hmm. yeah. Fucking, yeah. Yeah, okay. If I'm comparing fucking, I don't know, uh, 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 The Room to fucking uh, Citizen Kane, yeah, I guess... Some people would fucking disagree with you. A lot of people, actually. A lot of people think Citizen Kane's boring as shit. And we can't tell them how to feel. All right, fine. Let me... Okay, not Citizen Kane. They, Sorry. Lots and lots and lots of millennials would rather watch The Room than Citizen Kane. The Room or uh, Hereditary. I don't know. Fuck it. Lots of people would rather watch The Room than Hereditary. You can't tell people that it's just like, oh, one's good taste and one's bad taste. That's not how it works. <laughs> But I want to, though. You see why I have dilemma? No, I know, because you hate women, and I get it. <laughs> you hate it when women write? You hate it when women are in, I you didn't know, say media? that. I've never said that in, in media. Yeah, you Just hate in it. General. Just in general, in media. <laughs> Sarah, I know, if Josh. I hated women in p- fucking uh, media, this podcast wouldn't exist. I'd be so far down listen, that fucking far right pipeline. I know that you bring. Listen, you're telling me that podcasts that are anti. You're a man. You're a white man with a microphone and a podcast. That's inherently misogynistic now because of all of the other podcasts that are like that. Wow, well, that's the company that you keep. <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah, I know. No one knows this, but Josh watches the Fresh and Fit podcast no, every I damn don't. day. Shut the fuck Andrew up. Tate, These Joe are Rogan, he loves that shit. And I know that. Yeah, listen, I know I got you, and that's why you're upset. But <laughs> <laughs> man, this is gonna be man. Thank God there's a cut coming because I'm gonna get real mad. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna get real mad. <laughs> ad break <laughs> no that's true or is it ad break i am enjoying this fan fiction so far though it is better than the other ones i think it is read. i yeah. think it's the best it's one. probably yeah it's better yeah it's, it's, it's the best one it's really up there with uh josh hutcherson man. yeah the, that one that still that haunts both really of good. us to this day it haunts you uh, the, yeah, when I get DMs of like, hey, the thought of thinking of you, heart emoji, and then it's just a Josh Hutcherson fucking. Did you actually get that? No, I didn't get that. Oh, but I, I, know wish. The, I know. I know on the podcast, there's people that were like at APWSTR that it's the Josh Hutcherson in the sky with the. Yeah. Someone added my personal TikTok um, to a TikTok that was saying. Oh, yeah, on Thanksgiving, right? No. That was a different thing? Yes. It's a different thing that was only me. Yeah, it wasn't even me. And it was a TikTok about how, like, when you realize you use less yarn when you knit instead of crochet. Mm -hmm. And that was the whole thing. And I gotta be honest, I will never stop crocheting. Fuck knitting. Fuck knitting. I've tried so hard to knit, and I've gotten done it successfully, but I've never gotten to the point where I can continuously do it. And eventually I will. But crochet is my first love, and you can't take that away from me. That's fair. That's fair. Oh, yeah. she uses too much yarn. Oh. Yeah, I want to be warm in the winter. Yes. <laughs> winter is coming, and I, I must want be to warm. make a nice structure, a structured blanket. That's fair. Yeah. Do you think skyscrapers use too much steel? <laughs> then can that can jet fuel melt? I, that's not where I, ad break. God fucking! You had to fucking bring up nine eleven. <laughs> I'm Something thinking we've about never, it constantly. We've never brought up 9-11 on this show we before. We have never. We, we are would, American we never, patriots. We would never stoop so low. <laughs> ad break. Ad break. Welcome to the ad break. Oh my god. Hey, are you enjoying this podcast so far? I am, for sure. They better like, comment, subscribe, hit the gosh darn bell, and raise five stars on Apple and Spotify podcasts. Okay, I will. Good. If you want to support <laughs> the podcast in a couple different ways, there's a couple uh, financially. You can go to straightovercoffee.com and buy our coffee. It's so delicious, dude. Yeah, we got two different blends. They're both 
sixteen dollars a bag and twenty eight dollars for two bags. Good fuck. Yeah, actually, hold on. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I actually hold on. I actually want to get a nice whiff of it. You know, I don't want to lie and say. Why I would didn't. you lie? I I genuinely. I'm trying to get put it, it up next to my face, trying to do ASMR, and then I smelled it. And it was actually yeah. Really good. I smelled the caramel. And this one's good. Nice. But yeah, so go to straightriverforcoffee.com forward slash something. Link in the Just description. Just go to straightrivercoffee.com. Go to straightrivercoffee.com. The card, I think, is on this side. Yeah. It's, it's we don't need to overcomplicate. Just go to the goddamn yeah. website. Go to the website. It's linked in the description. There's two different blends, one for each of us. Sarah has a dark roast chocolate cream Colombian blend. Colombian bean. Colombian bean blend. Yeah. And I have Brazilian bean light to medium roast with caramel flavoring. And you can get them both for $28. Together, together and then and 16 then Saturday, for one for one yeah yep so pick a favorite Who, who's your favorite podcaster get their coffee yeah but yeah uh there's a couple other things you can do you can go to buymeacoffee.com forward slash apwstr you can leave a nice note for us we'll read it during the segment as long as it's not racist homophobic transphobic yeah. anything a lot terrible. of nice comments this uh week i think yeah, i think sure. uh fucking i think a lot of people on the 28th i think was the 28th the day that the spotify wrapped happened maybe yeah we got a lot of coffees on the 28th that's why i'm Aww, looking at it so no Claire bought three coffees. Thank you. Hi, Claire. Hello. Loving the podcast all the way from Melbourne, Australia. Oh, thank I you. dig the neuro spicy couple combo as it reminds me of my BF and I. Please, would you let me know your zodiac, sun, moon, and rising? Thanks. I read this and I was going to do a whole thing and I forgot. What's yours? Josh? I'm Gemini. But you don't know what you're. I okay. don't know. I don't fucking know what any of this shit means. <laughs> okay. I'm Libra and I think it's Virgo rising and. I can't wait for no, all the comments. Leo. Liam there was a Daniel Tosh uh, thing where it was like he was talking about the horoscope and he said he's a Gemini and the person that was he had on she was like she was uh, like uh and then he goes no, no it doesn't mean bullshit. anything it it's mean bullshit anything. shut yeah. up yeah. <laughs> you don't think that I don't think that but yeah no I'm a, I'm a Gemini so I don't know my sun moon rising Horse. though while well, you looked it up can I go to the next coffee yeah okay uh, matcha pronouns any brought three coffees thank you very much thank you. Uh, hey, Sarah and Josh, I was introduced to your lovely podcast by my partner, Salem. They bought a coffee a yes. couple weeks ago and mentioned moving in with me. Cohabitation has been amazing, and it's the uh, the curly smile uh, emoticon. I just want to say your podcast keeps me in a happy zone while delivering packages at my job. It, every laugh makes the hours go faster. Thank you for the amazing work you both you do. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. Happy to make your job easier. Yeah. Hell also, yeah. hell yeah, because I, I, I read that one and I was like, oh, yeah, Salem. I remember. Yeah. Also, let me. No, nope. they want to hear. They they're not gonna be able to hear you if your mouth's well, all. Well, I'm doing the, some shit that you don't care about. You're not putting any effort into it. So now I okay. gotta do it. All right, you know, I'll I'll also look up mine. I'll look up mine. All right. Okay. okay we figured, so we, it, we figured out. it out. Yeah. I am a Libra, Libra Sun, Virgo Rising, and a Leo Moon. Okay. And you are a Gemini Sun, Pisces Rising. The fuck's a Pisces? As the fish, and uh, Libra Moon. Okay. So you got your you got the two face, and then you got the fish. Which I all I know about Pisces is that they cry. I think. I don't really know that much about Pisces. You got to be honest. <laughs> I don't know shit about and Pisces then a Libra, either. Libra Moon, which is like the balance, the balancey guys. Okay, fascinating. So then maybe that's why you're not super uh, uh, Gemini pill to do. Yeah. That's why I'm nothing pilled, actually. They all <laughs> fight each other, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and then I'm just a person. I don't know. Kai bought four coffees. Thank you. Oh my you. gosh, it's Kai. Hello. Hey, Sarah and Josh. These coffees are dedicated to my dog, Vinny, who recently crossed the Rainbow Bridge. I'm so sorry. He would sorry. listen to the podcast. I apologize as well. I'm sorry. Yeah. He would listen to the podcast with me on Tuesdays while I was cleaning house. The, the looks he would give me sometimes made me think he couldn't believe what he was hearing with the Reddit stories. <laughs> no. Or maybe I'm just crazy and in mourning, crying, laughing emoji. Mm. I would audibly say, are you hearing the shit, V? <laughs> say, I feel that. Yeah. The podcast and Discord have been my support along with my uh, with boyfriend and the cat queens, Willow and Pumpkin. I love you guys Aww. so much. Enjoy the pumpkins and give your pets some love, Kai. Of course. Yeah. Absolutely. Definitely give Thank your pets you. love, everybody. Everyone give your pets love, man. All right. Also, my condolences, fuck. My condolences. That yeah, sucks I feel that. So it much. sucks, yeah. God. Listen to pet, yeah. I know some people were like uh, talking about like with uh, how Kaya passed away last week, and I was talking about yeah, that. some other people's dogs passed away on yeah. uh, Black Friday. Yeah, and my condolences to them too. Yeah, and condolences. Yeah, Maddie bought a coffee. Thank you, Maddie. Oh my gosh, thank you, Maddie. Hello, new fan of the pod. I have been loving it so far. Smiley face. Mm. I wanted to give a special thank you for bringing up Fall of the House of Usher a couple episodes ago. 
I started watching it after I heard you guys talk about it and loved it, which it was, was expected since I loved Haunting of the Hill House and Haunting of Bly Manor. Sweet. I know you said you haven't watched Hill House, but I honestly think it's a must watch if you like the other two. In my opinion, it's the best by it's the best by that guy. I forgot his name of those three. Mm. TLDR, watch Haunting to Give Hill House, you won't regret it. Of course, yeah. Yeah, definitely. At some point. It's always interesting when we say watch something and people actually say they watched it. That's crazy. Yeah, yeah. we're influencers. We're influencers. That's dude. why there's another strike happening, because I do know that the fucking Dude, the amount of shit we got for not talking while also every other... and We never got any shit from any podcaster or anyone that actually does a podcast. It was just people that that all are just like, no, fucking stop talking about... Stop being in solidarity with me. Please stop. Please stop. I want to hear the, the I know better. opinions of the movies. And it's like, okay, man. I love them, the movies. But every other podcast that we listen to, we're also doing also the same doing thing. The, yeah. Like, I know that they were worried. I know Miguel Roy's worried about the um not being able to do Until Death Do We Blart because they were going to stop doing it. Yeah. And they also were talking about it like on stream, just like yeah, anywhere. They casually. Were... And I was like, God. Yeah. Thank God we're not yeah, stupid. Yeah, we're not alone on this one. Yeah. Jesus. Milo, uh, he, Z, it's X, Z, I don't know how to pronounce that uh, pronoun, I oh, apologize. Z, I think, Z. I, think it I is. believe it's Z. Zer, Z, Zer? He, uh, yeah. yeah, it's he, Z. He, uh, Z. Bought okay. a coffee. Howdy, been waiting, uh, wanting to buy y'all a coffee for a while. Mm. ABWSDR has carried me through pretty much all of 2023, and I want to say thank you for so much, all, so much for all the work you do. Y'all mm. have got me through the film strikes, I work in the art departments on films, rip, fucking solidarity, dude. Solidarity, fucking, yeah, dog. dude I Jesus fucking, Christ. I uh, listen. Fucking hope you've been doing well because I know a lot of people got fucked by that. Like, yeah, yeah for so, sure. Yeah, hope you're doing well on that. Yeah. Moving out for the first time and start an end of a relationship. He couldn't tame this stallion. <laughs> <laughs> this is I, a Josh this man. Is a, a virtual, virtual <laughs> high five right there. Yeah, can't tame, tame this, this stallion. stallion. Let's yeah. go, man. That's the life lesson. You gotta remember that. If guys, if anything ever happens between me and Sarah, you can just tweet out. Can't tame this. Can't tame this stallion. Couldn't stain, yeah. Tame this stallion. Yeah. <laughs> yes, yeah. <laughs> That'll be such a funny Dude, like breakup I would be coordination. So depressed. I'd yeah. be so I would be laying in my bed for hours every day, <laughs> ordering Uber Eats and not getting out of bed. And on Twitter, I'll be getting DM'd like, "Guess you couldn't tame this <laughs> yeah. stallion." That's so awesome, Josh fans. <laughs> Josh fans. But yeah, okay. Oh, you couldn't tame the stallion and deciding to grow my hair out. Thanks, Josh. Fuck yeah. Safe to say, I think you're both super slay and I hope you're able to continue to be happy doing what you love. Hell Thanks yeah. for all the good jokes, bad fan fix, and excellent advice. Golden heart emoji. Thank you. Thank you. Josh fan, dude. Nice. They're few and far between. But we really appreciate them. I love to see it. Yeah. Honestly. The the Josh fans, they're a silent, they're the silent majority. <laughs> <laughs> okay, fucking Richard Nixon? Jesus. Meanwhile, when I have fans, Josh is like, oh, Sarah's got fans. But when you have fans, I'm like, yay, fans. Yeah, yeah. I, I have no I have no morals. <laughs> because you hate women, that's why. That's why this is why Josh fans need to stick together. <laughs> this is my Homelander arc. <laughs> Fucking <laughs> I yeah. actually wrote out that story that was Homelander. It's oh, the yeah, most relatable. The most relatable, yeah. Oh, the violin. Yeah, yeah. the violin, okay. yeah. I was like, what are these boop boops? Yeah. Okay. Uh, and our final coffee. Nessie bought a coffee. Thank you. Thanks, Nessie. Hi, guys. I just wanted to thank you for what you do. I developed chronic pain after COVID, and your podcast has helped you through the nights when I've been in too much pain to sleep. Oh, my gosh. I would say something funny, but I'm too tired. That's okay. The actual Loch Ness uh, Monster, Nessie for short. Hell yeah. Dude, hell yeah. You yeah. Names my you nicknames my daughter after the Loch Ness Monster? <laughs> <laughs> that was from... What was that from? That's from that was from Twilight. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. yeah. I read that, and I was like, that's awesome. That the actual <laughs> Loch Ness Monster is a fan of our podcast. Yeah, I think dude, that's fucking, great. We got him, dude. Yeah. Hell yeah. Thank you for the coffee. Thank you so much. I apologize for still smiling during that coffee, because I'm still getting over the... <laughs> the Josh fan? The Josh fan. I'm I totally sorry. missed that that uh, coffee, too, in the emails. I missed it, too. Apparently, I read it, but I didn't I didn't remember it. I always that's forget, awesome. I, they, they were all sent a week ago or whatever, so like, fucking, yeah. I forget them, but yeah. Yeah. Nice. Thank well, you that very was our much. Coffees. Thank you so much. Uh, go to patreon.com forward slash ABWSTR if yeah. you want to become monthly or yearly subscribers of the of our podcast. We got hella stuff on there. We got Unhinged, where we're reading a door a romance novel. Dirty, slutty book. <laughs> very dirty. Yeah. Very slutty. Uh, lots of sex going on in that yeah. book now. It was the about sexual tension in this room is fucking 
off you the can cut it with a knife. <laughs> you can cut it with a knife uh, after reading that. But yeah, it's about a door who falls in love with a human woman, and then the door turns into a man, and they have sex, and he saves her from a murderer. Uh, maybe it's an we'll uh, unhinged door romance story by uh, Vera Valentine. Yeah, if you want to just right buy the now. book, there sucks. Yeah. Thus spoke Zarathustra. Yes, my solo pod. Your solo pod that you're working on. We got a bunch of other stuff on there. You get gaming videos early. You yeah. get the podcast early as long as I can edit it in time. But I have ADHD, so sometimes I don't. But <laughs> you also get access to the Discord, and the Discord is probably is really great. Everyone shared their uh, Spotify Wrapped, and it's very interesting seeing everyone's music. Very supportive group. I really love that Discord. Yeah, man. it's a great Discord. Mm-hmm. So yeah, please go consider checking it out. And if you become a yearly sub to any of our tiers, uh, one, three, five, and ten, those uh, it'll get ten percent off for your yearly subscription. Indeed. And one, three dollar tiers also have a week free trial. Yep. All right. Enjoy the rest of the show. Mm-hmm. Are you ready for some fucking Reddit bullshit? I'm ready for some Reddit, dude. I'm fucking... Let's fucking go, dude. Oh, man. I got my cherry Coke because I don't have any LaCroix right now. Let's go. Do we say that we don't know if any of these are real or fake, but we try? We don't know if any of these are real or fake, but we try. (laughs) Okay. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I I do agree with that. I do agree. Like, I've started doing now, and I think I should have done this before, and I Mm. will admit, I think this is something that we probably should have been doing, but we just weren't thinking about it. Yeah. If a post has been taken down... For being not factual by the mods. Yeah, I won't pick those. Yeah, because sometimes Am I the Devil will pick those and, and aggregate them, and then I'll be like, oh, I, I want to. I read started this. checking to see why. Uh, sometimes the ones I picked today that were deleted, they weren't because they were fake. It's but like because, some other rule. Yeah, or it's like it's not an interpersonal conflict. Uh, and I was like, ah, but I mean, it's still an interesting story. Yeah, I want to talk about it. But yeah, so I, I will say we do definitely try to pick stories that seem at least real. I know there's another huge discourse going on, and people are saying stupid shit as always. Yeah, I think saying that every Reddit story is fake, fake is kind of crazy. And I also think saying like that you can't get anything out of a fake Reddit story is stupid. It's also crazy. Because then don't watch any art. <laughs> well, uh, okay. And, and don't don't watch any films or TV shows. I want to at least be like, I'm not trying to sell this to you as real. I want to tell you that what we are doing is we are reading stories from the internet. Yeah. And we are reacting to them as if you know, not as if they were real, but as if, like, we're reacting to them. Yeah. Yeah. Like, we talk a lot about unreliable narrators and shit, and we read into the stories more than people normally do. Oh, yeah, for sure. Like, I think a lot of times when people disagree with us, they're like, but she said that she took her son to the doctor. It's like, okay, yeah, she went to one doctor, maybe, you know? Yeah, you might have, yeah. <laughs> I, I get what you mean, yeah. Yeah, like, after a while, after reading these, like, you have to understand that the people writing them are at least trying to make themselves seem good. Yeah, like I feel like we're so deep in the lore of Reddit, you know? Yeah. And I think we look at it very much through, and I think you and I very specifically, and I think a lot of other people do this too, of course, but like yeah. I think you and I coming from artistic backgrounds and like talking about like how we both have written about ourselves, about others. Yeah. Uh, or talked about others too. Yeah, perception. Everyone, perception is key and everyone's writing to make themselves look good. I don't see how this is different than meeting a friend in a bar and them saying the shit to your face yeah i don't see how that is different at all and i mean maybe i'm an idiot or something or i'm not in whatever let me know how you think about that yeah but um but how getting... do you know that they're not lying <laughs> yeah so like i don't know and it sucks that we have to keep having this like come up because i feel like it's we're obligated as this is our job now yeah, I like, don't, well, I mean, yeah, I don't want to spread propaganda. We used to, we would specifically look at stuff and try not to pick stories that were obviously trying to make minorities look bad. Yeah, you know, because I think there's a lot of that on Reddit for I sure. Think, yeah, there's a lot of yeah, yeah, and, I, I, and lo- obviously AI stories and all that shit. Mm-hmm. But also, like, I do trust the mods a little bit to be able to pick out stories that are fake. Yeah, it's part of their job. It's part of their job. Yeah, and if they do it, I think the least we can do is not read those. I ones. don't know. I'm not gonna make. <laughs> Yeah. I'm not going to stitch our TikTok and be like, obviously this is fake. Duh, this never happens. And then evil three or five happened. people that stumble upon that TikTok feel invalidated and have to comment, yeah, well, this is, this happened to me, so it doesn't seem so far-fetched. Yeah, and then they never get a response. And or, they never get a response, an but everyone else is like, well, actually, well, yeah, every, every, once I heard that it's all written, and it's like, and this is why it's bad to do this. And it's like, yeah, man, I don't know. I'm sorry, I keep seeing that person in my feed for some fucking reason. Oh, I blocked them for sure. Uh, yeah, I'm going to block them later, but yeah. The I most think annoying. The last fucking... thing I want to do is invalidate someone's experience, and if someone yeah. has an experience like the Reddit story that we're talking about, 
then I don't want to invalidate them. Yeah. And be like, obviously this is fake. <laughs> obviously fake. Yeah. Some of them I'm like, I feel like this is rage bait and I say that because yeah. I want to put that idea out there. But also I don't mean to invalidate anyone who's been through similar situations. Exactly. Yeah. I don't know why this is we have to say this though. Like I feel like I don't know this why is it feels like every common. week there's another news story where everyone like uh, yeah, it's annoying. It's annoying at the very least, and it's malicious at the worst, I feel like. Yeah, and that's why I want to move away from stories that are like, and that's why women are terrible, you know? Or yeah, something like that. The, yeah. That's why I hate minorities. It's like, okay, yeah. Yeah. We shouldn't read those ones. No, of course, no I feel like, yeah. I feel like that's fucked up. Jeez. But okay, this one, oh, I'm not going to start with that one because that one's fucking crazy. Speaking of hating women. <laughs> yeah. and literally it was, though. <laughs> <laughs> that it was like that, but it's it's really the guy that sucks. Oh no, I get you. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <sighs> okay. Am I the asshole for flipping out after he ate my son's food? Okay, so someone ate someone's food, and then my son's food. My son's food. So they flipped out. Yes. Okay. I don't think I'm an asshole, honestly. However, literally everyone I've spoken to is against me on this because, quote unquote, it's just food. I would never make someone feel like shit over food, blah, blah. So here I am. 30 female. I have a 13-year-old son named Colby with my ex-husband. Last year, my son desperately wanted to go to Japan because his father currently lives there and my son had been there multiple times for visits during the summer and fell in love with it. He begged me to let him live with his dad for a year and while it broke my fucking heart and gave me extreme anxiety, I agreed. I couldn't say no. He went there for a year and came back home in August of this year. Japan has much different cuisines than the U.S. does, and while my son co wouldn't complain about anything I put in front of him, he did make a few comments about missing Japanese dishes. So I went through a few websites, got a hold of his dad, etc., and I was able to get some of the ingredients and recipes shipped out to me. Hmm. His favorite one is some type of noodles with a dark brown spicy sauce. Oh, okay. I can't remember the name off the top of my head, but since it's his favorite, I had his father send me out the noodles and sauce so my son can prepare it for himself at home, as well as buying him the fresh ingredients needed. That's nice. Yeah, I think that's nice. I think this is great. Yeah, I mean, I feel like uh, you're making the best out of the situation. You and know, he's more like, cultured, you know? Yeah, I think it's good. That's awesome. Yeah. Well, me and my husband's daughter, nine, asked Colby the day before yesterday if she could have some of his noodles. He said no. He only said no because he's made the dish for her before and she wasted the entire thing because it was too spicy. Oh. So she doesn't like it and therefore he said no and reminded her that she didn't like it. Before my daughter could even respond, my husband pipes up with, give her some, there's no reason why you can't share. But it was already didn't like it the first time, so it's like, which I mean, <laughs> listen, I feel like you can say you don't like something one time, but you still want to try it again. Yeah. But she is nine years old. She is so. nine years old. So yeah, I feel like that's a little. But okay. Also, dad responding like just fucking give it to her. It's kind of crazy. That's a little wild. Yeah. And also that he's saying no, have, like, I don't want to give you my food. Yeah. That's a boundary, that's, right? It's, yeah. It's yeah. No, this is my food for whatever. I think because I think it's, it is a boundary. Yeah. Even I think though it's a kid because it's scarce. Yeah. Of course he would say that. It's not really anything against the daughter or anything. No. Yeah, I agree with that. Um. Before blah, blah, blah. So I stepped in and said no, and that she's already had it and threw it in the trash, and that this is his food. He doesn't have to share his food. He just kind of walks off. Well, this morning, my son asked where all of his noodles were, parentheses, four packages, four packages. Oh, food. my God. And my husband says, I ate them. I asked why the fuck he would do that, and he said, because I wanted to. All right, well, fuck you. That's not that's not how you do that. That's not how you be a parent. That's so crazy. That's why that wasn't even the there wasn't okay. There really wasn't he had an no issue. Bro, like he had no reason to insert himself. Even yeah, like <sighs> that's so wild to me. That's, that's so wild. Jesus, the disrespect. Yeah, that's pretty disrespectful. Yeah. To me, this felt like a big fuck you because I told him my son didn't have to share his food, so I did lose it. He did this on purpose. I just know it. I told him he was a fucking pig on a power trip, and he should be ashamed of himself for eating my son's food. He says I'm ridiculous and I'm an asshole for calling him a pig (parentheses) because he's overweight, simply because he was hungry and wanted to eat. Everyone else says I'm an asshole too. As I said, am I the asshole? Okay, that's. Listen, I. <sighs> so the interesting thing about this to me is Reddit is like, well, if he doesn't want to be called a pig, he shouldn't be eaten like a pig. 
Which is that's like that's not the point. Whoa, that's man. not the point. Listen, okay. I think I think very specifically in this. Like, I don't think it's okay to call. It's a disrespect. It's issue. definitely disrespectful. Yeah. yeah. However, uh, I, it's hard for me to put blame on her for doing that because she got she was no. disrespected. Yeah, I think she's totally in the right. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, that's. I don't even want to focus on that because I want to focus on a man child. <laughs> yeah, eating a bunch of expensive yeah. food that had to get shipped out. Yeah. And just wasting it by eating it all. Yeah. Against the sun. Which, so, okay, hold on. So, th- this is a new, this is a stepdad, too, right? Yeah, it's not his actual So, dad. yeah, no, already, fuck you. <laughs> like, that's, know, like, right? you know, because, oh, God, do I have one that's like that today? I think I do. Ooh, nice. Because, yeah, I don't know what it is about step parents, mm. like, when they insert themselves and like digging as much roots, dude. This is the sometimes, problem. Sometimes, like not all the time, obviously, but like the, from the stories that I've read today, this seems is a, like it. This is a fucking problem I have with the Santa Claus movie. This yeah. is a completely separate thing. <laughs> <coughs> Why are you bringing up something that's fake? What are you doing, propaganda? Well, propaganda. <laughs> um, fucking the Santa Claus fucking movie. In it, the husband that's like the stepdad to Charlie, the yeah. kid. Also crazy. I know the kid's name. Um, <laughs> I haven't thought about the Santa Claus in fucking years. <laughs> but the fucking dad that is like you know uh tim allen's fucking character is like i'm becoming the santa claus and just because he's getting fat and growing a beard and talking to the kid like a small kid about oh, yeah, santa claus the, they're trying to call him like insane or something yeah, they're right trying to get i remember him fucking that locked up and i'm like you're the and it's mostly the stepdad that's doing it i'm like you're the stepfather yeah you're the stepfather you need to calm down a you little bit you should be ste- taking a step like if step you're not back. an abusive like if you're if like your it, the biological father is abusive and then you're the stepfather coming in being like you gotta stop that's different that's not what's happening this here this was just like a dad a random out with his son guy. yeah and creating wonder with his child and yeah. this guy is just like I can't believe you're doing this why to are, Charlie. Why are some adults so worried about kids having fun or like enjoying or even letting kids have like boundaries? Because I feel like with the kid and the daughter, I think that was a very mature way of being like I, I don't want to give you this food. Sorry, it's just because you didn't like it last time. I don't want to, you know, whatever. Like maybe she could have a bite. She could have like a little bite. Like, yeah, that's why you teach your kid I compromise. Think, yeah, I think that's there should be a lesson there. Or even if he doesn't want to give her a bite. Say to her, like, hey, listen, this is her his special food that he likes to eat, blah, blah, yeah, blah. Yeah, I feel like there's a, there's a way to be respectful about it and without... I mean, she's nine. She probably might pitch a fit or whatever about it, but you'd be like, what if, what if we get you some special food, you yeah. know, and then pick up some fucking stupid That's shit from cool. Walmart? Yeah, you know, like fucking... Get... <laughs> yeah. But no, like fucking, I feel like, yeah, especially when all this, a lot, again, that's the thing that pisses me off is like, A, it's the wasting of food for this kid. Yeah. And the wasting of the effort that the dad in Japan... Yes. Put into finding out, giving the recipes, giving the materials. They're working so hard for this kid, and to just disrespect him like yeah. that is so fucked, man. And as long as they're working equally as hard for the daughter as well, I think that's like fucking mm. that's important to me. You know, like fucking food is is important. Food yeah. is like a really it can it's important be a to large... culture. It's important to like yeah. everything. You know, like it's fucking like a lot of these stories where like parent parent child sometimes this will happen. In my family, we have stories like my grandma ate my mom's popsicles when she was a kid and my mom kept that with her for her whole life Mm. and i'm not saying that it's ridiculous i think it's important because my grandma what my mom took from that was my grandma was like i'll just buy you more but then my grandma was not very um consistent so she wouldn't do that yeah so but my mom felt both like disregarded and disrespected in that moment at the same time yeah yeah and that's shitty yeah and um but also like roommates like your roommate eats your food. That's disrespectful. That's disrespectful. It? Yeah. But I feel like a lot of people are like, it's just food. Yeah. It's no, just it's not. Life, no. Life sustaining life sustenance. Sustaining. Yeah. It's also the principle of the thing. Yeah. Exactly. That's I agree with that 100. percent Yeah. Don't steal your roommate's food. Yeah. Don't. Or don't, ask. I just ask them. Don't. Why is it so hard? Don't eat food that's to, not yours. Like at the fucking yeah. workplace, that shit always happens. Yeah, and it's very like it God, is. It's, so it's always crazy, man. Yeah, I don't know. Crazy. I solved it though. Nice. Solved it. Solved it. All right. Sorry, I was chugging a beer. Yeah, you're fucking getting crunk, dude. Bro, you're a guy with a fucking you're a guy drinking beer on a podcast, dude. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Women just don't get me. Sorry, on the Red Letter Media subreddit. <laughs> 
<laughs> the, for the the I guess the most popular post right now. Did these frauds seriously say they skipped D and D and Barbie yet watched Five Nights at Freddy's? Do they not like fun? <laughs> <laughs> and then the first top comment is, "Are you new?" Wait, how was Five Nights at Freddy's not fun? Five Nights at Freddy's was a, was fun. It was fun. I think it was too much fun. Even maybe they could have gone serious. They could have. They could have done better. Fuck that movie. The movie sucks. It's it's definitely Movie's really fun stupid. in the middle. Yeah, it's fun in the middle. I will say that, yeah. Uh I think I have one for Oh yeah, okay. I got I got I got I synergy, Sarah. Synergy. That's what's important in a podcast is synergy. In a business, frictionless. In a business, frictionless synergy. Yeah. <sighs> Am I the asshole for making my stepkids earn everything they have? Yes. I'm just gonna guess, yes. I've been with my wife for six years, and she came with three kids. Now 13-year-old boy, 12-year-old girl, and 9-year-old boy. Okay. They are good kids, but they have some defiance issues and argue with each other a lot. Mm. Parentheses, normal sibling rivalry. On their own, they are literal perfect angels, but the second you get them all, all of them together, hell breaks loose. They start yappy, yappy, yapping. They <laughs> start fucking yapping at each other. So I've stopped letting them uh, have anything unless they earn it. Okay. Like they can't use electronics unless they clean to my standards, and that awards them an hour. If they need battery packs ba- slash batteries for their controllers, they have to do something for me slash their mom. And again, it has to be to my standards. Okay. So I don't. I'm not a parent. You're not a parent. I'm not a parent either. I don't disagree with this, but the standards is, are not explicitly stated yeah they're just my standards which is it feels like you could move the goalposts all whatever the time, you want which yeah. i feel like is that's fucked. bad i will that, say that i bad. think is fact it is fucked yeah Sorry. my wife gets pissed about this because this means the kids are constantly underfoot asking her why they need her to do or complaining to her about me it's also not um consistent like if she, they don't have to do that with her but they have to do it with him it's like yeah it's a little yeah, of course they're going to be confused yeah yeah uh was it? She said I'm creating much more work for her than necessary, and she doesn't feel that children should have to earn everything. She said I make her look like an asshole in the eyes of her children, basically, because she's not defending them against what she and they consider controlling. Okay. This only just came out yesterday when my oldest stepson asked where his battery pack for his controller was, and I told him he had to do the dishes for them. He said he did do the dishes, and I told him it wasn't to my standards. Oh my god, this is exactly what's going to happen, <laughs> yeah. yeah. So no, he did not. Cleaning counters and table is a part of washing dishes. What? Yeah, apparently, yeah, those are not the... I listing guess. other things. I mean, I guess that's good to get... I wish I had gotten into that habit, because my counters suck ass right now. But also, you should say... That you dishes have to explicitly also means, say that, yeah. yeah. Especially when they're kids. Like, as an adult, you shouldn't have to say that. But, like, yeah. when you're, they're a kid, you're teaching them, yeah. So he he threw the sponge and said, I'd rather go without actually and walked off slamming his bedroom door in the process. Okay. I just kind of looked at my wife and said, kids with an eye roll. And she goes, <laughs> yeah, kids. Am I right? Oh, because now he's probably going to be like, that's not my kid. So you have to discipline him. Yeah, right. Yeah. And it's like, well, now you just made a problem for me to deal with. Thanks, dude. <laughs> yeah. Jesus Christ. I just kind of I kind of looked at my wife and he said, kids with an eye roll. And she goes. No, he's right. You're going to be the fucking reason my kids never come see me. Oh, wow. Now, everyone is giving me the silent treatment, and I think they're being ridiculous. There's nothing wrong with earning what you get, especially when I'm the one buying it. Edit. It's only certain things they have to earn. Batteries and chargers, basically. They can have their tablet whenever, but I'm the one buying all the batteries and chargers that either get broken, lost, or otherwise, so I do make them earn them. I have bought rechargeable batteries months ago, and they were lost within three months. Therefore, I'm spending twenty. Fo- I'm spending forty dollars a month on batteries, or twenty dollars for a new charger every other month. So yes, they have to earn that stuff. Does your wife know? Like this is a conversation with you and your wife. Yeah, I think from what I'm reading. First of all, this is only over forty dollars. Second of all, wow, yeah, uh, yeah, crazy. forty dollars or twenty dollars. But Second, I mean, it, it could stack. It up. could add up. I'm not gonna say. Yeah. I'm not gonna d- d- necessarily go super super crazy on it. Like I'm sorry but, if I seem like I'm more on this guy's side. I'm not really, but I just don't know because I'm not a parent. Yeah, it does. Uh, it it literally I know people get pissed off at me for not making a full stance. But like, well, obviously from the way that she's like she's responding, saying, she's saying don't do don't that. do this to my kids. And then he just kept doing it, <laughs> which is pretty fucked. Which up. Which is pretty fucked up. Yeah, yeah, I'm not on this guy's side at all. 
Yeah, and that's and it's the craziest thing too, is because like, yeah, he's just a stepfather right now. Yeah, but he could very easily be like, yeah, listen, I buy shit like this all the time. Either you pay for it if you don't want to fucking do this, or maybe we come to a different like. From what I understand about disciplining kids, mm-hmm. at and I don't know that much, but I know at the very least you have to do it as a as a unit, as yeah. a as a family unit, because too often like there are kids that say like. I go to mom and then mom is like no you don't get to have popcorn whatever and then you go and then they go ask dad and dad's like yeah sure get popcorn that's a problem like the parents need to be together and unified and And of course that can't always happen but it sounds like she's trying to communicate with him that she doesn't like the way it's going and he's just saying no fuck that yeah which is fucked up yeah and also I think the thing that pissed me off is like he's not specific in what he wants Yes, like saying washing dishes does not inherently mean yeah. do counters, do table. I bet also the kids would be fine with, I mean, they would maybe pitch a fit about doing chores because who the fuck wants to do chores? Yeah. But like, I bet the kids would probably be okay if they knew what to do. Yeah. At if the they knew what least, to do, they would do it. Yeah. If they really wanted to do stuff. They might bitch and moan because they're kids, but they might actually go and do it and you would get the fucking dishes done. Yeah. You know what I mean? Exactly. Like, I don't think it's a bad thing to teach kids to do chores. I think that's no, fine. That's I great. think you should do that. Yes. This is not the way to do it, though, I think. No, it's, it's fucked it up. It seems like, the, yeah, because now you're making it harder for them to do these chores. Also, yeah, it kind of teaches them to resent chores, doesn't it? And yeah. that's some shit you have to do every day when you're a fucking adult. Yeah. Because then they're going to grow up and not do chores, and then they're going to have a shitty-ass house. And then, yeah, not going to have a good relationship with doing work of, yeah. of maintaining and self-maintaining and care. Yeah, yeah. for sure. I, yeah. I get it, yeah. Fucking, it is rough. I'm not going to say it's easy being a parent, but no, I feel like this I is not the way to go easy. about it. Exactly. Yeah, I yeah. agree. I think at the very least, you got to be like, oh, okay, the mom, the mother, the mother of the children doesn't want to do this? Then, yeah, I feel like. Oh, maybe I shouldn't fucking do this. Maybe we should find a different <laughs> thing to say. Yeah. A different thing to do. Whatever. I get that. Fucking solved it, though. Solved it, though, dude. But I don't know. Maybe that's not realistic. Nah, I know exactly how to parent. <laughs> you keep choosing parenting ones. Because I find them interesting. I do find... I think it's interesting, All right, too. it's fascinating, all right? Why must I be judged? All right, damn. <laughs> Podcasters, I <eye> roll. <laughs> oh, this one's great. Okay, yeah. <laughs> Boyfriend, 29 male, of two years, keeps telling me, 21 female, to get to not get a tattoo. Wait, hold on, wait. Okay, say that again. 29 male, 21 female, together two years. 27 and 19. Technically uh, legal. You fucker. Yeah, you're trying to you're trying to fuck with me, aren't it's technically you? Technically legal. They're both you're legal. Trying, adults. You're trying to fuck with They're me. They're both legal you're trying to adults. Pick, you're trying to pick stories that I would pick. They're both legal adults. <laughs> Sorry, I feel so like you're being fine. sarcastic right now. It's totally fine because they're both legal. As soon as a woman turns eighteen, she can fuck a fifty year old, <laughs> and it's fine. It's totally fine. Nothing bad will ever happen to her. <laughs> Misogyny doesn't exist. <laughs> Whoa! I sound like you're going into a cave right at the end of that one. I don't know why. <laughs> I thought you needed an exam. <laughs> okay, but all right. Okay. You told me not to do age gap ones, and now I'm really pissed off that like you choose the ones that are like my 12 year old child bride is, <laughs> <laughs> and they don't deserve is to be read. Is that what you're saying? It won't do her damn chores. <laughs> and the chores are like sucking dick. <laughs> <laughs> My boyfriend and me have been together for about two and a half years. Oh, and a half. Our relationship. <laughs> That's better. Wow. More legally. Boy, even. it gets worse. Uh, <laughs> My boyfriend and me have been together for about two and a half years. So you're 18 and a half, man. He really got you right out, yeah, right out the gate. Yeah, snapped you, yeah. <sighs> well, it is legal, so we can't criticize it. We can't it. criticize it, yeah. Because everyone knows that our laws uh, indicate our morality. Yeah. My boyfriend and me have been together about two and a half years. Our relationship has always been really great. We never really fight, and we've always been very nice. Treats me out to lots of dates, buys me things, makes me laugh, etc. He's always telling me how great I am and how lucky he was to meet me, and I think I'm pretty lucky that I landed such a funny, successful, and charming guy. The only thing we've had disputes over is the idea of me getting a tattoo. I'm always kind, I've always kind of wanted to get one, but I haven't been sure of what to get. Every few months I come up with a new idea and I always run it by him and some of our other friends. I haven't ever gone through on any of them so far, though. 
My friends sometimes like the ideas and sometimes don't. And I usually think about their advice and it helps me figure out what my next idea should be. Hmm, that's fair. But my boyfriend is always really against the ideas I come up with. You gotta stay young and pure. That's pretty much what it is, right? Like, I'm assuming, like... Or just a... Or it's a control measure. I want to control you yeah. at, in some way. He always says they're too dramatic or too elaborate. <laughs> One flower on, like, your fucking arm. <laughs> like, dramatic much. <laughs> Dramatic is such a funny word for a tattoo. I've never thought about that. that is, are they? Dr- no, they're not. not dr- I mean, I don't even know. I really. don't think of them dramatic. I think I've seen like maybe <laughs> one or two tattoos that I didn't really like, but also it's on somebody else's body and I would never tell them that. Know yeah. I mean? So yeah, so, fair, I don't know, yeah. Whatever. He always says they're too dramatic or too elaborate. It's weird because he usually, he usually, he never says stuff like that. He's definitely complained early on about how his exes were really dramatic, but he always used to say that I was nothing like them, and he was grateful Depends about- if I get a tattoo. <laughs> he was grateful about how chill I am. Ah. Uh, He's not like other girls. You're chill. You're chill. 18-year-old. Yeah. But some- <laughs> You're not like other girls. You're, You're eighteen. seven years younger. Um, but somehow when I bring up a tattoo, he seems to think that I'm being ridiculous. To be fair, some of the ideas were pretty out there, and even my friends agreed. But there were some other ones, like the time I was thinking of getting my grandma's favorite flowers after she died. How did I, I knew it? It's dramatic. always dramatic. You're so dramatic. It's always something. It's never like whenever I feel like people will talk about getting a tattoo. Usually, I know there's some like you know like like getting a whole sleeve or something. But a lot of people, I think, just want something to commemorate like someone else you know what i mean especially if someone related to family i feel like i hear that a lot i feel like when you don't have a tattoo the first tattoo you want it to be like something special or something yeah. and a lot of people want that and i think that's fine um i don't really care about you can what get, people yeah, get put a on tattoo their own bodies. yeah you know but i will say after getting a tattoo it like it felt like a very big deal and then afterwards <laughs> i was like i just want so much random crap on my body yeah no i get that that's and i just fair. haven't done it because i don't have money yeah because I keep telling you not to do it. Yeah, because you want to control my decisions. Yeah, yes. Because you <laughs> hate women. Um, <laughs> uh, okay. To be fair... Can't so- <laughs> wait for the comments on this one. Yeah, that'll be great. Um, that I liked, but he was really, really against it. How do I get my boyfriend to listen to my ideas about tattoos and not just call me names when I suggest them? Wait, calling you names? Yep. Bear the lead. My 20, boyfriend is... How old sorry, is this guy again? <laughs> <laughs> 14 apparently my boyfriend <laughs> is usually really amazing and chill but has lots of good advice um but he always puts me down when i bring him a tattoo idea even when they're not not really crazy or not out there yeah you gotta break up with them i don't know what to tell you <laughs> okay so Run for the hills someone was like i was gonna say you know they said like it's your body don't listen to anybody else put what yeah, you want on your yeah, body you're right it's yeah, your, it's, body, it is your, your body choice. choice yeah and then they were like well, hold on though he calls you names? Yeah, holding. Yeah. What the fuck names? That's a pro- yeah. What what are the names? And so then she responds with, "Oh, I mean, it's not like he calls me an idiot or anything really bad. He just sometimes says that I'm being dramatic or that I'm being a drama queen or stuff like that. And it's mostly a tattoo. That's what I'm saying. What the fuck? What's what's the- dramatic about getting? Many people do that all the time. Listen, listen. So whatever listen. your grandma died, stop being fucking dramatic. Listen, listen, you can't, tattoo. you can't just, it's oh, like, yeah. you care about your grandma, your grandma she fucking fla- favorite uh, flowers, yeah. God, so dramatic. Also, like, if you put it, depending on where they're putting it, like, if it's like, if it is like, you know, on the arm or shoulder, I and like, it's hidden. I think you put it fucking anywhere, I don't give a want. shit. I don't give a shit, yeah. Like, but like, yeah, it doesn't, it doesn't matter, who cares? Put it on cares? your ass, put it on your booty hole, like, yeah. I give a fuck. Make the flat, make a stem go up your, your, uh, down your crack, and then. Put it, uh, put it, fucking, do a tram stamp. Of your grandma's favorite flowers, yeah, fuck yeah. it. Dude, yeah, why not? What, fuck it, who, who cares? gives this shit? But also being called a drama queen is not not needed for no, this. No, it's not needed. And it's mostly just when I bring up stuff like the tattoos. Otherwise, he's always going above and beyond to tell me how great and how chill I am. He won't stop talking about how chill I am compared to other women. That's so... Any, <sighs> this I feel poor like girl, man. This, I feel bad for her. This podcast has really shown me that if anyone uses chill as in a, a ch- way to describe cool a person, yeah. as opposed to the like saying the act of chilling, like I'm chilling right now. Except I'm chilling. If someone says I, you're so chill, I'm like, you're a red flag. 
Well, I think, mm-hmm. like, I mean, I used to be at work and I used to be like, what's up, doc? I'm chilling. And you, people no, would always fine, ask cause... me all the time and they would be like, damn, Sarah's chill because she's always chilling. See, yeah, that's the thing. Like, But now I feel like but people it's not are a weaponizing that. Comparison to another woman. Yeah, that's fair. Yeah, it's, as long as it's not comparing, yeah, someone to someone else. Like, don't put down another woman. And I think definitely it's difficult when you're younger, especially because society tries to pit women against each other. Yeah. And older men will take advantage of this and be like, you're not like other girls. You're so mature for your age and you're so chill. You're not like all these hormonal, emotional women, even though they're dating like a fucking 16 year old. And um, <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah. It's like, you're so cool and mature. So it's totally fine that I'm 28 and you're 16. And it's, you know. Wild. Yeah, it's a predator. I mean, she's going to grow up and she's going to be like, wow, that was a fucking huge red flag. Yeah. And that's why we talk about these things, regardless of if they're fake or not, because so other women can be like, oh, yeah, that's a red flag. That's a red flag. Yeah, that's a walking red flag. Yeah. If you see that happen, leave. Or please be like, what do you mean? What do you mean? Yeah. Just start a conversation. Just be like, what are you talking about? Yeah, get to know, get to actually know your partner a little bit more and make Instead decisions based off. Instead of just being off. like, oh, yeah, you know. Uh, yeah, I guess I'm being overdramatic. <laughs> yeah. Getting a tattoo. I don't think it's her job, though. I think it sucks that he's now... I mean, like, um, when a guy is like, oh, dude, you're so chill, you're not like other women, blah, blah, blah. Like, one time I was called, uh... The guy, he literally said, and this is so funny to me because it's such a disaster. Yeah. He literally said, it's gonna be so hard to get over... While we were actively dating, he said, it's gonna be so hard to get over you because you're not basic like all the other girls. Yeah, that's pretty yikes. That's pretty like, fucking you're yikes. You're so unique that I'm going to I'm never going to forget you. We were dating like a <laughs> I, month, I like hate, one month I and he was the, already thinking about fucking other girls, man. Yeah, I hate the, that when you're going to leave me, but I love to watch you walk no, away. No, he was straight up like when I leave you. When I leave you, I'm going to be real sad for me. <laughs> Cuz I'll never forget you. I'll never forget you, babe. <laughs> Actually, I never even thought about it. I always thought, because I am so, I used to be very like, we're together forever. You know what I mean? (laughs) That I never even thought that I would be the one to leave, which is also a very, I think, young woman idea of like, I would never leave. I would never leave. But you should think about it. You should think about it. Yeah. Because some of these men suck ass. Some of these men suck. Yeah. But uh, yeah, it's such a funny thing. Had I known, I would have been like, okay. Canceling our next date. Yeah. That's not happening. Oh, shit. I'm so... I I just realized I don't like you anymore. Bye. Yeah. But it's not on <laughs> women. It's on men to stop being yeah, shitty. Yeah, men need to stop being shitty. Yeah. Yeah. But women, be ready to defend yourselves and defend your honor. Just look out. That's look what out. red yeah, flags the, are for. The, yeah. Look, keep... Trust your gut instincts. Yeah. Usually it's going to be correct, especially if a guy says fucking... Yeah, if you're, they're saying you're chill compared, to, if 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 you ever compared to another person and you're, and the, you're don't you shouldn't even be thinking about other people like like um unless you're asking like hey am I a better guitar player than blank Jimi Hendrix <laughs> yeah you always say yes you say yes but no what I'm saying is like uh like you know how some especially here in the Southern America there are uh. uh high schools that instead of doing sex education they just preach abstinence yeah and they're like why are there so many so many pregnant teenage teens. pregnancies yeah i think it's the same thing for relationships it's like why are so many women in abusive relationships and it's because no they one ever teaches them to look what out to look out for yeah. in an abusive man and that sucks that's not yeah you should yeah. it should be taught not necessarily in schools but it should be i mean i don't know maybe something it should something. be something yeah i agree I, I think honestly there should be some sort of like education yeah um but i don't want it to ever be framed as in women are the problem because they keep choosing that's the these thing, men. Yeah. And that's why I hesitate to saying educate because I don't trust the state <laughs> to fucking exactly, do that. Exactly, yeah. So, yeah, it's definitely like, I think I think it's maybe on, I don't even know if it's like on teachers or something, but like, onto people that have, I guess, if you can talk about it, talk yeah. about it, you know what I mean? Unfortunately, yeah. it falls to like an individual aspect of it. Yeah, that's not it. great. Yeah, it's yeah. not. It's, uh, yeah, we have to help each other Society's out. Society's failed us. Solved it. And that's why public corporations... Can we do another one? Okay, yeah. Solved it. That, yeah, yeah that, bitch! Oh, yeah. Yeah, fuck bitch, yeah. fuck! And that's why, yeah, sadly, the public corporations, so private entities like APWSTR Productions has to... Yeah. Has to do some of the fucking... The shoveling. <sighs> All right. Doing the shoveling. We shovel, baby. Mm-hmm. Baby, we're shoveling. Baby, we're shoveling, dude. All right. This one's fun for me. Okay. Am I the asshole for saying that my girlfriend's music 
Isn't that special? Oh God! I wrote this one. <laughs> she makes the music. She she I think she makes the music. Okay, I'll explain. Okay, okay, yeah. yeah, let's go. Please let me preface this by saying that I love my girlfriend and I love the fact that she is very passionate about her music. I think it's cute that she still plays in the band she formed in high school. Oh my God, I'm gonna throw up. <laughs> They aren't bad and neither are the songs she writes, but that's not enough to live off. They play in pubs or the occasional town festival, but all of them need to work a real job to pay bills. I'm not trying to devalue that. I'm currently at uni on scholarship, but I still need to work a part-time job to afford rent. Okay, I mean, that's valid. This is all valid. So right, yeah. This is true. I've never been in a band where anyone can just quit and be and in the d- band. Yeah, the, until this podcast, this is the first creative thing that I can actually do full-time. Yeah. You have to make a lot of... It takes a long time to get to there, but yeah. she could get to there. Oh, yeah, for sure, yeah. yeah. My girlfriend is a very kind and warm per- person, but she can also still be a bit naive about how the world works. Okay. We met up with a few friends tonight at the same po- and at some point the topic of our plans for the future came up. My girlfriend something said something along the lines of maybe we're lucky and our music gets discovered so I won't have to choose an adult career. Nice. She said it in a joking way and all of our friends laughed except for me. She laughed at me. She looked at me weirdly and asked why I was looking like that. I told her I just didn't think she should get her hopes up like that. Oh my fucking god. Because God's. her music was good. But not special enough for her to turn it into a career. Man who's never listened to Imagine Dragons. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. But I didn't... Josh, she's a woman, so she has to work extra hard. Oh, you're right. Sorry. Yeah, you're If she was just a that. bunch of guys around, they and could they play fucking... And daddy's fucking, fucking money to yeah. do a residency <laughs> in Las Vegas. Yeah, you're right. I should have thought about that. Sorry. Exactly. Exactly. Mm. That kind of killed the mood, and even though someone wow, changed the topic, yeah, I can't believe Whoa. it. That kind of killed the mood, and even though someone changed the topic quickly, my girlfriend stayed stayed cold towards me. Hmm. I decided to leave about thirty minutes later because it was getting late, and I have uni tomorrow morning. When I told my girlfriend that we had to go, she said that I should go without her, and that she'll be staying with a friend tonight. Hell yeah. When I got home, I texted her asking to please let me know when they left and when they got to her friend's place because I wanted to know that she made it there stay- safe. Okay, sure. She left me on red, and mm-hmm. even though it's past the time she usually stays out, she still hasn't texted me. I'm actually a little pissed off right now because why is she being so childish now? What I said was objectively true, and she'll have to realize that at some point. Why is this guy so obsessed that she's child? What's the ages again? Uh, I... Uh, did they even say ages? Because like he keeps calling her a no, child, naive, whatever. No ages. All I know is that he's in uni. I'm assuming uh, she's uh, in a band from high school. Uh, high school. So she's it past be, high school. It could be similar ages, but like he's really obsessed with calling her a kid. Yeah. Is that it? That's it. Oh my god! What? <laughs> Holy shit! Got you guys. What the fuck? Yeah. Don't you guys love abrupt endings? <laughs> I mean, listen, dude, we, I mean, this is the worst, I'm the worst person to say this, but like, you can't say that to somebody in a band. They know, they know that it's probably not going to work out. It's a long shot. Yeah. Like, yeah. Also, she didn't say when I've been with people, I've been not with people, but like in bands with people that have been like, when the band takes off and we're famous. Yeah. She's saying she's hopeful that it might happen. She said, maybe. Maybe. Which is, yeah. That's a much better word than a lot of people when they say when, because then it makes a disappointment when it doesn't happen. Like, yeah. And I think, like, it's uh, okay, as a creative. Okay. As a creative. As a a creative. Mm -hmm. uh, No, fucking, okay, as someone who's fortunate enough to do this full time, Mm -hmm. right? A creative hobby. Yeah. There's uh, some similarities, of course, to music and any other creative career. Yeah. And a lot of it is you just keep doing it and sometimes you get lucky. Yeah. And obviously you do it for a while. Sometimes you don't get lucky, Mm -hmm. but you still do it anyway because it's a passion, you know? Yeah. And you you never, you saying like, oh, that's never going to happen, doesn't kill the passion. It just kills their perspective on you. I mean, honestly, I think as someone who had a passion and a lot of people... I played viola for a long time. Mm. And um, from like the fourth grade until college, and I was really obsessed with it. And I was really like, I'm going to become a classical musician or I'm going to do something Yeah, in the classical music industry. And... um. As I went into college, I had a lot of people that would straight up tell me that I was naive uh, or that I was going to teach. I was going to end up teaching Mm. um, or that they were just like not really confident in my abilities. 
Like even mm. going to college and like auditioning for colleges, people were like, you're going to audition there? Okay. And it's not even like I was trying to audition at Berkeley yeah. or fucking uh, some other uh, Juilliard. Juilliard yeah. yeah. I wasn't trying to do that. I was trying to audition for like state colleges in Florida. Yeah. And people were like, bottom of the barrel fucking. <laughs> wow. And there are some really great state college. Like I, I auditioned for FSU and FSU is a big one here because they have a really good program. Yeah. But a lot of people were like, you're not getting into there. And I didn't get into there. They were right. But it also definitely didn't if i had just one person that was like you're gonna make it yeah and be that's supportive it. that's yeah. all you need i feel like with that band i feel like they're all supportive of each other and they realize the intricacies of like well i mean we don't know we don't know yeah but like i feel like there's less of a chance of like what's it called like i uh, i i don't know how to describe it i guess i get the vibe of like they all like doing the music and that's why they all stick together i mean that's they, yeah yeah. Lots of people get into bands just because they want to be in a band and then they don't do anything with it. But if you're actually doing something with it, that's all you have to do. Yeah. That's it. Is you just have to write and I play mean, They're already like performing. Yeah, that's like, already great. Yeah, like that's gr- amazing. It's more like, than that's, anything I've fucking ever done with my <laughs> shitty ass bands. Like, yeah, dude, fuck yeah. Do yeah, that. If you're already performing, that's good. That Your word is out there, you know? And if like, you're performing at pubs or town festivals, that's great, you know? Yeah, if you want to continue making music, there's a lot of people that get into their 50s and they just do cover bands and they just yeah. do that and that's all they want to do. That's cool. Fuck it. I don't, yeah. yeah. You know, or like even like making, like learning those skills and like going, venturing into like composing or like fucking, yeah. like making music and like just putting it on the internet for free, you know? And Plenty there, of people do that. There are so many success stories you can you know talk about like uh danny elfman started out in the band and then went off he's the coolest motherfucker in the world he (laughs) dated the fucking lady from sonic youth he had a violin and he went into um cal arts the cal music thing and he just showed up and he was like can i play violin in your orchestra and they just let him play it in the back even though he didn't go to college he never went to college dude hell yeah it's epic and then fucking you know he started working on um composing and now he's a really famous composer yeah and singer and musical artist because he just did that a lot uh mm. michael giacchino the guy that fucking wrote most of the pixar stuff like uh and up he did up. the up soundtrack he did the ratatouille soundtrack which slaps he did the fucking uh incredible soundtrack Yeah, no. he did the soundtrack to lost he's my favorite composer can you tell he, he did the soundtrack to lost he did <laughs> all of the soundtrack to the jurassic he does like all the x john williams stuff now oh i get you yeah like john williams only does star wars he only does star wars now unless <laughs> unless i'm back. this is a couple <laughs> years old information so yeah. maybe it's not true anymore no, i get you but he would john williams was only focusing on the new star wars and michael g you know basically swept disney with the rest of the shit he's got so much work and that motherfucker never even went to music college at all yeah he no, created his own video game company and composed his own soundtracks to video games by himself yeah taught himself all of that and then got like an honorary degree from juilliard hell yeah cool you know, shit yeah. you don't need to you know there's a lot of different pathways you can take yeah and like fucking you don't need to beat yourself up that you're not successful by some age or that you're not successful by whatever or that you need to take a job to do something it's just yeah do it. you gotta do what you gotta do to survive and if you have the hobby yeah. fucking enjoy your hobby you know it's either do it or not is it serving you Yes, do it. Is it not? Don't do Don't it. Don't do it. Yeah. That's it. Yeah, and you should be supportive of your partner and their hobbies and their creative ventures that is mildly successful. I'm not going to say it feels Yeah, you should not be shitting on your partner's art things. Art, yeah, just because Unless it's like Unless they're like I'm going to well, be Sarah, a streamer and I'm not going to pay rent and you have to yeah, support that's me. That's the difference and, here, yeah. right? It's very much like they're taking full-time jobs, they still have time to socialize, they still have time to work on their own stuff. She has a job and she's doing the band. Great. That's it. Yeah. That's great. That's all she she's in a band. Of course she wants that to be her fucking future. You can't tell her, "Oh, no, you have to also be an accountant." Well, think about how the real world works. <laughs> And you have to be, your new music has to be unique. <laughs> yeah, because that's what the music is that fucking gets all the uh, the advertisements. Is unique music. Yeah, unique yeah, music. Yeah. For sure. Oh, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. 
fucking imagine dragon's ass <laughs> AGR. Ass I didn't know bitch. where that came from, but I'm telling you, I'm happy I said it because like it's very. It's you're so right. Like I mean, what? Never if listened to imagine. music had to be fucking unique. Then imagine dragons wouldn't Should exist. Shouldn't exist. exist. Yeah. Fuck those. God guys. solved it, dude. I think they're actually good people, which sucks. Yeah. Like they're actually nice. But what? What? You don't like radioactive? You fucking freak. <laughs> You don't like uh, you don't like AJR. What are you a fucking fucking asshole? Someone someone said that they always thought that Imagine Dragons were like Christian, but apparently they're not. They're just like actually really cool, like leftist people. God damn it! I know it's really are they frustrating. Just, are they just scamming like whatever they're fucking. I think that's epic though. I mean, like I get your tr- Christian money bags. You know I what guess I mean? yeah. Fuck. Jesus, god damn it! Fucking Imagine Dragons. I know this one ah. is insane to me. Hell yeah. It's not even really like, I mean, I guess it, it's just crazy. I think it's just crazy. Okay. Am I the asshole for saying that I would leave my cousin's birthday party if I have to give up my seat to an older guest? Okay. For context, I, 21 male, was just invited tonight to a cousin's 56 female birthday party to take place in a restaurant uh, at, at my city. Okay. She's actually my mom's cousin. That's why she is that much older. I was not originally invited because of the size of the venue, but the location changed and now I am invited to go. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. It's important to notice that my cousin has this conception of kids to anyone that is younger than 30 years old, approximately. So I would be considered a kid at her party, even though I do not drink, even though I do drink, dance, and share with others that are not actually my age, but family still. (laughs) Okay, that's a little weird, I feel like. (laughs) I already hate that. I already hate anyone under under 30. 30 You're not a kid. You're not an adult. And it's like, okay. I work my fucking ass off. It's (laughs) infantilizing a little bit. It is very infantilizing, yeah. Now I was invited to go to the party, but as my mom said, there is a little, quote unquote, condition. There's a little condition in case I go. It would be that if any other guest who is older than me comes and does not have a seat, I must give them my seat at the table and spend the night standing. No, no, no. So if you get food, you have to eat in the stands? No. What? I, this is new to me. I don't know if this is like a thing. It seems incredibly disrespectful to me. Yeah, I'm not a fan of this either. No, I'm, I'm, not, not, into I'm it. Not, not going to this fucking wedding. I'll tell you that much. It's just a dinner. Oh, it's just a dinner? Oh, fuck you. Yeah, no. It's a party. That's it. Come on. And you can't sit at all? Like, never? No, the whole night. If, you're... if someone else is older than you <laughs> that shows not... up. not... This isn't a fucking job. I don't need to be on my feet all goddamn day. <laughs> okay. What? Okay. It is important to notice that the party includes dinner, so I would have to most likely stand while everyone is eating and chatting. Yeah, that's not great. The reason for this whole issue is that my cousin only booked for 50 seats, but will have more than 50 guests, and me, being a last-time guest, uh, would be under those conditions. Why are you inviting more than 50 people then? That's what I'm saying. Like, Stop inviting people. Also, like, think about the poor host of this restaurant or wherever it's happening. Just having to have a bunch of people standing. Because also if you're having like servers and shit. They have to know. They have to walk around a bunch of standing people. That gets confusing. And That's also probably great. unsafe. Yeah, if very unsafe. Big plates of food. Yeah. Yeah. Um, okay. The first thing I told my mom when she told me that was that I wasn't going, but she might need some help to keep an eye on my dad for some out of context circumstances related to medical issues that don't allow him to fluently communicate. After listening to that, I said that I would think about going, but that if I had to spend the night standing because of someone else wanting my seat, I would be leaving in the spot, calling a taxi and going back home without saying a word to anyone. Yeah. My mom said that it would be rude to do it and disrespectful. And in case I'm thinking of doing that, I shouldn't go. And my question is, would I be the asshole if I did that? Or should I simply not go? No, just don't go. I wouldn't go. <laughs> I would not fucking go. That's insane. That's the lack crazy of respect, to expect that. The lack of respect on the host and of this, like, fucking... To demand respect of being there is so crazy. Yeah, that's not great. No, that's not... No, I would... I don't God. know why this one bothered me so much. I was reading I feel like, like... Well, okay, the, the, the saying everyone under 30 is considered a kid is wild. There, yeah, and I think also it's hitting specific issues that we had recently. Yeah, and very obviously, like... Yeah. Ah, God, yeah, that is very infantilizing, and then forcing, like, people... Okay. okay. Uh-huh. You have an... Okay, this is my hospitality in mind. This that, is my hospitality. This is also why I chose this, because I knew it would hurt you. Yeah, thanks. And this wound... <laughs> I've worked in hospitality 
for like because I live in Orlando. Every job I've had has been hospitality related, except mm-hmm. for one, yeah. and that was a unrelated job for like uh, a big mega corp. Mm-hmm. Uh, but fucking like they, the one thing, yeah, the one thing you do mm-hmm. in hospitality, yeah, to make someone, sure that everyone has a seat. Everyone has a goddamn seat. <laughs> yeah, it is, and you have to make sure everyone's comfortable if yeah. you're gonna host a party. Have enough fucking seats for everybody if you can. Like I've even heard your dad, um, because he works in hospitality too. Yeah. Uh joke about this with your mom when she's planning uh your sister's baby shower. She'll be like, Oh yeah, we're gonna have this and this and this food. And then your dad's like, I can't believe you're saying this without even making a menu or without making like <laughs> yeah. seating. And yeah, we need so seating. Yeah, yeah, please. Yeah. God, yeah, because like, yeah, seating is so important. <laughs> It's such a funny joke. Because, okay, like, okay, if I if I had to stand on my feet mm-hmm. at any event for more than two hours, nonstop, that's a job. That's yeah. a job to me. Every yeah. job I've had required me standing on my feet for four hours at a time, 30 minutes sit down time, my phone dropped in anger, Okay, and <laughs> that's then fine. back four hours again standing on my feet. Oh my god, yeah. That's how I've always seen... It's not, it's, it, some events you gotta stand at, of course, you know? Like, yeah, they I know, give you to, like, a cocktail party, you're standing. If you have a cocktail usually. party, you're standing. You know what there still is, though? Fucking seats, seats for everybody. For people. And it's not laid out in this weird hierarchical fucking of age. Yeah, it's kind of crazy. You know, of, I mean. like, just saying, old people gotta sit down the whole time. I think this person... Which, I don't want to even say that, like, old people shouldn't be sitting down the whole time. I think that's fair. I don't know what their culture is. I it's, That's it, true. I mean, I'm not sure if they're from a different culture or anything yeah they might have a different uh relationship with the elderly or something however because we really don't give a fuck about our elderly here i'm gonna do i'm gonna do a new rule all right new rule yeah (laughs) i'm bill maher no i'm not bill maher fucking yeah but like uh fucking here's okay yeah everyone under 55 they have to interchange seats so that way old people if you still want to worry about their health get prioritized seating. Yeah. And people that may have like disabilities also, they get seating as well. Okay. But then Yeah. You can swap seats with a bunch of like the middle aged and younger people. So that way there's not just one group of people getting fucked over. Yeah. Having to stand the whole night. Cause also if it's like a fancy party, oh God, and you're wearing like like I, dress shoes. I thought it was at a restaurant. Th- that's well, that's not even. This is all. That there's 50 people, and then there's more than 50 people showing up. It's crazy town. That's wild. I'm I'm talking about in general. We we yeah. Once we get to the fact that it's at a restaurant and I there's a very specific a rest- amount of seats. Yeah. Don't put more people um, than 50. If 50. Okay. Well, if, okay, okay. Maybe not a restaurant because 50 is kind of a crazy number for a restaurant. It might be a section of the restaurant. Like uh yeah like I'm thinking about like those like buffet or like whatever where they have like the the rooms that are like separate for parties like large parties. Yeah. Maybe like that or like a if it's like a banquet situation or like a ballroom mm. or whatever and yeah. it's a fancy party then I guess I could maybe understand but like I think the kids entitled the kids 21 like. Yeah, he's enti- He's not really. I mean, what I, I would call a twenty-one-year-old a kid, but that's just me. I still think he has a right to sit. <laughs> I still still think they have like. I'm not gonna give him a uh, you know, a baba and a bib and <laughs> tell and him to um, go sit in the fucking uh, go stand in the corner and wait or the whatever. And especially if you're setting up this rule, this is my way mm. of dealing with it, and it's not conflict avoidant. Okay. Um and maybe conflict focused <laughs> um, even uh, um, if you say that anyone under thirty years old is a kid, anyone over thirty years old is decrepit and about mm. to die. Yeah, there you go. That's it. <laughs> That's what I would do the whole time. I would be passive aggressive as shit because I am a white woman. It, they, <laughs> if someone came up to me and said like a thirty one year old wants my seat i'd be like oh yeah obviously oh you're gonna die tomorrow yeah, here you dude. go yeah. do you need anything do you what where's your oxygen where's your uh do you have a cane or a wheel do you need a wheelchair what's well, going on clearly you're super old yeah clearly you you're need very seat. old yeah. because you need a seat to sit down <laughs> yeah i think the only asshole here is the person that's planning the party that's yes i agree getting with that. 50, more than 50 people 50 in seats. a 50 person venue yeah that person needs to 
Because what's the uh, what's the thing is like, you know, oh, OK, so if a 31 year old shows up and I'm 21, do they just not get a seat either? Well, OK, let's, see, let's make seat. it let's make it harder. 29 year old and a 30 year old or 30 and 31, I guess. No, they're both standing. No one gets a seat. Yeah, no one sits. <laughs> I think what if there's more than 50 people over the age of 30? Yeah, who, what who sits? Then? Who sits there? All right, and, and I, I think what if there's less than people? Okay, what if there's less than people? Thirty people over the age of fifty, but then there's ten extra people that are all around the age of. Who are the five people standing in that situation? It's so. This ass. is stupid. This, this is, is dumb. the dumbest thing I've ever heard. <laughs> Don't invite more people than the venue is. Requ- yeah, yeah. It's a pretty simple you dumb fuck. response Come on. of like, oh, it sounds like there aren't enough seats for me, so I'll just not go. Yeah, just do that. Yeah, that's what you do. Okay. God, you fucker. You're trying to fucking get me angry. Hospitality brain my ass. Fucking. Hell yeah. Fucking. Fucking bullshit. <laughs> God oh, damn it, God. you fucker. <laughs> uh, all right. I, I got stories. Now I got to find one to fucking get you mad. <laughs> I got to get one to get you mad. Yeah. I, I definitely, I definitely picked some popular ones. So uh, who cares? Okay. Okay. <laughs> Am I the asshole for slut shaming a slut shamer? We will see. I admit this is petty, but some mutual friends think I'm the asshole, and it doesn't really seem to rise to the level of asshole to me, so another opinion would be helpful. In general, I think it's bad to slut shame. Who knows what's going on, though? I, 19 female, am not sexually active by choice. Femcell. <laughs> what a femcell. <laughs> what, what a fucking femcell. No, okay, I'm joking. That's fine. Not for any moral reason, I just want to focus on uni without extra complications, and I'd rather my first be of someone I care about and feel com- extremely, completely comfortable with. That's absolutely fine. Totally and valid. smart, honestly. Yeah, yeah, smart, good. I like this. Guys get weird about it when sex comes up. Mm. Either they fetishize it, turn it into a challenge, or lose interest. The guys that get all excited about a zero body count are the worst, Yeah, and it's my number one dating pet peeve. Yeah. I mean, they also don't know how vaginas work. Yeah, so too. so that as well. Yeah, yeah. There is a guy we'll call Bob that hangs around my friend group because he's one of the other guys' roommate. Bob has good moments, but he acts like a major douche canoe when dating or sex comes up. Mm. Brags about sleeping with a lot of girls, but also looks down on them for being loose. I try to avoid Bob. Okay, now I see where this is going. I'm on her side 100. <laughs> percent Anyway, yeah. Bob asked me out before Thanksgiving break. What if there's just like another person brought up? Like, anyway, some Lindy. bitch shows <laughs> up. No, That's so funny. No, I'm joking. Yeah. All right. Anyway, Bob asked me out before Thanksgiving break. Mm-hmm. Like two days before that, I heard him talking to one of the guys about a girl he went on a date with, and he said he hit it and quit it because he doesn't date sluts. But he's a slut. <laughs> So when Bob asked me out, I said, no, thanks. I don't date sluts. He <laughs> pressed for a reason. And I told him that I heard him talk about all his hookups and I don't date sluts. That's awesome. You should have seen the look on his face. He said it wasn't really that many and he was exaggerating a little. I'm quote wife material. So he's not looking to hook up. Yeah, because he's bought into the fucking <laughs> alpha bro bullshit. Yeah. of Oh, you got a zero body count. You must be wifey. Yeah. <laughs> Meanwhile, he's, he's out fucking around on you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So he's not looking to hook up. I said if his body count was over zero, he was too easy to be husband material. Hell yes, dude. Bob yeah. lost his shit about it and the friend group, friend group is split. Some think it's hilarious and Bob got a taste of his own medicine. Yeah. Others, men, think it was wrong to... <laughs> not joke, it doesn't That's say men there. Oh, yeah. damn. Others think it was wrong to slut shame him, even if he is kind of a, a bell end. And that's the end. No. Fuck that guy. No, fuck him. If he was bragging two days earlier about hitting and quitting it, yeah. and then ask you out, yeah, fuck him. Like, yeah, yeah. That's, I think that's that's it's really cut and dry. Of like, I and yeah, fucking like, I really don't care about when I don't care about body count at all. I don't, I don't care about give body a count shit. either. Yeah, I don't. Uh, there are people that like won't date virgins because they don't want to teach a virgin or whatever. They don't want someone that with no experience. Mm-hmm. And I think that's fucked up too. That's a little. F- I get what I you just, mean. I it feels like devoid from reality. Do you not meet someone and like them? I want to fuck them. It shouldn't matter how many people. Like the only things you should care about is 
uh, I guess I guess diseases and figure out if you're gonna have safe sex yeah, and like you know, STDs, and, and STIs. STDs and STIs and important to think about, yeah. you know, preferences in the bedroom, shit like that. Well, even then, like, like you know, like <laughs> I've known people that have are HIV positive or something and And there's I mean like, you know, you can have safe sex. You can be in a relationship and have that. I don't want to be like discriminatory against people that have STDs or STIs. I do think That's you need fine. to talk about it. You do need I to do talk think about you need it. to talk about it and make I think it be it's, known. I don't, yeah. It's not like I'm saying you can just run around and Hey That's guys, technically raw dog everybody. No. <laughs> That's not Sarah's what I, saying that That's right not now. what I fucking said. No. <laughs> Hey guys, Josh here. Just want to let you guys know that it's okay. Sarah thinks that it's (laughs) okay. It's okay. (laughs) (laughs) Wait, hold on. Wait, hold on. Sorry. Hold on. God bless the basement yard. Now that we're just trying to cancel every each other, trying to get each other canceled. This is the funniest bit in the world. We straight up stole it from the basement yard. All right, hold on. Hold on. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Yes, (laughs) bitch. Hey guys. Wait. Hold on. Wait. Only the chair. Yeah, the chair, dude. Oh yeah, dude. Uh, hey Are you guys. fucking yeah. Hey guys. Uh, hey guys. <laughs> Hold on. This is crazy. This I is love- the most I've ever done for this fucking podcast. So I know. Don't say I never did anything. For you this won't podcast. even edit anything in. <laughs> yeah, I fucking won't. Yeah. But if I do it live, we do it live, baby. Oh yeah, true. Hey guys. Hey. I just want to let you guys know that Sarah thinks that uh, it's okay to raw dog people. No, I don't. Sarah said that verbatim in I a did cut not. I just made right now. No, stop it. <laughs> I'll shout condoms so that you can say so you can edit that in when I say no and it can be like I'm <laughs> no shouting condoms. no condoms <laughs> it's the most obvious split <laughs> no condoms <laughs> oh, god uh, okay what the okay. fuck are we talking about <laughs> sorry I let my ADHD take control of me there no it's um, fine <laughs> I agree with what you're saying. You do need to talk about STDs, STIs. Yes. You need to practice safe I don't think sex. You should, I think they should be destigmatized because it's fucking, you know. I, I don't think we should be calling people sluts, but also fuck these guys. <laughs> fuck these alpha bro motherfuckers. Listen, I, there's rules and there's exceptions to the rules. I think this is a very good exception to the rule. It's like, yeah, okay, you shouldn't be calling people you sluts, should mock, but you I don't should give mock a fuck. alpha bros for sure. You should 100%. mock alpha bros as soon Call as... them hypocrites when you can. And yes, you are an alpha bro if you care about body count. That yes. shit is stupid. There are genuine, yeah, they, it's, <laughs> if a guy can go around and fuck around, women should be able to fuck around without, dude, like... if I met a dude and he was like, I have banged 2,000 people, I'd be like, you must be the Dalai Lama. I'd like, I would, <laughs> what, yeah, wait, I would be like, whoa, dog, what the, like, you were like, a, it's the sex god. You're a sex yeah. god. You know? And the same thing about a woman. If she was like, I have banged 2,000 people, I'd be like... Damn, you must be a goddess. <laughs> Cause yeah, it's you know, it's very, it's it's the what is it? It's the fake Christian like purity of like fucking. Oh, I need the whole a pure concept one of virginity person. is stupid. It's really dumb. Yeah, it's dumb. Especially like I don't know, like who fucking cares about body count? The real, the real winners of the sex wars were, you know, of like are the people who know how to, how to have sex. Are the people who know how to have sex and are comfortable with their sexuality and yeah. don't have to worry about other people. Yeah. Yeah, like th- those people, they're fucking and they're fucking hard and good for them. Yeah. Because sex is great. <laughs> sex is great. Don't do it if you don't want to. You do not have to have sex at, no, of as course soon not. as you go to college. It's do not it a when thing. you're comfortable with And if you're never comfortable with it, it's okay if you that's don't do it. That's also fine. You can yeah. be asexual as well. Yeah, it's all yeah. good. And if that's if that's part of your discovery of like realizing you don't want to have sex, makes you know, you don't want to. That's you, completely valid, yeah. dude. God and you damn. just want to have romantic relations. It's it's a spectrum, baby. Or Who even cares? if you don't want you don't want either. That's it's fine. not black and white. Who no. cares? Like no, it's not. You got to have all the sex. We got no sex. No, and it's these stupid rules that people make up. Are yeah, are arbitrary dumb. bullshit. Yeah, yeah, and they're just Alpha doing bros it. The fucking uh, should be made fun of. Harm women. Uh, fucking evangelical like Christians should be abs- made fun of. People saying that abstinence is the way to go should be mocked. Yes. There's a lot of shit about sex that should be mocked and it should be more normalized. And I hate that American society specifically is very anti-sex, very anti-women. Very anti-sex. Yeah. And it's fucking annoying. Yeah. I believe women should be more liberated in their fucking, in their, uh, uh, what's it called? In their adventures, in their sexual adventures. I agree, but I also think it's a lot That's also of, not mandatory. Well, I think as women have become more liberated in their sexuality and their sex and talking about sex and discovering, you know, how they feel about sex and their sexuality, I think men turn around and be like, all right, 
time to make up some rules to get you back under That's, my thumb. And yeah, instead yeah. of men, and men should really just like. <laughs> Men should also be open about their like sexuality as well. I think it should be both ways. Yes, but and it shouldn't have to be at the expense of others. Exactly. Uh, one of the things I will say, women like I, I and honestly, we can degender this too because yeah, like no, it's it shouldn't not be even, gender. Yeah, there honestly shouldn't be. Like I, there are a lot of other issues. Like I've known men who are bisexual who have been uh, discriminated against by women for being bisexual for being bisexual and thinking like, oh, I have a and also homophobic. Like, oh, yeah. you're just secretly gay. Yeah, and you're gonna cheat on me with a man. One of the things Which I feel is like biphobic, homophobic, everything. Uh, one of the things I think, uh, specifically for women, I know that women and sex toys are a lot more like normalized, normalized as yeah. opposed to men having sex toys, and I think that's a little fucked up. I think. Yeah, I think men should be able to have sex toys too. Yeah, I'm not really worried about it, honestly. Yeah, like uh, fucking. I don't know. I think like there's. I think there's there. The patriarchy <laughs> affects everybody. It really does. Like that's why. I mean, we're very pro porn. We're anti exploitation. Yeah. Um, sex trafficking, all that shit. We're anti that. Obviously, yeah. But I don't like I don't really understand couples where the woman is like, My dude's jerking off to porn and anytime he's not he's not allowed to jerk off to porn. Mm. And I understand if it's like he's jerking off to porn more than he's having sex with you, like he's using porn <laughs> as a replacement for sex. Mm. Because then, you know, a woman if she's sexual, she can be like I mean, yeah, I feel like he is more attached to porn than he is to me. Mm. That makes me feel upset in my relationship. Yeah. But it becomes a boundary issue. It's not like a porn issue. Yeah, it's there's other issues. I, I get what you mean. Yeah. yeah, it's a communication and a boundary issue. And also maybe, I mean, I don't know. I don't know about sex addiction. People bring it up and then people say that sex addiction was made up. So I don't really know any information yeah, on that. Yeah, made up by, uh, what's his name, Letterman. <laughs> But no, it, there's like some information out there. I don't know if it's biased or not, so I'm not going to say anything about it. Yeah, I get you. So I don't know. Yeah, it's just, it's, these issues are not like, it's when are weird. We gonna, when are we going to break on through Yeah. to the other side, and that's the other side's sex positivity? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm sex positive for sure. Yeah. And I think you are too. Yeah. I'm sex neg. <laughs> I'm sex neg, bitch. <laughs> Meaning I don't have I'm sex. sex. <laughs> I'm sex negative. When um, they ask me if I have sex, I say negative. <laughs> <laughs> but I am O positive because I still come <laughs> just by myself. By myself. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, during the month of November, I'm O neg. <laughs> <laughs> Orgasm negative. <laughs> Oh my god, yeah, and we didn't even talk about that. The fucking guys, the no fap guys. Oh, what the fuck is dweebs, going on? Nerds. Just, absolute fucking nerds, dude. Holy shit, just jerk talk off. Talk about placebo effects. Wow, yeah. Dude, every time I hear, uh, okay, last thing about this. Yeah. Whenever I hear about, uh, what, like, when it came to, like, Creator Clash, people were talking about, like, maintaining, like, having, not coming because you had to keep the a testosterone. Your love. Uh, dumb. I think, I think that I've is looked, I've looked something, at, though. It's not? I looked it up, and I think there's very little research about it. Oh, okay. That's hilarious. And I know that because I come three times a day, and I still be punching. That is true. He does be punching. I always be punching. <laughs> Enemies. Right. Okay. Like you're Batman. I am Batman, yeah. Yeah. All right. Am I the asshole for exposing my abusive ex-girlfriend to her fiance? Oh. <laughs> you're being real silent Mostly. right now. Throwaway account. I, 26 male, dated my ex-girlfriend in high school when we were both 16. Okay. I had a crush on her since second grade, so when she finally agreed to go out with me in high school, I was over the moon. Unfortunately, our relationship was a nightmare. I quickly realized she has low self-esteem, constantly asked for reassurance from me about her looks and weight, and if I didn't tell her what she wanted to hear, she would gaslight and manipulate me to make me feel guilty. Oh, uh, okay. So far, the only things that seem abusive are the gaslighting and manipulating, but the other stuff... We'll go I guess into it, it could be okay. We'll but go all right, into it later. Interesting. I didn't realize at the time, but after reading stuff online and listening to some podcasts, and oh we'll, no, no, I know the podcast. It's not us. Oh, okay. Oh, is it? We're going there. Okay, cool, great. Yeah, we we're getting into it. There are are digs. He has commented, and we will understand more. About okay. That. Some podcasts. I I realized her behavior was emotionally abusive. We dated for around one year and she ended up breaking up with me, citing her mental health, etc., etc. I never saw her after high school because we moved to different cities and also her social media accounts were set to private. 
Recently, there was a high school reunion. I found out she would be there, so I decided to go. Wow. Okay. She hasn't changed much, was still overweight. She said hi to me as if nothing had happened and proceeded to make small talk with me. It really bothered me that she was pretending nothing happened between us, so I asked if we can talk privately. I told her about how I felt about the way she treated me and was abusive towards me when we were dating. She said something like she was going through a tough time with her self-confidence and apologized for taking it out on me, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. She uh, said ever since she met her current partner, she was feeling more confident about herself. She then told me that they were engaged, which also came as a shock to me. I asked her if she had told him about us and how she treated me when she, we were dating. Uh, she said she mentioned her past relationships to him, but didn't share all the details. I told her she needs to tell him about how she was abusive to me so that he knows who uh, he is marrying. Um, At this point, she made up some excuse and ran away from the conversation. Yeah, because that's I feel like that's very. <laughs> OK, OK, hold, OK, there's a lot going on here. I'm sorry. That's a lot. Yeah. OK. Can I? Can I continue? Yeah, you can continue. Okay. Yeah. I felt that the new partner should know what he's getting into. She is still overweight. What does this have yeah, to do with the, anything? Yeah, the overweight thing is really making me like, what are you talking? Wait, hold on. Yeah, it's I, a little bit like a what? You know? a, this is not a necessary detail right now, I yeah. think. Yeah. She is still overweight and has not made any effort to change or improve herself and probably has the same insecurities. Improve herself? So losing weight means, okay, fuck you. No, I'm not, I'm not a fan <laughs> of that. Well, because the implication there is losing weight means you're improving yourself, and that's not necessarily it true. Is, that and like, is the implication, yeah. Yeah. And probably has the same insecurities, and I imagine how this man will have a terrible marriage. So after the party, I used a friend's account to find her fiancé, and I sent him a message detailing the things she did when we were dating in uh, high school. Okay. I Okay, all right. Okay. <sighs> he responded with something like asking me to stop bothering them. Okay. It's been about a week since I did this, and now I am getting bombarded with messages from high school friends calling me a creep and an a-hole. Mm. I don't understand how people can side with her when she was the one being abusive. And it is her responsibility to let her fiancé know about this. I was doing what I felt was the right thing. I thought maybe they were reacting, uh, they are reacting this way because they don't have the full story and the background about our relationship. So I wanted to post here, am I the asshole or am I helping this poor man? edit <laughs> oh, okay all right okay i was expecting my perspective would be divisive but didn't realize people would think it's that bad reading through all your comments is making me question myself first of all i don't have a problem with her weight i think she's cute uh well okay well okay cute uh oh, god damn it yeah uh, fuck you <laughs> I, I just i'm just i I, there's little hints in the original post before we even got to this where it's kind of like something else is going on Yes. Because it seems like she genuinely has some sort of like actual like mental health issues as opposed to also the implication of mental health issues equals abusive is kind of weird. I didn't even think about that. But I you're right. think that's yeah. kind of so I just want to say that now in the TikTok because I know <laughs> but, I don't even know if this one there's too many. There's a lot of comments okay, for this so one. Let's so maybe go, okay, it won't so let's be, keep going. But, but yeah. yeah. Um there's another thing. She's cute. It may be true that I am hung up on her. She was my first and only long-term girlfriend. Interesting. And no, I am not an Andrew Tate fan. <gasps> I knew it. I knew. I thought it was going to be. I, <laughs> once you said other podcasts, I was like, you said fresh and fit earlier. You fucking, you primed me for that. I actually wasn't. I was just thinking about the first Alpha Bro podcast I could think uh, of. Okay, yeah. But yeah, enough. yeah, this guy listens to Andrew Tate. I just saw some videos of him and thought they were interesting. Is it the one where... <laughs> Where he's getting beaten to death in Romanian prison? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, that's a pretty good video to really get the spirits up, yeah. Good job. Um, <laughs> I saw, I just saw some videos of him and thought they were interesting. I don't know that much about him. I do think I deserved more from her than an apology. Okay. And I did always think we would end up together once she worked on herself. Uh, you're not entitled to, like, one specific person. They cannot like you. You know that, right? Yeah, Jesus. exactly. And they have a fiance too. You're jealous. You're just fucking jealous, dude. I feel very frustrated about how things turned out. I am against therapy, so I won't do that. <laughs> cool guy. I might contact her again to see if she will talk to me. Maybe that will bring no. more closure. Even though it was mostly negative, I still oh appreciate the God. comments. There's an update also. Oh, you actually got... Okay, I'm really fucking pissed off right now. This, is, this one is so wild The to weaponization me. of, of therapy language. Yes. And also saying, I'm not a therapist. 
I'm, I'm not gonna go to therapy. therapy. Fuck that. I'm fucking cooler than that. This is God. This is the most yeah. dumbest uh, story I think I've ever heard in my life. <laughs> Update: Just got done speaking to her. Why? Why, Why you would you do her? this to yourself? Don't talk man? to her. Get over it. Get move on. Move on. Mo- get the fuck over it. Like that's <laughs> the thing too. I want to dissect this from as from a person who went through emotional abuse. Yeah. I want to dissect the therapy language and everything and talk about even where he's gone wrong even if we were to believe that she was abusive right yeah yeah i get get what you mean yeah Yeah. (laughs) okay just got done speaking to her after the initial surge of comments here i decided to contact her i got her info from a friend and messaged her she asked to talk to me friend helping you that's what i gotta stop there's a complicity here yeah (laughs) i apologize for having contacted her fiance and she said she accepts my apology she said she is sorry about the things that happened in our relationship she said she had therapy and now she has more confidence. She told me that she has been honest with her fiance about her life and past and he is supportive to her. Overall, she sounded in a better place. And it sounds okay. like I don't really have a chance with her at the moment. Fucking stop making it about yourself. We ended you the fucking ah, oh, you weirdo. Yeah, we ended the conversation pretty amicably. I feel okay with where things are now. Reading all the comments were really hard, but I don't have much control over how people interpret things. So thanks, I guess. Anyway, for the comment. God. Okay, so now um, let me find the actual comments. Okay. Uh, is he fighting in the comments? Because that'll he, be well. People were like, "How? What are the specific instances?" Yeah, I want to know about this abuse because uh, you Which, know. Listen, I mean, I've been in therapy where therapists have asked asked me, "What is a specific instance of abuse?" Not all people that go through emotional abuse or it, any abuse really can remember. Yeah, and I think it's it's complicated. So I understand. It is complicated. Like, yeah. yeah. So I think. If we give him the benefit of the doubt in that way, but he does remember and he does describe what he believes are abusive situations. Okay. So let's read them. <laughs> let's read them right now. I, okay. So this commenter says, I really want to hear her side of this. He gives basically no examples of her being abusive. Yeah. Everybody else seems to think that he's an asshole. So, okay. I went and found a comment of him explaining what the abuse was. Okay, so this is his comment. Okay. For example, we were both into anime, and for my birthday, she bought me a poster of my favorite anime character at the time, Asuna from SOA. I don't know what SOA is. I said to myself I was going to look it up. Sons of Anarchy. (laughs) The best anime Anime ever made. (laughs) Uh, She then proceeded to ask me if I think she is prettier uh, than uh, Asuna. And when I didn't tell her what she wanted to hear, she proceeded to cry. Wait. This is just one example of... Uh, but it was constantly stuff like this, asking reassurance about her looks <laughs> and her weight and throwing a tantrum if I was honest with her. But that's that's not really... Because if you're being honest and you're saying you're not attractive, wouldn't... Also, <laughs> if you compare this with like the shit he's already said about her weight... Yeah, it seems so like saying, he has no, an you're issue. Fat, yeah, no, you're... so you're not attractive to me. It your seems boyfriend. like you're bullying her. And then she's crying. And also, they're and both you're... 16 at the time. Yeah, so... so hormones are all like listen i'm not gonna blame like, a 16 yeah. year old for being stupid and not like she's being an insecure 16 year old yeah. that's what they do but, uh, yeah and like i don't want to blame you for being a 16 year old and saying the wrong thing but now you're a 20 something and well, you're still looking back and not realizing oh what i said was wrong in the moment so then that right so she's so this is an example of abuse and it's always it's this a lot where she's saying i'm overweight can you reassure me blah 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 yeah, that's annoying, and I think it could escalate into some, you know, if she gets upset at you or, like, hits you or, like... Yeah. I mean, may- maybe not even hits you, but, like, something where she punishes you Yeah, like, for not giving yeah. her whatever answer that she wants. And I think that's what this guy is trying to say. She has a, she was 16 when she said when she did it, and she's apologized twice. Yeah. I don't know what else she could do. At this point, yeah. There's already an apology, yeah, like... She's... Twice. Twice, yeah. Weird. Okay. All right. But, you know. Okay. Okay. So then there's more. This person, the the person that did the comment says that they don't, that they say that it doesn't look like abuse to them. I don't care. I don't, yeah, I'm not gonna, yeah. But he says more. I don't think it was me. She had very high, strong reactions. For example, our first times with each other. I initially didn't want to do it, but she asked me if it's because she is overweight, that I'm not wanting to do it, and got upset and cried because I rejected her. 
Then I felt pressured to do it with her. Yeah, that's not okay. That's not okay, no. Or there was another time when she came to meet my parents. She was a vegetarian, and my parents are not fond of vegetarians, so she ate a soup they made, then found out there was chicken in it. And she yelled at me and my parents and left the house. No, it was, that's valid, though. That's actually, that's actually legit valid, you yeah. You went against someone's dietary belief or, like, need, yeah. Yeah. It was very extreme emotions. Another time when we were playing a video game together and she couldn't get past a level and when I called her stupid in a joking way, she got Don't upset. Don't call someone stupid. <laughs> she got upset and threw my controller on the sofa and left. So far, there's been one shitty example on her end, which she's also apologized for. Yeah. However, uh, the You should other never stuff, pressure anyone into having sex. No, of course not. That, But now it seems like... That's okay. That's a real thing. But the other two things are like, it sounds like she was an emotional teenager and you think abuse is a woman having emotions. Kind of. Yeah. That's how it comes across in this. And it's definitely like, cause yeah, she's apologized too. And I guess you don't have to accept the apology. No, right? you definitely no, of course don't. not. Like, let's say, okay, yes, this is abuse. Let's yeah. say, yes, you were emotionally abused. These are your examples and people might not agree with you, but you know, that there were instances where you were emotionally abused and it still fucks you up to this day. Yeah. Okay. That's fine. That's valid. Whatever. Yes. She's apologized to you twice. You don't have to accept it, but what but else she do you expect has remorse, yeah. her to do? Like, And she's gone to therapy and she's talking to her now fiance. She's being open and honest about it. You won't go to therapy. It, but you won't go to therapy. You Weird. still kind of seem like you want to be with her. Yeah. Even though she has a fiance now. And you basically like want to break up her and her fian her fiance. Is it for you to swoop in? Like, so what's what, going on? But you think that she's abusive because she's still overweight. So therefore, she must still be insecure about her body because she's overweight. Yeah. What a weird little cauldron of like. We that's just a weird a little mishmash of like different. I'm so confused now. Of like, why are you doing this guy? Because like. What do you want? Yeah, yeah, like, what's the goal? What's your goal here? Yeah. Other than karma on reddit.com. <laughs> like, That's what, what I'm saying. Like, what's going on? Like, I don't ever want to invalidate anyone's abuse, ever. No, of course not. And there's no but to that statement. I never do want no, to do yeah. That. Legitimately, if someone says this person was abusive to me, I'm more inclined to believe them. But also, I think it's very insidious, this use of therapy language that people are using you just to hurt people that they don't like. While also being like, therapy's fucking gay, dude. I don't want to do that. That's crazy to me. Fucking... Why are you yeah. co-opting the language then? But then being going back on it and being like, I will never do that shit. Like, you that's, fucking kidding me? That's crazy. <laughs> that's dude. wild. That's not okay. There are also valid reasons to not go to therapy. Like, oh, for it's sure. too fucking expensive. Money's You've an had issue. had bad experiences. I've had bad experiences in therapy. However, co-opting the language and then the going it back on it is and really instead weird. instead watching Andrew Tate videos. Yeah. It's crazy. Also, stop calling this woman. Yeah, please stop contacting anyone related to this woman. Yeah. Stop using your friends, too, to, like, get weird At ends. this point, it's bordering. It's harassment. Yeah. Yeah. Guys, just burn bridges. <laughs> just, that's the thing. You know it's what? like, if you genuinely, you're never going to not believe that this person is abusive. Like, you believe that you were emotionally abused. Okay. Okay. I'm not invalidating that. Sure. You were emotionally abused. Yeah. They apologize twice. You're still, you know, you don't have to accept the apology, but you can't then further keep going back go and, and fuck up their life. Messing with that wound. Yeah. Yeah. Because that's not healthy. Just focus on yourself and move and on. Better, better yourself. Yeah. Even if that means not going to therapy, like just better yourself. Yeah. And then even, okay, so let's say that she's emotionally abusive, right? Yeah. And you're worried for her husband. I think that's also valid, that's whatever. Fair, that's valid, yeah. You told her husband what she did to you. And then he was And he like, said, okay, stop talking to me. Yeah. At so stop some, talking to him, yeah. At some point, there's a boundary that you have to respect. I, I don't, don't ever, don't take this, this is for this situation. Very specific situation. Do not be like, but what if someone, but what if this happened? But what if this happened? I, that's not, not, we're not talking about that. We're talking, we're about, talking about this about, very specific situation. We're talking about situation. this situation. Yes. Yes. I'm not trying to invalidate anybody's no, abuse. No, of course not, no. But, I mean, this is very emotional. Yeah. Because people have been through situations like this where I can totally imagine a, a girl who is insecure that leading to abuse, and I don't yeah, ever want to sure. invalidate that against a man. I just am like, 
this guy specifically is weaponizing this language and it really disturbs me as a person who is an emotional abuse victim. Yeah. I can understand Having that. people out there like that because it's crazy. It is wild, yeah. It's crazy. Because then we already got motherfuckers out here saying everything's fake and nothing ever happens. And then actual emotional abuse victims are like, I went through this, yeah, and now, yeah. There's just another way to invalidate me. Exactly. There's just another way. There's another uh, invalidation that I have to experience out in the world, and that's so fucked up. Man. Yeah. It's fine to dislike someone. Yeah. It's absolutely okay to not like someone and think they're a jerk or a piece of shit. No. <laughs> <laughs> It's absolutely fine to not like anyone. They don't have to be abusive. They don't have to be emotionally abusive. They don't have to be a narcissist, a sociopath, these buzzwords. They don't have to be these things. You can just not like them. Yeah. And just... not hang with them. <laughs> That's all you have to do. Yeah. God. So funny, man. It's it's crazy to so, me. Yeah. Solved it? Yeah. I think we solved it. Solved it. So I, I, what I took away from that was uh, men can't get abused, right? I think it's, yeah, 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 yeah. That's what you said for verbatim. Men for sure can get cut, abused. Yeah, I, no, I, I genuinely don't want to come across as invalidating people's abuse, and I oh, hope no. I didn't. I really genuinely don't. Yeah, no, I get you. Yeah. I know some people, because I was on Am I the Devil because it was fucking... I know some people on Am I the Devil will do that, and I don't agree with it at all. No, I yeah. So, all right. Yeah. Bringing it back in. Okay. Bringing the podcast in real Bring quick. Bringing the podcast in. Okay? Yeah. Bring the podcast in. Easy one. Mm. Or is it? Maybe Ooh. I have some complex yeah. nuance. Do this, you know? Okay. Am I the asshole for yelling during a video game while playing with my girlfriend? Oh, here we go, baby. I, 25 male, play games together frequently with my girlfriend, 25 female, online. We enjoy competitive online games like Overwatch, Fortnite, COD, etc. Mm. She's decent at what we play together, but I end up carrying her slash our team often. I can be expressive and loud when it comes to gaming, like most people. Oh god, this is a me hit piece. <laughs> Losing is never fun, but it's not like I throw my controller or break my system. Sometimes I swear or yell during my matches. It's never a problem when I play with my friends or solo. But when a stinky woman who's bad at gaming starts playing, that's when, that's when it gets mad. Well. But my girlfriend gets really emotional or cold when we play together. I try not to yell at her, but I'll admit I do get a little heated if she does something blatantly stupid while we are trying to win. Blatantly stupid? Jesus. It's very rarely at her, though. And the way I express myself during matches is never an issue with anyone else I play with. If I express myself during a match, her whole mood shifts so quickly. She'll completely do a 180 from her normally cheerly, cheery and bubbly personality because, to being really distant. Even when I'm just yelling about the other team, not even at her specifically. I get that she doesn't like yelling. We've talked about it before and she told me she gets very nervous when men raise their voices. But it's not like I'm consciously making the choice to get heated in the moment. It's a competitive game, and you kind of think she'd be used to it in that environment. I really want to know what game it is, <laughs> or at least recognize that it comes with the territory. This Valorant. is this is <laughs> this is actually the guy in ESO that keeps camping at the place that you keep talking <laughs> <Palastris>. about. <laughs> oh, no. Yeah, oh. I don't really think a moment of getting loud or expressive in a game should warn her whole mood changing so dramatically and killing the vibe of the rest of our time together. But it sounds like it's about what she is doing. Am I the asshole for what I for playing with her like I do normally? Okay, even then, yelling is never okay. Yeah, I feel like it's weird. I, like it's a, she's communicate with you. She doesn't like yelling. Yeah, for whatever reason. Yeah, it's not okay. You shouldn't be yelling in front of her. Yeah, I don't know. I okay. As someone who streams, I definitely get yell. I do yell. I yell also. I've yelled yeah. at my game next to you before. Yeah, I've definitely yeah. We definitely do be doing this. Before. Yeah. Yeah. However, I definitely don't try to yell. <laughs> I try not to yell, like, okay, as a gamer. Mm -hmm. Hold on, sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do it. Uh, hey, gamers. Yeah. Uh, maybe don't fucking yell at your girlfriends. <laughs> uh, I don't know. I think that's, I think, okay, it's one thing to get heated. There's a there's a Leo Vader video on Gamer Rage that's really funny. Mm. But, like, Leo, uh, something about, there's a culture in video gaming, especially competitive gaming. Yeah. And, you know, men don't have emotions in check sometimes they are some men this is a patriarchal issue men don't think about emotions they don't they're not raised to actually interrogate what their emotions are and then are. it gets put onto women to regulate men's emotions yeah. 
And in a game, a lot of those emotions kind of come out as anger and yelling because yeah. they think playing winning is fun. Yes. And winning is the only thing you do in a game. Yeah. Because uh, they, 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 I don't know. I don't know why. Yeah. And it's definitely hard sometimes in a competitive game. If I'm playing a competitive game, mm-hmm. if I start losing, I'm like, fuck, fuck, shit, fuck, shit. Yeah. And it's definitely like, I don't want to yell at anyone. Yeah. It's mostly, Leo Vader, he made a point about like, it's mostly being angry at yourself. Yeah. I think so too. Mm-hmm. I think when I'm yelling, it's mostly because I'm uh, either a lower level or I'm not strong enough or whatever and i keep dying and it's a frustrating situation but i'm mad at myself not at anyone else now this guy is mad at his girlfriend he's mad at his girl he said it (laughs) it's like like blatantly stupid is a really strong way to describe (sighs) someone playing a video game so okay can i tell you a little bit about eso yeah so for people that don't know eso is elder scrolls online and uh in elder scroll it's an mmo rpg where uh the fighting is a little bit different than like normal uh, MMORPGs. Usually, if you got sorry, this is Sarah's nerd corner. Uh, I'm not putting an edit. <laughs> Don't fucking try using that to edit. Make me do editing. You fuck. I fucking love ESO because the fighting is a little bit different than most other MMORPGs. Like in WoW, you go up to a guy, you click, you yeah, click, and you hit the numbers. You hit the numbers, and you do your little cycle, and you you click and you kill. Yeah. In ESO, there are specific things that the enemy can do that put like red on the ground to let you know. You can like exactly dodge. where you're going to hit. Yeah. You can move and dodge. There's and a it, little bit more complexity. Yeah. And they create these interesting <laughs> bosses where you go through and then you have to have like a cycle. Like sometimes there are cool puzzles in the boss fights. So you have to be multitasking. And sometimes it's fun to do with a group because then there are different, like, okay, this guy is going to be the one that solves the puzzle while everyone else is wailing on the guy. Or there's a guy that you have to go up to him and you have to click him a certain way so that he stops doing whatever it can be fun yeah because there's red on the ground (laughs) one of the larger like phrases when doing like pv like uh, when doing dungeons in eso is don't stand in stupid Mm. interesting yeah and so a lot of it is like when someone when someone in a group, like saying you're doing a random group where a bunch of random people are are done together, and you get into a boss fight where there's a bunch of red on the ground and shit, sometimes newer players won't look at the red and not die. And just stand of the way. there, yeah. and then they'll die, and the group will die because the group kind of hinders on the balance of the group. Mm. <sighs> but I don't like that phrase, and I've used it before because I've wanted to get better at ESO and I've looked into these communities yeah, because it's like it's kind of fucked up and I've said it before and I feel like I'm being harsh when I'm saying it like oh man don't stand in stupid like to myself but then if I'm saying it out loud I feel like it's making other people around me like oh shit we gotta be on our A game yeah it's it's, it's, it's a, a game it's just a game yeah it's just ones and zeros making a little graphical image on your monitor yeah, yeah like you wanna have fun right yeah that's the point is to have fun yeah and sometimes, it, yeah, it definitely uh, some of these games, and I definitely feel that too. I've I've gotten toxic before. I've played yeah, no, I played Rocket League. Oh yes, I remember. <laughs> I remember your toxic I, yeah, Rocket and League. I'm apologizing, Sarah, <laughs> right now. I don't think you ever got mad at me though. I hope not. Yeah. No, I don't remember. I don't. You don't really do that. Yeah, because I, I try. Yeah, because I feel like it's very it's stupid to get mad yeah. sometimes. It's, I'm not. It's not even stupid. It's I feel I feel stupid when I get mad. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's not like I, I don't think it's invalid to get mad at a video game. No. But it is like, uh, what's it called? It's very... <laughs> they're made to make you feel they're made, mad. Yeah, you know, it's it's Straight they're made up. to make dopamine. And a lot of these games, they're made to hook you in. Mm-hmm. So they'll give you, they'll make it easy in the beginning so you get it. And then like the second you're put into the real game, yeah. you're fucking shot down. Like in Fortnite, they give you the bots and then they suddenly oh, yeah. wean you in. But that's the difference, right? It's like, yeah. if is she new to the game? Does she not know the stuff? Is, are the stupid quote unquote things that she's doing, is she... Does she not know what she's doing? And then you're well, just... Well, it seems like... Because he said that they she plays these games frequently. Right. Like, and it seems like she does... And he admits that, like, she's played them before. Mm. I don't know what the blatantly stupid thing is. That's kind of weird. Like, oh my god, if, like, fucking Wes... Like, if I ever got back oh, into yeah. Apex... If he said that you did something that was blatantly stupid, I think I would be like, yeah, you need to talk to him. But, like, the thing that, like, me and, like, that the, the boy boss <laughs> Inc. does... Yeah. We all definitely don't look at each other. We we definitely get, we're trying to be reassuring with each other. Where yeah. it's like, wait, you got you call your guy your guys or boy boss Inc. Yeah, <laughs> what? 
That's cute. For boy bosses, it's dude. It's cute. I like it. Girl bossing? Nah, boy bossing. Boy bossing. But no, like, we try to reassure each other, yeah. you know? We both, we're, everyone's willing to admit when they make mistakes, yeah. which I think is healthy. Yeah, same. I think it's healthy in a competitive game to admit when you make mistakes, mm-hmm. and I think it's weird to project yeah. your mistakes onto others. Yeah. Or because it feels like it feels like a power balance of like, oh, I know I made a mistake, mm-hmm. but your mistake was worse. Yeah, that's so fucking I wanna, crazy. I want to jo- I want to I want to point at you so no one can points at me. It's like when I see like uh, girls playing like Overwatch or something, and they're girls and guys are like saying like, oh yeah, you're a piece of shit, you're a piece, you're not good at the game, whatever, whatever blah blah blah, and then she kills them because she's better at the game than them, and then they start calling her like slurs and yeah because they can't believe that they lost to a a woman woman. (laughs) and i mean yeah it's fucking part of it dude yeah it's a very toxic culture and i'm I'm definitely not like (sighs) god it sucks man but i mean also it's not even i want to take the gender out of it i think the gender is there in this case for this guy because he thinks his girlfriend is bad at video games but she Mm. must play it frequently but she does something stupid but instead of telling her that she does something stupid Instead of being like, oh, hey, yeah, when you do that, next can time, you do this next time? Next time, don't do a flip reset. <laughs> do, a, do a straight goal. Yeah. I don't fucking know. <laughs> I, just heard the term, I just know the term flip reset from Rocket League, and I've never done it before. All I did I was run around with a crab on my head in Rocket fucking League. Fucking awesome. It was dead. It was Based dope. in Red Build. But yeah. Remember the crab? The crab? Crabbies? Yeah, the crab, crab squad? Whatever. Crab squad, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Forgot what we named ourselves. But yeah, yeah, it was that, and then fucking... Um, Instead of doing that, he just says, like, oh, that was blatantly stupid, or screams. And yeah, or screams. Yeah, that's not, not gonna great. make her feel good, man. No. She's not going to want to talk to you, believe it or not. Yeah. The other thing that I wanted to get into is, why is he expecting that she always have a bubbly personality? Yeah, that's is a little weird. not allowed to be upset, ever? That's a little toxic positivity. Yeah. But also, you get to be upset and yell. Yeah, well, that's I think that's instead the, of toxic positive, it's kind of just controlling. It's controlling, yeah. Like, so he gets to yell, he whatever, but she has to be there to mitigate his emotions. Yeah. Right? But uh, if she, like, what, even if he didn't yell and she fucked up and she's beaten on herself and she gets upset, she's yeah. allowed to be upset. Oh, for sure, yeah. She doesn't have to be bubbly and positive all the time. Yeah. Ugh. Why is it so gosh dang difficult? <laughs> Why is everything so gosh dang difficult? Solved it, though. I think we solved video game sexism. I think so. I think we did it, yeah. I don't know. I play video games with my friend Helen, and sometimes fucking, you know, she'll die, or I'll die, and we'll both just be like, yeah, we can't do this. We're bad at the game. <laughs> Leave. Leaving, yeah. But then also, we started playing, uh, we specifically play ESO, but we also started playing Fallout 76, and she's way better at it than me. Holy shit, I suck so bad at guns. Yeah. I'm really bad at guns. I feel that. I uh, Any shoot 'em up game, I'm definitely bad at. <laughs> I am so bad. I cannot see. I was talking about this is... last week, I think, where I, my hand will just shift another key. Well, even in Fallout 76, you press Q and it hones in on them. Really? And you have like a percentage of if you click, if it'll hit or not. So yeah. I don't even have to aim. I but don't still, even have to aim, but I'm still bad. Even when it's random it. chance, yeah, fucking. Oh my God. Or not even just like I don't I just I'm not <laughs> I'm just not good at it I don't know God I think if I play it I'll get better but I'm definitely she's definitely way better <laughs> <than me. laughs> no I get you yeah damn. God bless her she's carrying me every day God bless solved it solved it yeah all right, all right. last one last dude. one let's go I got a funny one we got forty four minutes of raw recording we can do <gasps> we gotta hurry the show up God it's gonna take. 20 fucking minutes each SD card. <laughs> it's a fucking mm-hmm. thanks. I love it. Well, I mean, you're adding to the problem right now by complaining. My 23 female boyfriend, 26 male, has farted in my face twice. What? I threaten to break up if he does it again. I I think you're uh yeah, I guess that's the third strike, but there should also be no strikes for farting in someone's face. Do you think that's okay? To not I don't oh, think, okay. I thought you were no, saying it's totally no. cool to fart in someone's face. Hey guys, Josh <laughs> here. I think it's cool to fart in people's face. Don't, 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 don't do that. Do don't, that. Do that. Don't, don't. God damn it. Okay, so my boyfriend, twenty six male. Okay, twenty six male. And I, twenty three female. She said twenty three W, which I guess is woman. Because woman. In the title, she says 23 female. Oh, uh, okay, yeah, fair enough. So okay. I assume it's 23 female. Okay, sorry. Have been in a relationship for one and a half years. Last Christmas is where this all started. 
While we were decorating the tree, he sniffed around and said he thought my cat had peed on a blanket on the couch. He urged me to come over and smell it to make sure. I should have known when he ran away and started giggling, but I didn't realize my mistake until I was already face <laughs> first in the blanket. Oh, oh my, wait, so... He farted on the blanket and was like, oh dude, I think the cat pissed over here. And then she got in it and then he ran away giggling. I would leave. <laughs> I, okay, so why? Okay, weird, mm. weird. Like doing that. Are you ten years younger? Are you sixteen? That's like, what I'm fucking saying. Why are you doing like this? He at ran the age away. Of 26? Like he, 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 he. That's crazy. Wild. Okay. He, he, he. All right. Okay. Okay. I got incredibly. Okay. Um. Sorry. Didn't realize my mistake until I was already face first in the blanket. He had ass blasted that blanket. It was the most disgusting and vile thing I have ever smelled. You should go to a doctor. My yeah, forehead he's got something wrong in his stomach. Yeah. yeah, my forehead even broke out the next morning. What? That I didn't know that. Ha- I don't. I don't know. Maybe the blanket was dirty. I don't know. Maybe, but that's a weird coincidence. I would still wash that blanket. I guess the fart particles. Well, farts just shit. So yeah, I guess it could cause a breakout. I've never heard of that, but yeah, I guess. Jesus, I guess if you Let fart me in someone's if face, you're you've gotten breakouts from getting farted in your I, face. Yeah, I've never I guess heard of that. So. But maybe wow. that's a thing. Wild. I got incredibly mad and even threw the ornament I had in my hand at him. I was furious and disgusted, and then he even told people at work about it, where it's now a joke that I've thrown an ornament at him. I would leave. I'd leave. Yeah, not gonna lie, I would leave. Now that other people are involved, yeah, no, fuck this guy. I'm out of (laughs) here. Go, bro, I just farted into my girlfriend's face. Oh, hell yeah, bro. No, fuck you. I have such a visceral reaction to being embarrassed and then someone being like, ha ha, she's embarrassed. <laughs> I would I would leave. I would, I, would, I would get a new name. I would get a new social security number. Yeah, I'd leave. I would move to a I different country. That's what would happen. Yeah, fair enough. I don't yeah. give a shit. I don't give a shit. We're married. I don't give a shit if we're going to be married. I don't give a shit if Josh, if this happened to me. In this business, I would. You'd leave the business. I'd leave the business. It would just be me here doing Reddit stories. <laughs> yeah, I'd go into witness protection for no reason. Um, hey guys, new podcast. Uh, so you might notice that it's just me here. Or you can just like <laughs> get my AI voice and then my cartoon Sarah. Oh God! Oh, you could totally do that. Do an I have AI a money Sarah machine forever. Yeah, I could make you a Josh one, and we could just do that. Well, instead. I'm gonna I'm gonna live forever, so we're not. Oh, okay, that. so far so good. <laughs> About a week ago, he did something similar. He was laying near the edge of the bed on his back, and I was standing up doing something. He then asked for a hug, which I obliged. It was a weird angle because of him laying on the bed. He then pulled me up to a somewhat 69 position, and he had farted and held me there. So, yeah, again, he farted and put it in my face intentionally. I... Why... Why is... I... No, you're out. Kick him out. Whoever owns the house, I yeah, it's your house now. I'm sorry. Like I was disgusted and mad again, especially since I had told him before to never Bro, do that hey, shit ever again. Getting into the 69 position and too, then him holding you there—that's that's the craziest wild. thing. Wild, physically restraining you in order to do this thing that you said that you don't like. don't like. Yeah. Um, I was disgusted and mad again, especially because I told him to never do that shit ever again. I told him in a fit of anger that if he ever tried to do this, something like this again, I'd break up with him. I feel Fair. I should not have to deal with a man farting in my face. A man older than you, too. Like, 26. <sighs> yeah. He says, I'm an asshole. I just, let's just sit there and enjoy that for a moment. Yeah. He said that I'm an asshole. You're the one Let's just farting. all reflect. Yeah, come on. Yeah. Farts literally shit. I don't know. Like, literally, it's shit <laughs> particles. Yeah. It is the airborne version of shit. Yeah, she could get pink eye. He says yeah. I'm an asshole and that he should be able to do a normal bodily function around me. And I get that. I fart too, but I've never wanted to get it in his face. Yeah. I think it's so incredibly disrespectful. Yeah. He's making it seem like I will break up with him if he even farts in my vicinity, which is not true. No. How would you handle this? Too long didn't read. My boyfriend has farted in my face twice, and I have threatened to end the relationship if it happens again. Need advice. 
Okay. Um. Yeah, that's obviously, it's obviously not because he just farts. It's because he's farting in front of her. In your face. You've in said your this face. Multiple, and I and think you've set a boundary. It got crossed. The willful ignorance to is, be like, oh, what, now I can't fart around you at all? That's bullshit, yeah. Fuck this guy. Like, I grew up with brothers, right? Yeah. I can't remember if they ever farted in my face because it was a long time ago. Probably they have or something. Or they've tried to or something because they're know, dumbass Michael, fucking... <laughs> Michael used to Brothers. come in my room and jump on my bed sometimes. But, like, you know, they're like little brother things that you do. Yeah. But also, they're grown-ass men. They wouldn't do that now. Oh, my God, dude. Yeah, fucking... I would not just deal with a fucking guy doing yeah, that. Yeah, I don't know why... God, it's the juvenile humor. Mm-hmm. It's the... Uh... God, I really, I. it's so weird. Why like, are you acting like... I know there are, like, couples out there that prank each other, but I do think it's fucked up. Like, I think... I think some pranks can be fucked up. Yeah, I think, like, this is definitely a prank that's weird. <laughs> I don't want to be like, okay, she's said this is a boundary for her. Yes. You know what? Let's go with the information that we have. Yeah. She said this is a boundary for her, and he's continuously crossed that boundary and also physically restrained her, which I think is, I would be like- I'd be, listen, wee, I'm cool. wee, red if, flag alert. If I was someone that was like, oh, listen, it's cool that you fart in my face. Just don't, don't restrain know, just me. Just don't physically restrain me. Don't get me. me excited for 69 and then fucking fart and in my face. then freak me out by being like- <laughs> Yeah. That's fucked. Come That's on. fucked. It's That's fucked. fucked. Yeah. God, well, yeah, the, I feel like the shit humor. Hey, lowest brow. Lowest brow. I'm not going to say it's bad. It's lowest brow. Work a little harder. I mean, but- yeah, we're I mean, I guess we're comedians. <laughs> hold on, let me hold on. I don't like saying that. I don't think we are. As a professional comedian, we here. try to be funny. Yeah, we try to be funny. And yeah. we get paid money for it. I guess. Yeah, <laughs> but like but fucking, I, we're not gonna like just um, shit jokes. Yeah, you know, I don't know. Like, what's the joke in farting in someone's face? You farted in their face. Cool. Oh, they I smell guess. a fart. Oh, uh, they smell a fart. They're gonna smell your fart if you just if fart. you just fart. Yeah, farting is a natural thing. I don't want to fucking shat. I don't want to shit on it. Yeah, Pardon you don't want to fart on it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but like, don't just like. Don't restrain someone and fart in their face. Don't fart in someone's face. Don't fart somewhere and tell someone to sniff it, you weirdo. Also, there's a little trust issue, isn't there now? Now, because, yeah, if she says, hey, can I you do something you. for me, I'm going like, to think you're going to fart in my face. Yeah. Is this a, is this a fetish she has? I kind of feel like it might be. Because, like, it feels a little weird. I mean, it. Fe- I feel like there's going to be someone that's like, she must have not grew up with brothers, and I grew up with brothers, and uh, <laughs> I don't know if they ever did this shit. Yeah, yeah they did not. I was still also, even hey, if they also, did if they while did it, I was a kid, I would not. Thing. I would not. I Why w- would not do that? Just because you're a brother does not give you a free pass to do shitty things. All right, yeah, or take just, that from a bro- someone who's been a brother to people. All right, like come on. Yeah, or like oh, you know, having older brothers, I guess, is a little different as as a lady. But it's like I hate that idea that. Because she has older brothers, that men in her life can just do whatever, whatever they want, yeah, and cross her boundaries, and that's no, cool. Not fair. And no. I just want to get in front of that first before someone's like, "She's just not a she's a dang." <laughs> and I'm like, God damn it! Like, shut up, man. Just let her fucking express herself and like listen to women when they tell you their boundaries and don't cross them, please. And then don't get it. If you're then gonna don't cross call them a woman's asshole. boundary, don't call them an asshole. If you break the boundary, be willfully ignorant, and then be like, "Why did she leave? Why did she leave? I don't get why she left me. I don't get it. Because you're a dick. Because yeah. you're a dick. You're a dick. That's why. You're a butthole, even. You may even an asshole. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Final story. That's what this whole podcast is. Shock, yeah. Oh, wait, yeah. Let's Can see. we do like a soy jack? Yeah. Yeah, hold on. Wait, yeah. <laughs> wall. Yeah, wall. Okay. And that'll be the. Yeah, let's the do clickbaity titles. Yeah. That'll be the thumbnail for sure. Yeah, let's yeah. do that. Let's ruin something that's been working for us for fucking years now. Come but on. Josh, we have like so many people saying that we suck ass at that. So many people in our emails. We have a guy in our emails. We had that's one like, guy send us five emails about like, hey, you guys aren't growing fast enough when we have 300 something thousand on I TikTok. I can fucking boost your shit. It's like a, it's a scam. It's a scammer. He's going to yeah. buy bots, but he keeps emailing us and like dogging on us. Oh yeah. He says something like, oh, do you only respond to women? I'm like, I don't what need to hear this. What are you fucking this. talking about? Yeah. Jeez. All right. We got 30 minutes. I got rushed through this okay, one. Sorry guys. You got guys. this. Okay. Go ahead. 
Am I the asshole for refusing to go in another room so my fiance and the baby could sleep alone? Okay, okay. My fiance, Jen, 29 female, just gave birth to our daughter two months ago. Mm. She strictly breastfeeds, so as you can imagine, she gets far less sleep than I do. During the day, I help with changing or holding her, but all feedings are up to Jen. The baby outright refuses a bottle. We have tried several times, but ultimately, we are both okay with this. Anyway, I'm kind of an independent startup video game developer. I did make one video game two years ago, but it honestly wasn't that great. So while I do get revenue from it, it's definitely not much or even a livable wage. Okay. This time around, however, I'm working with four other people and the game is turning out great. Okay. I also work a nine to five, but after I get home, having dinner with my fiance and looking after the baby for a while, I jump on and work on the game. Okay. For the past two to three nights, I have been up till one to two a.m. working on the game and I have been ultra tired. I snore like a maniac when I'm tired. It's super embarrassing because I truly sound like a Mack truck. But yesterday, the baby had her two months shots and she was so fussy, mm. cried way more than normal. Okay. It was super hard for my fiance to get her to sleep. I finally went to bed around 2 a.m. and my fiance immediately asked me to sleep on the couch so I wouldn't wake the baby with my snoring. Okay. I said no. I was so tired and the couch is not comfortable at all. I had to work early and I wanted to sleep. She didn't fight it, but she called me a fucking prick and walked out of the room with the baby. I woke up this morning to the baby in the crib in the nursery and my fiance asleep on the floor with no pillows or blankets. Aww. She still won't talk to me. Uh, yes. That is the consequence of yeah. your actions. I gotta be honest. If you're, yeah, that's... Yeah. It's a little, like, she asked you to fucking do something to help with the baby. And then you're like, no, I have to video game development. Which, listen, I don't even want to shit on you for no. like being a video game developer. I think that's fine. The shitty thing you did here was not listen to your wife's one request. And also, you're kind of misprioritizing your life. Like, Yeah. Yeah. Like, what do you do to help out the kid? This is just one of those ones where it's like, what does the guy do to help out the kid? What do you do? Like, I know you, like, change every once in a while, but, like, if yeah. you're working on this thing, you're staying up until two, mm -hmm. which, go to don't, bed yeah, yeah, don't yeah, early. Yeah, do yeah, if it's going to be a problem of, like, you're not going to get enough sleep. I feel like this is uh, there's a couple different issues here. Yeah, there's a lot of different things. It is the prioritization. Mm -hmm. It is the, uh, what's it called? Fucking, it is not responding to your wife. Yeah, or being like, no, I'm not doing that. And then not really being open to a conversation about it. I, I think at this point, I, with new mothers or, like, mothers that have children that are obviously kind of, doing the brunch of the child work i give them more of a of i give them more grace than i would with like just a couple that doesn't have a baby yeah i get what you mean but it sounds like this guy was like i have two jobs one that doesn't make me any money and, and the other one that doesn't have a deadline <laughs> yeah that doesn't have a deadline which is a thing too where it's kind of like if you're behind because of the baby people should at least be open to it you know and or if you got yeah. work, do it the next day when you have more time. This is why I say, like, um, the whole point of self-care, the whole point of, like, taking care of yourself and making sure that, like, you know, you're sleeping well, um, you're fucking, I don't know, you're hygienic, you are fed, you have enough water. Yeah. It's to help others. Yeah. You have to take care of yourself before you help other people. Yeah. That's yeah. why you do that. It's not just to, like fix yourself it's to also go out and like help be people a be a member of society yeah. and like actually progress yeah as a person yeah and you know some people like i have uh clinical depression sometimes mm. i'm not able to be a member of society no, because that, i'm not yeah. able to get through these things but i do have to take medication mm. i do have to at least do things to stop myself from being deep 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 in a depression where i can't do anything yeah because i have to do this job i can't just like not do this job you know what I mean? Yeah, now this is your job, yeah. Yeah. I get that. I can't not support you. I can't just, like, not do any chores because I have responsibilities in the house. And everyone else is like that as well. It's not like people just get a free pass because of whatever things they have going on in their life. You do also have responsibilities to the people around you. Mm. And this hyper-individualism in relationships sometimes where it's like, 
maybe I want to do my job, blah, blah, blah. Well, you shouldn't have fucking had a kid then. Yeah. If you weren't going to joint... take care of your kid. <laughs> you got to take care of the kid. Why like... did you even want to have one? Yeah. And I understand that's also not a choice that everyone can make. But no, like, for sure. When there is a kid, you step up. You got to step up a little bit. Yeah. Also, it's his kid. Like, I mean, the last couple of times we've said this, people are like, no, if it's not my kid, it's his kid. It's his kid. Yeah. He's got to take care kid. of it. Yeah. Huh. <laughs> I agree with that. I agree 100%. Yeah. yeah. I will, yeah. I, I feel will say, like, like, I don't know. Yeah, go ahead. Oh, sorry. Yeah, you can, you can say something. I don't know. I think. No. Yeah, I'm fully against this guy. <laughs> I feel, yeah, yeah, I think, like, listen, it's for one night of uncomfortable sleep isn't, like, the end of the world, I feel like. Especially if it's a request to help with the baby. And also, like, he specifically did this to himself. Yeah. Like, I would, like, if we, if I had to, and I've done this before, like, when we had, uh, what's it called? Jack. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Our baby Jack. Yeah. No, uh, when Jack was in the house, we had to keep our the cat separated. Mm -hmm. And I think I slept in the on the couch. I don't think we did that for Jack. I think we did that for Misty. You might have done that with Misty. I do remember doing it for Misty. Yeah, and I slept on that red piece of shit couch yeah, to that keep red, an eye. It sucked ass. I remember. Yeah. That's what. Oh, I don't have it, but we have a cup cup that has a photo of you before, yeah. right as you were sneezing with Misty on your chest. Yeah, because she slept on your chest all night. Yeah, so I, you mm -hmm. know, I did that, and yeah, like, because that's what you gotta do. Yeah. And obviously, cat's less important than a baby, I guess. I guess. Not to me, but. No, I mean, yeah. But, like, you know, if it, you yeah. gotta take sacrifices, you, you know? You do, yeah. I think that's the thing. You gotta sacrifice a thing here or there, you know? Yeah. Um, yeah, no, that's what, I, that's what I think. Also, if you knew that the baby got her shots, and she's gonna be fussy, like, you, it's, like, we gotta, pretty. We gotta plan around it, yeah. It's pretty 100% that the baby gets her shots. She's going to be fussy throughout the night. Yeah. For sure. You for know sure. that she has issues with that. Yeah. You still decide to game dev until 2 a.m.? You should have at least ended a little early, I feel like. And you know that you have to go to work the next day. Like, you're just you, not you, being responsible. You got to be responsible about your actions. Yeah, yeah. for sure. I was going to be like, I guess she shouldn't have called him a prick. Or, but like, if you're staying up until Stonewall two... But, yeah, actually, fuck that. You know what? She's allowed to have her goddamn emotions. Like, that's the thing, where it's, like, you have to t you have to take everything, you know, like... It's like the thing where it's, like, the story of the pubs, you know, where, like, you know, someone's... They're, they're, they're able to juggle everything, you know, mm -hmm. of, like, real work and creative work. Yeah. You have to juggle all that, and this person has to juggle that with the baby as well. Mm -hmm. And the baby and work should be the first two priorities. Yeah. Game deving should be last, you know. I think we should have paternal leave, just in general. That's the real. That's the real systemic issue at hand here. <laughs> yeah, paternal leave thing. needs to exist for both parties. Uh, paternal and maternal leave, yeah, oh. both parties. I guess I thought parents parental. Oh, that's funny. Yeah, my I like bad. That. Paternal and maternal leave should yeah. be available for both. Yeah. Yeah, I think I think too. Uh, I think yeah. that as well. Like, Thanks, the United States, for being one of the few or only rich countries to not do that. Yeah, actually. I mean, I don't know about paternal leave. I know maternal, no maternal leave, leave is yeah. like, I, I've had jobs where you have to get short-term disability Yeah, Jesus. to have the opportunity of maternal leave. How crazy is that, Town? Fucking insane. Yeah. Fuck this country. <laughs> <laughs> I hate that, yeah. But um, no, I think, I think if anything, it's just the idea that the guy works while the wife is at home taking care of the kid. Mm -hmm. Because why else would this guy be putting all this on his plate with a kid? Yeah. <laughs> you just had a kid. It's normal to be like, okay, I have to do less work because I'm going to take care of my kid a little yeah. bit. Yeah. It should be like that. Yeah, it yeah. should be. But capitalism, got to make money. And that's our show. Speaking of money, Sarah, what do you want to <laughs> Uh, is that, is, I don't know if there's anything yeah, else you want to say about it. it. Yeah. I, I don't know. No, I'm fine. Fuck. Uh, you can follow me on Twitter at that's so here in T-H-A-T-S-O-H-E-E-R-O-N. I am pretty much only tweeting about Gaza and other little things. I pretty much don't care about any other discourse on Twitter other than, I mean, Gaza isn't discourse, it's a genocide. Yeah, um, yeah, no, I get you. Um, and that's so here and pretty much on every other social media platform. Go ahead, Josh. Josh Chandler on Twitter, guy named JC on Twitch. Mm -hmm. Fucking check it out, stream on Fridays. ABWSTR Gaming for more gaming content. There'll be a bunch this week. Yep. Uh, and the next week as well, every week, mm -hmm. in, into eternity. Uh, <laughs> oh, I'm streaming on Tuesday. Yeah, I'll be streaming on Tuesday. WSDR Gaming, yeah. yeah. So check that out. Remember to like, comment, subscribe on YouTube at the Gosh Darn Bell as well. Mm -hmm. Raise five stars on Apple and Spotify podcast. Check out our Patreon, buy me coffee at those websites, forward slash ABWSTR. Those books are soothed us on there as well as other stuff. You get early access. Go to straightoverfcoffee.com to get our coffee lines as well. All mm -hmm. the links are down in the description down below. 
God, that smells so good. Oh, Enjoy God. the rest of your day. Enjoy it. Have a beautiful day and night. Take it easy, guys. Yeah, bye bye. Did we say anything controversial this episode? I don't think so. Um, Maybe. I think when you said all men are bastards, I think that I was pretty... I don't think that's very controversial, though. Um, I think when you... <laughs> trying to just... I'm just coming up with lies to, you know, you know. Yeah. Uh, well, come up with the one that's actually good. Uh, yeah? I think when you said... Oh, I see, yeah. I think when you said that, that was pretty bad. Yeah, I will say, um, when you said, 